My tongue and throat tremble. I can't turn back once I say this. Okay, I think I did get this far, and then now music starts playing? I fully acknowledge it, and... Where's the music? There was music. Okay, I'm not crazy. It did send me back a little bit. Alright. It's alright. It's fine. So you should smile for your own sake, Saber. It's a nice song. Not sure if we've heard this elsewhere. Definitely not since uh, starting this back up. And uh, then again, that's not saying much. <laughs> Lily does a feminist interpretation. That sounds interesting. Um, you know, I know that... Hold on. Wait. We're going to Google a thing. We're going to Google a thing. Um, I, You know, feminist is one of those words that I hear thrown around. And then if I someone asks me what it actually means, I'd be like, uh... Definition. Nope. Definition is not spelt with a P. Feminist, a person who supports feminism. That is not helpful, dictionary. What is feminism? <laughs> the advocacy of women's rights on the basis of the equality of the sexes. Right, of course. Yes, that is a good thing. Does a f feminist interpretation? Oh, if it's a feminist interpretation, that sounds like it'd be really bad, right? <laughs> because it's really bad for the sexes because she was constantly sexist, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, <clears throat> anyways. It's alright. It's fine. So you should smile for your own sake. I'm pushed by an unknown impulse and say this. Do you really think it's so unknown, Shiro? Maybe because you're stupid, but I think I know it at this point. <clears throat> I'm not going to say it, though. Because everyone, everyone else in the room already knows. Not that anyone else is in the room with me, so I mean, maybe nobody but me knows. So just have to guess. Sorry. Shiro, so not... Shiro, why? I get thrown off by my slight Japanese knowledge when I read subtitles and they don't quite match what I'm hearing. Because I hear, I would think, Shiro, nande? That's the normal why, but it was like, sono doshite or something. And I'm like, well, what the heck does that mean? But. <laughs> She doesn't even need to ask. She did ask, though. So why why would she not need to ask? I guess she's asking for asking sake, but she knows. I'll keep repeating myself until you realize it. Saber, Shiro, you're a dirty cheater. To be honest, I think Shiro is stupid for different reasons than you do. I think he's stupid because he willingly closes his eyes to so many things. Um, like, what do you mean? What do you mean, for example? I mean, I do think he is kind of stupid in terms of choices he makes in this war. I think a lot of his choices are stupid. Um, and also, I don't know. that That's the main thing. But closes his eyes? If you mean as far as closes his eyes to paths forward... Um, it's arguable if that's stupid or not. Again, it depends on the pers personality interpretation. Like, if you mean he closes his eyes to the past of how he could be a hero without actually using magic, I think that more has to do with his personality than actual intelligence. Um, and maybe even the reason he doesn't try to be super smart in the fight is arguably... I guess you can argue from that sense a lot, too, and say, oh, he doesn't want to think about how to fight good because he doesn't want to fight good because that would maybe give in to his evil impulses. I suppose there's that side of things. But, um, <clears throat> you've done your best, <clears throat> Saber. Isn't this enough? You've done your best. You fought even by yourself. But yeah, I feel like sh this is very unfair from Shiro's perspective. Shiro just helped Saber out big time with the whole Gilgamesh situation. And they were having a fight about this. And then when Shiro came back, I believe he was interrupted before they could, you know, properly make up when he showed up. And so now to spring this on her after that is just unfair because she already sort of broke his heart once and she's not going to want to do it again especially just after what happened and so he's putting her in a very awkward situation but i don't think again i could go the stupid angle i don't think he's savvy enough to realize how unfair he's being 
The best example of this beats the shit out of Shinji after knowing the truth of him abusing Sakura, but afterwards still calls him a friend and interact him quarterly. Oh yeah, yeah that is weird and stupid. I think that's more, I think that has to do more with his effed up personality and that he doesn't want to think bad things of him because of what his temper could do. But um, yeah, I guess that does count. I mean, I, I would call, I, I don't know, maybe, oh, I'll take it back. Everything I think he's stupid is actually him closing himself off because he's secretly evil and doesn't want to be smart. <clears throat> but Saber, isn't this enough? You've done your best. You fought even by yourself. Nara. So you have to find your own happiness. You fulfilled your oaths, you can return to being Artoria. I mean, you can argue that's what she's doing anyway, right? Like, she said she wants to erase herself from exi- Does she just want to erase- Okay. Does she want to erase herself from being king or just erase herself from ever existing? Because if she's trying to erase herself from existing, that's very stupid. If she wants to erase herself from being king so that she can live a normal, happy life, that's debatable how, like, I know I sure would be against that because he wants the, the saber, the saber wang, but, um, uh, uh, no, um, if what she really wanted was a normal, happy life, even in her own time, she could still, I feel, do that without having to erase herself as a king. It would just do some time travel shenanigans, I would say. Of course, <clears throat> Shiro would probably, in some weird way, is glad that she hasn't brought that up as a possibility, as that is an alternative way for um, her to be happy without Shiro getting her wang, but then again, with how much Shiro dislikes himself, maybe he'd be okay with it anyways. Makes dumb decision because he has his priorities in the wrong order. Um, not giving a shit about the Holy Grail for the first few days? Yeah, until he really got into Saber. That's fair. I mean, I think I've myself brought that up in the past. But, like, you know, what if it's all connected? What if he's not stupid, he's just a secret evil genius that makes himself stupid to forget that evilness? You know, I like that interpretation more than, no, he's just stupid. <clears throat> Fulfill your oath, so you can return to being Artoria. <laughs> You're still talking about that? He's gonna keep talking about it. He's stubborn. And he's too... He's too dumb. I'll, I'll go and say it. He's too dumb to realize that this is very unfair for him to bring up now of all times. Yeah. I'll keep on saying it. I ha can't help it because I've fallen in love with you. That's why, Saber. No, you can go back to being Artoria. I suppress my sudden fury. Hmm. Where is this fury aimed at? The reason that she's smiling? I guess. It's just interesting that this is where, when the fury comes out. He has tried to bottle up his fury for a while, I feel. It's just interesting that now of all times, and like this way, is how it would come out. It's about to burst out. <laughs> I've, I've kept it in for so long after wanting to beat up Shinji for him abusing Sakura and not doing it. This is where it comes out. <laughs> Saber only needs to say one thing before that. Shiro, please do not trouble me. Mmm, mmm. I mean, okay, that's a fair response. You're not straight up saying no. You could always say, let's talk about this later when I'm not super indebted to you and I don't want to piss you off right now. Even if you say that, I, I... Her answer doesn't change. It only The only thing that's changed is the way she's delivered it given the awkward circumstance. My heart aches at her determination. You knew my past. But you continued to invade me. Ooh, invade sounds kinky. You should know my answer already, so why? Why are you still concerned about me? I'm 
You must have seen all the sins I've committed. All the sins? The fuck are you talking about? It's because I've fully seen it now. But I'm like, no, it's bullshit. You helped your country be great. And then at the end, your freaking bitch sister fucks you up. Like, it's not your fault. You're hating yourself for no good reason, just like Shiro. Well, maybe he has a good reason if he's secretly an evil spirit, but we'll get to that. Yeah, I did. She sacrificed many people in the name of the king and killed many enemies. She did what a good king does. She did it good. I don't intend to ignore that or pretend it didn't happen. Why are you acting like it's a bad thing? When you're a king, you have to make tough choices. And she did. And she made a lot of them smartly. Still even knowing that, I want the girl named Artoria to become happy. So what? I don't know what this emotion is. I just can't leave you alone. You don't know what it is. It's called love. You've already talked about it. What more do you need? What other emotion do you think this is called? Super love. There's the selfishness coming through. Please smile. I want to be with you, Saber. See, she was smiling just before she left the room. That's the awkward thing. But it like she was smiling just because of you, even though you want him, you want her to be with you, but you don't want her to be smiling because of you. You want her to be with you because for once in your life you're being selfish and admitting that you want to be with her, but you don't want her smiling because of you. It's a very awkward scenario. <laughs> the, uh, the, the argument you're actually a good king wouldn't work in this situation. Well, of course it wouldn't. Of course she wouldn't see it that way. I mean, let's focus more on why erasing yourself from existence is stupid than the fact that you were actually a good king, in my opinion. But... <clears throat> a childlike... Un un unilater un unilateral confession. Within the silence, I wait for her answer. It's nice that for once in his life he is being selfish, though. Because it feels like he's always, you know, just been helping out, like... Not fully committing to the whole hero thing, you know, of course, but, um, he's been helping out, um, you know, with people whenever they would ask him for help, you know, he would help Issei, he would help the student council, help at the archery club, um, he would do all that stuff, but, like, he wouldn't really be doing it for himself, he'd be sort of going through the motions. Feels like this is the first time he's truly being selfish, but he's not willing to fully commit to being selfish. Hmm. Like for Gilgamesh, for example, he'd be totally okay if Saber was just happy being with Gilgamesh and not happy about anything else. Um, after all, Gilgamesh is the hype, so why do you need to be happy about anything else? But Shiro definitely does not think of himself as the hype. Even though he kind of is at this point. He's the hypest master I think we've seen with the shit he can do. I mean, you know, some of the Grizzled Fate Zero Masters were pretty good, but, like, the light regenerating, you know, he definitely has better defense than any of the Masters uh, we've others otherwise seen. What is Saber doing on the other side of the sliding screen? Is she naked? Yeah! Are my words reaching her? My answer will not change. Mmm. Are you sure? We already had the dragon sex. Maybe we just need to have the real sex. But I mean, if you go that hard, then you're no better than uh, Gilly. Well, still a little better than Gilly. At least you haven't, yeah, you haven't gone out of way to, you know, make her all bloody. But I cannot break my oath as a king, even if I was not appropriate for the role you were. I was entrusted with my country as the king, and you did a great fucking job. But also, what do you mean you can't break your oath as the king? Your whole thing is you want to erase yourself from existence so that you were never the king, you fucking idiot! Your logic doesn't hold up! If you care so you can't be caring about your oath as a king if you're just planning to fucking throw it all away by erasing yourself as existence! Except for the fact that you won't be erasing yourself from existence because you'll stay as a servant! The worst of both worlds! God, your wish is so dumb! Especially... Wow. Let's go back to Rin and her no wish. 
No wish better than Saber Wish. I could not fulfill my duties. This this freedom is not permitted to me. You know, kings never live forever. That's not normal. You were special because of your weirdo, um, what was it? Your sheath or your sword or something that let you live a lot longer than, than whatever, but, um, that let you stay young for a while. But gosh, it's not normal, woman. Kings eventually fulfill their duties and end, and you, a lot of them, end shittily. You were a good king! Ah! I can't hold myself back any longer because your voice sounds so sad. I don't want to hear the lonely oath to be the king instead of her words as Artoria. But, like, haven't the, the saber that you've known this whole time been saber? Like, even though you've been sort of peeling her back, defrosting her as it were, it's still been, you know, the saber. You've been maybe peeling back slightly with the Artoria, but I think you have almost certainly spent more time with the saber persona, right? Unless you, the argument that you're making is that when she's chilling with you and eating and on doing all those thingy things, that is Artoria, and that only when she's in serious fight mode and stuff, that is the saber. I suppose there's an argument to be made there, but you could also argue that if she truly embraces Artoria, she might be a different enough person that would you still really like her? Yeah, probably. But, you know, shut up. You didn't like Rin when you peeled back her layers in the beginning of the game. It's like, hey, Rin was this really cool girl that I thought was cool, and then I got to know her, and she's a shithead. So, I'm just saying. I already know that. I didn't become this vexed to hear those screams. I kick my futon. Die, futon! In front of me is the sliding screen separating our rooms. Are you gonna open the sliding screen? He's, he's gonna go for it. He's gonna go in for the kiss. The sound of the sliding screen feels distant. But it definitely opened because you can see her now, right? <gasps> Ellipses. Oh, fuck. My mind blanks out. Did, did you do it? Did you go in for it? Why else would your mind blank out? Is it just from seeing her? The mere expression of seeing her knocked you out? Why was I so angry? Why was I so sad? Ah, oh, I see. All the anger and sadness washes away the moment you see her pretty face. Daw. Her eyes shake as if about to cry. She doesn't want to object to you, especially now of all times. After you just helped her out with Gilly, she definitely does not want to object this hardly to you, especially if it really makes you this sad but um her fucking stupid oath that she thinks she has to uphold her gorgeous neck and slender shoulders oh fuck you are about to go in she's like oh oh it's the perfect positioning no wonder your mind went blank the scenario is likely playing out in your mind already her golden hair reflects the moonlight just like when we first met oh Dash, 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 dash. I'm embracing her when I notice. Okay, just make sure you, uh, you notice before it goes too far. Or at least notice enough that if you hear the word stop, you know how to stop. I embrace her so hard that I could break her, but she doesn't resist. I mean, you know, I think servants are pretty sturdy, but... With how strong you secretly are, um, I think you gotta be careful about something like that if it was anyone that wasn't a servant. Her words say no, but her actions say yes. It's different from that night. I didn't feel like this back then. Yeah, you didn't have the dragon, the dragon sex, that was before it. So you didn't have the awkward connection yet. Now the connection is stronger. What a ridiculous story. I wanted to become a superhero. It is ridiculous, exactly. You don't want to be a hero. You just want to bang the woman. Let's skip the whole defeat the dragon thing and just bang the princess. You know. <laughs> you have to save the, the, the damsel in distress from the scary dragon. 
Well, I didn't quite save you from the dragon. Gilly still got away, but fuck the dragon. They didn't kill it with Shrek either. But I never fell in love with anyone, nor was I ever unwilling to let go of anyone. Yeah, like how you told her to let go of Sakura? Do you even know what's happening with her? What the fuck happened with Sakura? Seba. It feels like she'd disappear if I don't keep holding her. Ooh, the pan to the right side. Pretty. I don't know how long I've held her, but I finally figure out that she won't disappear and loosen up. <laughs> she won't disappear at least until Lancer gets taken out, right? Maybe that's why Gilly's holding off. He probably could, unless Lancer's actually really good at hiding from him. Um, he probably uh, could uh, uh, take Lancer out at any time, but is waiting to get the yes from Saber, or from Kirei, possibly. But, um... So if it happens, who knows? Like, that might be the end of it, and she might be forced into that choice. So hopefully, if Gilly is holding back for that reason, we kind of slightly have to thank him, because we definitely need to marinate uh, Saber a little bit more before she's in the... Before she... I think she's fully ready to accept... Yeah, no, I don't want to erase myself from existence. That's dumb. Shiro, Shiro, what is it all of a sudden? What's the meaning of this? Even if you do this, I... She moves slightly in my arms. Your words say no, but your actions say yes, 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 yes. Her lips tremble and try not to say something, but... I close them with a soft touch. Of your lips? Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Her body is slightly trembling. I'm staring at Sabre, but I'm not seeing anything. Because you closed your eyes, I would assume. It'd be weird if you kept them open. In its place, my lips feel Sabre's kindness. Oh, they, f they feel her kindness, huh? <laughs> what poetic wording. Our lips part. Okay, it finally happened then. That was the first one, right? I don't believe it happened on the bridge. I don't think it quite reached that point. Now you know, Saber. Now you know there's no turning back. Despite what your silly oath might be trying to tell you, your boner for Shiro is too strong. Saber's hand on my chest pushes up a part of it. <gasps> That kiss was... You cheated! I wasn't ready! Does she want to say it's a mistake? She looks at me with a face about to cry. It's not a mistake. I'll say it as many times as I need to. I like you and I can't just let you go. I mean, in a healthy relationship, both parties like each other, which she clearly does like you, uh, to be fair. But, like, she should have to reciprocate the whole thing. It's not just, you shouldn't be allowed, any, you know, it, if she didn't also wasn't super horny for you, then, uh, anyways. Okay, that's fair. You're asking for consent. Tell me if you don't like it. You can't. Tell me that we're only a master and servant and contradict me. You know, your positions actually do reflect that of a master and servant. Despite their when they first met, when Saber was standing tall, despite how short she is, and Shiro was, you know, bewildered on his back, unprepared, you know, when she was first summoned, she clearly was, well, <laughs> she was more in the master position in that case. Or rather, she was more in the... She had more control of the situation, but now the heights have reversed, or rather gone to where they should be based on their actual height. And now she has taken on the master role. He's taken on the master role such that he can he can willingly disregard it. How unfair. Are you telling me to say such a thing? I won't hold back if you won't tell me clearly. 
セイバーが拒まないんだ。俺はやりたいようにやるだけだ。<笑> If you won't refuse me, I'll do as I want. That sounds a little like rape! I mean, you're giving her a chance to say no, but I mean, maybe give her a decent while to actually respond before jumping in? I can tell you're horny, but slow down, boy. Even if it would make her temporarily forget her determination to be the king. Dash, 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 dash. A long silence. She's not saying no, because she knows that if she says no, like. It could truly be no turning back. It means she's thinking about it. That's what it means. Because, you know, her words were saying no, her actions were saying yes. And now she's, she's forcing him to put the actions and words in unison. And、um, she can't. They're at odds. So the silence. I keep holding her and feel her softness. She's still tense, not wanting to be embraced. All we hear are our breaths and the breathing of our hearts. How many times did our hearts beat? Saber slightly puts more power into the hand on my chest. I love how they're using the black to pan up and down and left and right with this one image. It's really making great use of、uh, the budget using just the one image and、um, showing different emotions and different p o i n t of views. I like it a lot. I cannot answer your feeling as you cannot change your way. There are things I cannot change. Mmm, it took a long while to say that though. Are you sure you're committed to this, this way? If you were really committed, it wouldn't have taken you this long to respond. All I can do if forgiven is to. Forgiven by who? Forgiven by me for not loving me? No, I'll never forgive you. Her pause aches my heart. And now it's panned down lower so we don't see her eyes anymore. And we see kind of.、Uh, we do see sort of his chest area, but from the back. She bites her lip, trembles, and says this as if to make a confession that this night is unforgivable. I was just saying earlier on that、uh, it's not that easy to identify when you like something and why you like it. It's easier to identify when something's bad. And I think that's true. But I think this is one of those cases where it was more easy to identify what was good about it. <laughs> I wish Saber to x j i r o was bridge in this scene quality the whole time. To be fair, they had to build to this. But yeah, there was a lot of touch and go along the way. And says this is to make confession that this night is unforgivable. This whole date, the whole, the date, the kiss, this embrace, unforgivable. But it would be only truly be unforgivable if,、uh, if you liked it. If you didn't like it, then it would have never gotten to this stage in the first place. But still, but still, her eyes look at me with such lust. Her unresting body. And her wavering eyes tell me that only this one night. Only this one night? Saber, that's a big tease of you. Only this one. Fate stay night. Fate stay this one night forever. <laughs>、mm. There's the title drop. No, Saber. Don't half commit. If you want to do it, go all in. You can't half ass Shiro like this. If you give him this one night, Then that's gonna be so unfair for him for the rest of his life. She wants to stay like this until the night ends. That is so mean, Saber. To be fair, he was mean first by bringing this up in such a situation. So I guess it's fair that they're mean to each other. Saber, I'm. I raise my hand to embrace her again. Ooh, you're shaking. You realize that she just wants it for the one night, and you want it to go for longer. But. I've used my mole phantasm, so I can't fight unless I receive energy from you. I guess that means we gotta do some more dragon sacks! 
Her quiet voice stops me. Dash, 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 dash. I can't say anything. Yeah, Saber, um, definitely, uh, he, she's pointed out in the past that Shiro's got problems about self-worth, and she desperately wants him to get over them without needing her in his life. But I don't think she realizes just how fucked he is and how, yeah, he's totally gonna, he's gonna end up axing himself in despair if she really fully rejects him. She definitely doesn't want that to happen. But I don't think that's what she's thinking right now at all. She's just thinking she kind of does want the romance to happen. And that's why she's torn about going with him and not. Not realizing the other side of it. Which is more fair, I'd say. If she did realize the other side of it, it wouldn't really be necessarily be a healthy relationship. Um, if she did realize, you know, that he would totally off himself. <laughs> but um, even still... It's better, in that case, that she is reciprocating, almost, despite not realizing the grave truth. I can't say anything. That reason is her best absolution and her biggest modest wish. Hmm. Yeah, you're right, but is the connection still working? Hmm. Interesting. Oh. I thought she was saying something like, I thought she was being poetic. Like, I can't resist you, Shiro. I use my noble phantasm. I can't fight. No, I should have known better. She wouldn't be poetic. She's being serious. <laughs> okay. Uh, and also, yeah, the dragon sex should have fixed it. Is the connection still working? Best case scenario, if Shiro re uh, Saber rejects Shiro, he throws himself in front of a sword to save someone. Worst case, it becomes a worse Kirei. Yeah, yeah, ideally, you know, ideally he just kills himself. <laughs> Although, how can he do it with his suicidal... Uh, maybe it'll stop working when his love dies with Saber? Hard to say how his, you know, whole crazy regeneration works. But yeah, worst case, more likely case, if he can't succeed in killing himself, is he just goes down a dark path and becomes an evil genius. Becomes the one thing he swore to kill. Yes, you're charging me even as we speak. Well, then you don't have to worry about the fighter, right? Our, our dragon sex is eternal. Don't you try to write this off. Don't you try to say, the only reason I feel awkward and, and like I might want this is because of our dragon sex. That's not true. It's more than just dragon sex, woman. So to heal, we must... Wait, what? If I'm charging you even as we speak, then we shouldn't need the dragon sex. But you want the dragon sex, you're giving excuses to why we should have it, even though you don't want it to be romantic, even though you want it to be romantic, but you don't want me to want it to be romantic. Is that what you're trying to say? Because the logic seems backwards. Be close to each other like this. Oh, unstable? Looks like we're okay now. That's the limit. This is the distance between us, a girl bound by her oath, and myself who cannot destroy her oath. Saber moves within my arms. My arms panic at her warmth. I'm painfully aware of her softness and slenderness. I'm ashamed for panicking. Saber's cheeks are red as well, and she looks embarrassed. I don't think she's even half as embarrassed as you are. Please, Shiro. <laughs> Stop throwing out all the bullshit reasons. For why you should be together. Just say it or don't. Either be like, hey, I want to be with you, or no, nah, thanks. You can't reject it and then be like, 
Oh, but, um, it would be good for our powers if we slept together, maybe. You know, wink, wink. Come on. Fuck off with that. Fucking tease. I want to have sex with you just this one night, but not because I want to have sex with you, but because it'll charge our powers better. <laughs> or no, like going back to her original logic of I should be sleeping in the same reason, r room as you would always protect you. You'll know sh you know she's stuttering because she didn't even bring that up as her original reason she wanted to even be in the same room. Please allow me to sleep here tonight. It's easier for the sword and the sheath to regain powers if they're together. And if we bring our bodies and minds closer like during that ritual, shut the fuck up. How can he re object, though? He has to. Shiro, you have to. You can't just say yes. If you give into her half-assery, then you're going to just let her half-assery go through, and then she's just going to go back to not doing it afterwards. You have to be like, no. If you like me, you actually like me. You don't get to do that. Oh, he fucking nods back, the pussy! Happiness overwhelms my embarrassment. Ugh! This is not okay, Shiro. You can't just... She's already said she only wants it to be the one night, or rather, you've inferred it. So don't let her have it be just the one night. I know you're thirsty. You're thirsty to have it. But if you take it just the one night, knowing that it's never again, you can't accept that shit. You can't! I'm gonna be with Saber until morning. We can't touch each other anymore. We can still be close using our hearts. Okay. Shiro. Good, then Shiro. No, this is not right. This is not how you move forward with your relationship. This is the most unhealthy step possible. I will do the preparations tonight. So can you go back to your room? Oh, Saber. Saber, why? Saber stands. You gotta quit this half ass attitude, woman. She's trying to eat her cake and fuck it too, and I renegade, I'm not having it, but I guess Shiro's too much of a simp. I'm reluctant to let her go, but I can't be like this forever. No, you can't even be like this for more than one day, so, you know, maybe say something? I head to the sliding screen. I turn back to look at Saber as I close the screen. It feels like I'm doing something impure, so I quickly close it. I mean, you know, man on woman, you know, they say how, you know, it's impure, but like, you know, eventually, you know, if they're going to, if you're going to do it, you have to say, you know, you have to get rid of the cooties and say it's not impure anymore. Death to the cooties. We still use the word simp. I'm sorry. I've been watching a lot of, um, I've been watching a lot of disguised host, uh, Among Us videos and they call it, call it simp sometimes, so. It's gotten into vernac my vernacularly. Mm. Uh. Oh, ellipses. For some reason, I sit Japanese style on the futon as I wait, waiting for the dragon sex. I'm gonna be sleeping together with Saber. Just the thought of it causes me to dance inside my head. This is to help save her, and also to grant, <laughs> to grant her small wish. But you're ignoring her big wish, you selfish prick! And you're ignoring the long term for yourself, too! One night stand won't solve anything long term. If anything, it'll just make it worse. Best case scenario, she ends up not wanting to stop either after the one night stand. But that's hoping for a lot based on how she's been objecting to you so far. Saber may be able to smile someday if we pile up such small wishes. You're again a suit. This is just gonna be one wish. It's gonna be one, right? Mm. I okay. Maybe his hope is that after the one, she'll give in. But I think he's being too. He's underestimating her oath. The battle is nearing its end. Will we have enough time? Shiro. Excuse me, Shiro. Excused. The screen opens. I shake the depressing frames that are dropping from my head. <laughs> and welcome, Saber. Are we dropping? Yes, we are. 
I turn around and see, oh fuck, how hot is she? Oh fuck. Okay. Alright. Okay. <clears throat> I have to, um, uh, mm, uh, mm, okay. I got a, uh, um, um, obligatory save to the spank bank. Um, <clears throat> uh, um, uh, um. Uh -huh. Looks nice like that. The um a hoge hair especially stands out, I'll say. <laughs> the uh you know the 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 idiot hair that the one strand that's sticking out especially stands out when she looks like this, but um yeah, we don't normally see her with long hair like this. It's usually uh uh bunned up. But she definitely looks good with long, uh, with her hair, uh, down and out. I like it a lot. I quietly swallow my breath. Oh, the legs, the chest, oh! I can see why she puts, uh, it up for fighting purposes. It makes a lot of sense, but aesthetically, I do think that hair down is more pleasing. Her white figure shows up in the darkness. With that, my agitation disappears. It's probably because she's too beautiful. My agitated mind comes to its senses and clears up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she definitely looks nice. I love how it just momentarily pants to the legs, pants to the chest. Like we're following Shiro's vision. It's great. <laughs> Do I look strange in this? Um, I mean, your hair kind of makes it look weird, but why? Did you get that from Taiga? <laughs> no, that's not true. I'm probably troubled because you're so dazzling. And <laughs> he comes right out and says it. I remember a strange thing, such as how troubling it is for a girl to be too beautiful. Saber wouldn't understand what I mean, but my mind won't move unless I say it. Well, maybe for her, you're too handsome. May I... <laughs> May I go over there, Shiro? <laughs> fucking Shiro vision. Look at her fucking face when she speaks to you. <laughs> don't just, don't just ogle her chest area. Uh, yeah, of course, I'm sure he's too nervous to actually look straight at her. If he looks at least kind of lower, then he can, you know, maybe pretend it's not her to just get the get the get the jitters out. When she sees her dread on in her face, it's harder to get the jitters out. So I suppose there's that logic too. I noticed for the first time how her small toes look beautiful. If we're looking at her feet, you should be showing us that game. You're doing bad at showing us the POV. Her toes look beautiful. Of course, every aspect of her. She's got such beautiful toenails. Out of context is the weirdest shit. Female King Arthur hooks up with suicidal rare hair Japanese kid. <laughs> Even in context, it's a bit weird. <laughs> but I get it. <laughs> the buildup was a bit weird, but I get it now that we're here. As Saber makes her way over, I draw back and spread the futon. I realize that I need another pillow, but it's too late now. You're gonna have to share the pillow. Saber and I are sitting by the futon side by side. Okay, now sitting is the first step, then you start lying down. There's only one room and one futon, but Saber's with me. I have no dirty thoughts, but my face is burning and I can't even sneak a glance at Saber. Well, that's bad. In this situation, you need some fucking dirty thoughts. <laughs> you need some dirty thoughts, Shiro. If you don't have dirty, dirty thoughts now out of all times, what's the point of ever even having dirty thoughts? Masaki ni tozo, Shiro. I feel like I heard toes in there. It was like Masaki ni tozo. Or so, I don't know quite what you said, but I heard toes. <laughs> Imagine Rin just eavesdropping and laughing. Uh... I don't know about that. I feel like she would be jelly. 
Like, I feel like Rin is somewhat of a supporter of the relationship, but only in that I think she doesn't think it's gonna really go anywhere. I think if she knew it was going in this direction, she'd be a bit more grumbly about it. Maybe. Please go ahead, Shiro. No, you can go ahead. No, we'll make no progress like this. Someone has to lead. <laughs> Saber, despite being a king, isn't a great leader here. Shiro, despite being, you know, the man of the hour and thinking women need to stay in their women roles, isn't a great leader here. I slip under the futon. You're the one who wanted this, Shiro, so you're the one who has to lead. It's only fair. Then make space for Saber. I try to give the pillow to her, but she quietly pushes it back towards me. <laughs> Always with trying to give to each other and never let yourself have anything. You can use this. Oh shit, that's a big ask for her. <laughs> you can use this. May I, um, use your arm as my pillow? I mean, you can use whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> Given the, the height difference, that would actually work out, yeah. Arm sounds like an uncomfortable pillow, actually. Like, I don't know, I mean, there's the bosom pillow, there's, you know, there's the knees, the chest area, the legs, I think. I feel like an arm isn't that comfortable based on, you know, I don't know, not much. Maybe both arms together if you cradled them correctly. Anyways. She murmurs such a thing. Saber is in my arms and is surprisingly calm. I'm not hugging her, but rather, she has settled in there. Oh, I'm sure Saber's slept in much worse positions. You know, she's been down and dirty. <laughs> sword and sheath. And she's the sword and I'm the sheath. It's weird. Gender rules slightly reversed, but I'll take it. I recall Saber's words. Saber's about to fall asleep using my arm as her pillow, and she looks like a beautiful sword in its sheath. Her warmth and her faint smell calms me down instead of exciting me. Makes sense. I mean, you were excited when, you know, you weren't to this, this position, but um, once you actually get to this position, um, a lot of the nerves start to go away because this is what you sort of look forward to. Once you're actually there, you know, there's not much more for the, you know, it's kind of like being worried about getting a needle from the doctor. Once the needle is actually happening, it's like, wow, well, there's no reason to be worried anymore. It's happening. Yep, definitely. In search of sword and shear's sheath. Pagan Rennie, saying it again. I'm sorry, what? You've said that before, Pagan. I don't know what Pagan is. I'm sorry, do I need to look this up? We're in the middle of a sexy scene, but this is the second time you said Pagan. And I guess I should have asked you what you meant the first time, but I just kind of let it slide. What the heck is Pagan? What's Pagan? Pegging? What does Pagan mean? Pagan. Here are all the possible meanings and translations of the word Pagan. Definitions for Pagan. The numerical value of Pagan in Chaldean pneumology. Pythagorean pneumology. I know Pythagorean theorem. Cool. Pegging. I don't get it. What are you pegging? Explain to me what is being pegged here. I don't understand the context. I'm just going to continue the sex scene. Ellipses. Saber holds out her hand. I take her hand under the food on and clasp it. You gotta go further, man, especially if this is supposed to only be one night, which, then again, if you do go further and it's only one night, that'll be bad. But if you don't go further and it's only one night, she might commit to being only one night because you didn't go further and she won't know what she's missing out on. We quietly fall asleep. No, you can't just sleep. You gotta fucking sex it up. <laughs> But before that, yes? Saber. Saber. I call out to the girl laying beside me. I want to ask her in the end to hear her reply to my question. <laughs> I can hear it in your fucking voice, you deflecting she witch. 
Do you feel it, Shiro? My magical energy should be replenished by tomorrow morning at this rate. I can fight as your servant starting tomorrow. Yeah, sure, sure you can. I'm not so sure about that. You know, my magical energy and yours, they were like, it was a fucked connection for a while. Um, I don't know if one night will fix this. We both got pretty fucked up in that fight. I think we're going to need a couple more. That's how you respond, sure, if you want to, you know, play this off at all without just letting her go after one night. That's it for now, Shiro. Shiro, if you're gonna fucking object, fucking do it now! My role is to protect you and to obtain the Holy Grail. I cannot think about anything else till the battle is over. Objection. If you really, if your really role was to protect me, then why did you call me your sheath? Because the sheath's job is to protect the sword, to keep it from sustaining, you know, damage over time. I guess the argument you made is that I'm charging my sword while you're in the sheath, but she's only giving this much to Shiro because of the gill fight. I mean, yeah, that definitely feels correct, but. I think she wants it. She just realized more than ever how much she wants it because of the, the gill fight, I would say. But she's still like, it has to be just one night. And Shiro, you're the one who needs to object to this. That's... Is that not right? Because you have... Chosen to fight to end this war. Is that really why I chose to fight? I mean, I did say that I wanted to stay in the war to find out more about what the fuck happened. And did we learn that the fire was my father's fault? I think we mostly just don't want a bad guy to win. We don't want a bad wish to happen. But it feels like your wish right now is pretty bad anyway, so... After the war, we should be able to live happily. You shouldn't have to erase yourself from existing and continue being a servant forever. That's something I cannot argue against. I mean, why not? Start now! Say fuck it! I don't want to end the war! War sounds great! Let's just keep the war going on forever and keep macking! Is there a deadline on how long the war can last? Because if there isn't, you know... I'm sure, you know, eventually Lancer will run out of patience, but at the moment, I don't think Lancer... If we're the only one left, Lancer is almost certainly biding his time. Lancer knows where we fucking live. Um, so, the reason he isn't acting is very clear. He's scared as shit of going against us when Rin is there, Elia is there, um, and if he knows about Gilly as well, then he probably just wants to stay the fuck out of it and hopes Gilly just kills Saber so that Lancer can get a cheap, cheap win. It also sounded like Lancer doesn't like his master very much. If I remember correctly, Lancer said he in reference to his master. So his master should be a man, and he said that, oh, he's being such a jerk or whatever. Um, uh, and that would also seem like the kind of thing where, you know, Lancer might not think it's honorable, but his master would be like, yeah, just stay out of it. Let him and this archer guy kill each other. He starts to con contradict himself. Everything's gonna fall apart. He deep down he knows that was never the point. Uh, <laughs> my master was a coward. Yeah, his master is probably still being a coward, and they're probably hiding away somewhere. Is their idea? But I'd be surprised if Gilly and or Kire can't figure out where they are. Especially Kire, given that he's the uh, observer. Although, didn't they say that not many people actually showed up to the church of the masters involved? So, um, Lancer's master is probably one of the ones who didn't show up, but... If I want to do something about a problem, I have to end this war beforehand. End the war with, 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 uh, Saber's struggle, you mean? <laughs> uh. Also, by the time you end the war, I feel like it'll be a bit too late. You have to talk out what's gonna happen before that, don't you? First of all, I can't protect Saber unless we defeat that man who's after Saber. I mean, you can talk about that all you want, but that's not even the main intent. The war is technically still with Lancer. I don't think uh, old Archer really has a stake in this. He might try to steal the Grail away from the winner, but I don't think he can technically be the winner. 
but do we have a way to defeat that king of heroes i mean you already injured him you kind of fucked him up you just need to discover your inner self and find a way to utilize it and not just you know have it show up randomly with the power of love or whatever dash 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 are you really thinking about that right now and not, you know, how to sex the saber? Dash, 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 dash. We grow quiet and stare at the darkness. How long were we like that? I don't know. Did you never do the sex? Was it just that? What a shitty one night stand. Shiro still thinks he's playing the long game and is ignoring saber's words and we're just going to do it this one night. Um, and, or rather, he's the one who inferred that, but he just went along with it and thinks he can still long game it despite that. But I don't think that's correct unless he really makes a real move here. Because just sleeping together, I don't think that's going to do much. My tired body wants to take a rest and my eyes start to close. But our clasped hands are warm. The saber. Hi. Yes, let us think tomorrow, Shiro. Yeah, let us think about an alternative to your dumb wish. Although probably what you mean is let us think of how to beat Lancer or how to beat Gilly, but uh... We might come up with a good plan tomorrow and... I would like to sleep like this for now. She says so while gently clasping my hand. Oh, did she say that part? Mmm. Emotional connection for Saber is a lot more important than sex. Well, you know, don't know until you try, right? <laughs> I think I think there's merit to what you're saying, for sure. But also, like, especially if it really is going to be just a one-night thing, then, I mean, might as well try it once, right? So yeah. yeah, I wanted to do so, too. I guess I understand from both their perspectives. From Saber's perspective, she doesn't want to do it that hard because she doesn't want to give Shiro a false impression if she's just going to walk away from this. And from Shiro's perspective, he's still playing the long game and thinks there's going to be more and doesn't want to pressure her if she's not ready. Um, but, you know, I'm just thinking that, like, if I was really Shiro and really respecting her wishes, but he's clearly not respecting her wishes, he's still going for the long game despite what she's saying. They're both so stubborn. Yeah, I wanted to do so, too. Yes. Good night, Shiro. Let us return to our previous selves when we wake up. I close my eyes with her close to me. My last vision of Saber sees her smiling warmly. Your last vision ever? Probably not. I don't care if that was just for this night. Right now, her hand is warm. You're gonna care that it was just for that night when the night is over. Stop living in the moment. Live in the future. You've always been bad about living in the future, though. You're all all about, I want to save everyone. But then you don't actually work towards any kind of realistic goal that would actually be towards saving everyone. You just do your damn drill every night as if that's gonna accomplish anything in the long term. Um, although maybe it did actually help out for toughening your body up during the war, but I don't think it would have toughened you up to the point of immortality, so it's debatable how much it helped anyway. Um, it might have helped uh, awaken your magic somewhat, but... I think for the most part you were just spinning your wheels. And you're really bad about thinking in the future, living in the future. And uh, that might become a problem after this is over. It's more than enough for me right now as I fall into a comfortable sleep. The panning shots. We approach the end of this battle. Without knowing if we'd be able to keep our hands connected even after everything is over. Okay, we have a 15th day. Utopia! Okay, that sounds... Sounds like a final day, but maybe I'm wrong. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the final day. Based on the way that scene went, I felt like that was the penultimate leading into the final day. I could be wrong, though. Let's see.
When I wake up, the sun is already way up. The room is dim. And is Saber still in your grasp? Or if she already snuck out in the middle of the night? I feel like it's still last night. And shake my head violently. Just don't shake Saber awake if she's sleeping. It's cloud outside. No wonder I didn't wake up. More like you were having really sweet long dreams. And that's why you didn't wake up. You've probably already forgotten, haven't you? Seems my sleep-deprived body caught up on sleep, taking advantage of the darkness of the room. It seems it's already past 1 o'clock. AM or PM? PM. Okay. That's late. Oversleeping this much can't just be called sleeping in. <laughs> Shira, are you genuinely forgetting or are you subconsciously forgetting? Oh, you didn't forget. You're just treating it casually because you want it to be casual in the future. I understand. Saber, are you awake? She's still there. Dash, dash, dash. There's no answer. She's still there. Saber sleeping next to me, slightly curled. Oh fuck! She didn't sleep out, sink out in the middle of the night. She really did want it after all. If you know, if it was just because of the gill fight, if it was pity because of the gill fight, and wanted to give him a little something, she would have snuck out towards you know, certainly much before 1 p.m. in the afternoon. She wanted it. I wake up when I'm not sleeping anymore, but Saber has to recover her magical energy. Considering how long she slept before, she probably won't wake up until dinner. I mean, yes, she got fucked up in the fight, but you got plenty fucked up too. You got torn in half. Jeez. Also, it's kind of a weird for a sheath to be made of swords. Is it less or more weird than in a, uh, a chair being made of swords? I leave the room trying not to wake Saber up. There's no need to wake her up right now. The contest begins at night. The what? What is this contest again? I don't think Lancer Gilgamesh will appear during the day. What contest are we talking about? Are you are you planning something or was something already announced that I'm unaware of? Ellipses. You're just prepped? You're thinking we're gonna end it tonight? That's your plan? You still don't know who Lancer's master is. You don't know where Lancer is. You don't know anything about uh, anyone um, Gilgamesh might be connected to. So how could you possibly plan for a finale tonight unless some... You're... Hmm. I mean, yeah, I understand that. He's saying that, you know... Um, the contest begins at night. But he's inferring that they're going to want to fight him. Because he doesn't know how to find them. Maybe he can look for them. But he doesn't know where either of them are, you know, staying. Um, they both know where he's staying. They would bring the fight to him. He doesn't know how to bring the fight to them. Unless he, you know, fucking looks for once. It's always been them bringing the fight to him every time. Um, Lancer brought the fight to him. Granted, Lancer didn't know who he was at the time. Um, Rin came to him, although Rin was chasing Lancer. Uh, Caster came to him. Shinji said, hey, let's talk about this. So Shinji confronted him. Um, Gilly showed up because of Caster, but it was still here. Uh, Berserker and Ilya confronted him. Every time, he never is going out and looking for a master. Assassin is the one time, but that was never, that was not on him. That was on Saber, and it was also on slight instructions from Shinji. So, that, Saber was the, sorry, Assassin was the one time where they kind of brought the fight to someone else, but... It wasn't Shira, really, so he wasn't really the one leading the charge. So it would just be definitely a change of pace. So I have to come up with a plan. It's weird that you're putting your mind on the fight. I guess the idea is after the fight I can convince her, but I feel like the mentality should be after the fight there's no more chances left to convince her because she's just gonna fucking... <laughs> she's just gonna get her wish. Which she's not gonna wait around for... Like, you think you can convince her last minute? I feel like you need to marinate this. Like you just, you did, that was a good start. But if you just end it there and then, you know, try to, you might be able to pull it off, but I think it's sketchy. I think doing the fight first is sketchy, but I guess you're sort of respecting her wish, sort of not. <clears throat> At the very least, you want to be her knight in shining armor by kicking Gilgamesh's asshole. Uh, Lancer seems rather irrelevant in the grand scheme of, I think, your plans, but 
you're still pretending like he matters by including him, I suppose. Putting Lancer aside, of course you are. Gilgamesh will certainly come again tonight. Really? Are you sure? You don't know that. Um, I mean, after what happened last night, who can say what, 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 why he left in the first place? But maybe. We'll see. I think there's a decent chance. If Kirei did pull him away to do something important, then the second he gets a chance, he probably will come back. If the reason he left was a different reason, like he actually has humility, or he saw something in Shiro that made him scared, it might take more than just a day. But... I need to think about it considering his personality and the murderous intent he showed last night. It was really weird that he slinked away considering the murderous intent. I feel like it had to be he was doing something for Kire, cause other or, or, or again, he saw something crazy inside Shiro, but I still don't think... Like, how crazy would it have to be for him to slink away and think that it's better than his hype? Because he believes his own hype above everything, right? Like, is there something he thinks that's actually similarly hype-leveled? I'm surprised that the slight injury didn't just make him want to go on a ballistic rage right then and there. But... Maybe he's never, ever, ever been injured before? Um... I don't remember if he was ever injured in Fate Zero. Um... It very possibly he wasn't. And if that's the case, and that was the first time he was ever injured, then maybe I can understand him slinking away. But if he was, that was the first time he was ever injured? If he saw something crazy, he would just pull out, uh, Ea. Um, I think he did have Ea. But, um, but he was, uh, slashed down by our sword. I, my, my, my thought process is the opposite. I feel like if he saw something, um... If he saw, if that was the first time he was ever injured, then I feel like he would be less angry and more afraid. Um, and if that wasn't the first time he was injured, then I, then I don't think he would slink away. Um, I feel like if he saw something in Shiro that he wanted to take seriously, then he would slink away to reorganize a strategy. But anyways, that's my read on the scenario at the moment, but I don't know for sure. <sighs> Alright. What should I do? He has an infinite supply of noble phantasms, and one of them even exceeds Saber's Excalibur. <laughs> yeah. Her ace in the hole, and his ace is even better. Despite having... It's like, his whole hand is king's. And, and then, and then Saber has, you know, she's got some, some jacks, some tens, some queens... And then, and then an ace. And then it's like, oh, well, um, you know, Gilgamesh's entire hand is kings. And he's actually got, like, a hand of, like, a hundred cards instead of the usual five. And then his one ace isn't even an ace. It's like a joker. He's like, OP. Berserker was a difficult enemy to defeat. Hey, but we killed four lives in one. But we still could fight him even though he wa we were inferior. Were you really inferior when you're able to kill four lives in one? I mean, there's a difference between fighting smart and winning because of that. And I mean, you did both. You did both. Rin had her, um, she used her jewels. And that was a smart move. Like, the way she positioned herself and stuff. But still, there's a difference between, you know, um, fighting a stronger opponent and winning because you're smart. And fighting a stronger opponent and winning because you're secretly super strong. You just don't realize it. Which is what you are, Shiro. So start realizing it. We could look for a chance for a comeback even when he was pushing us. I mean, you got your comeback because you're secretly super powered. That's the reason. It's the same exact thing that happened versus Gilly. That's what you need. Headcanon that Herc has a weakness to holy stuff. And that's why he died. <laughs> uh, makes it a little less bullshit. He's different. Is he? The same shit happened. He, he, he just, just, he didn't, just didn't die this time. He didn't even die once. Herc died four times. He didn't even die once. <clears throat> it won't even be a fight right now. He uses that noble phantasm called Ea. Yeah, we will all die. You didn't all die last time. So why do you have to die this time? I have to find a way. There isn't long before sunset. Really? Some of these days can last a long time. There's no solution if I think on my own, because I'm stupid. I have to talk with my friends. My waifu companions. If Saber, Tosaka, and I can't think of a plan, then maybe Ilya can? 
She's freaking... Tosaka's better at dealing with unexpected stuff. But Ilya knows a lot about a lot. So, you should probably ask her some help, too. Oh, no. The church is a supervisor. He might know. Didn't you just talk to him the other day? You really gonna talk to him again? I mean... Or, it was like a day or two ago. And I feel like... No. I mean, I, as the Renegade, know that there's definitely a strong connection between Kare and Gilly. But, even if I didn't, you just talked to him, like, a couple days ago. Why? He might know a way to overcome this situation. You're really gonna ask the supervisor for help. The supervisor, the impartial. Gary did mention that he was gonna investigate Gil. Oh, did he say that? <laughs> that fucker. Uh... Okay, if he said that, then that kind of helps explain some things. Yeah, as a supervisor, he might know a way to overcome the situation. It still seems bad that you get someone impartial involved in your fight, at least with Lancer, but I guess with Gil, because Gil technically shouldn't be involved anyways, it's okay? Maybe. King of Heroes, Gilgamesh. He's gonna be the the king of villains, but also the, the dead of villains when I'm done being... If he's the king of heroes and a bad guy... Then I'm like the king of villains and a, and a good guy because she's secretly a super villain. So he's going to kick his butt and then the villain will beat the hero, but the villain will be the hero. Take that, genres. Kotomine Kire said that he would find some measure against that survivor of the last Holy Grail War. We can't find a countermeasure, but that priest might have already come up with a plan. Oh, I'm sure it's a great plan. I'm sure he'd love to, ki to, <laughs> to beat up his old buddy. Mm, I wonder what he's scheming, Mr. Kire. I go up the hill. During the day? This is going to be the first time we've ever went to the church during the day. He's really, woo. He's really jumping to the gun. Okay. This is good. If it's true that Kire said that he'll come up with something, then I think it's good for Shiro to do this. I renegade know that this could easily be a fucking trap, but, you know, from Shiro's perspective, I think for once this is kind of a smart move. The sky is filled with gray clouds. Dash, 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 dash. The church is the only thing at the top of the hill. There's no one in sight, not even the sound of birds. Well, wait, if there's no one in sight, then why do you suddenly bring up sounds? You could say there's no one in sight, not even a bird. Or, I can't hear anyone, not even a bird. But instead you said, vision first, then sound second. You, you, that doesn't work, Shiro, that doesn't work. Learn your words. Is it because of the dark sky? It looks more ominous than holy. That sounds about right for Kirei. Metaphorically, it feels like a gallows. Wooga, wooga, wooga. Mm, right, so Kirei is... He's in that position, the whole fake priest thing, where, like, he's a mage, but he's in the priest position, and priests are, like, should be normally opposed to magic, so he's kind of like the... Uh, holy people are normally opposed to magic, is that right? That's why he's a fake priest, and he's, like, a weird middleman? That instinct is coming in handy for Shiro. Oh! I mean, to be fair, dark clouds is a real thing that someone could see, and potentially... There's a difference between seeing dark clouds and going, I think this is bad, and seeing a normal sunny day and going, this is bad. <laughs> Looks more ominous. It feels like a gallows. Going up that long hill through the large courtyard, prosecuted before God and falling to hell. Are you planning to fall to hell, Shiro? Probably. What am I talking about? That's not just a metaphor. From the beginning, a church is a place where people die. Um, you know, sometimes it's where people pray. People don't always die there. People will, will pray over dead people. Um, and sometimes people die there, but I think it's usually more common that people just pray over dead people or, 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 or you know, stuff like that. They hold funerals. A hospital is a place where they try to prolong life. But at the same time, it is also a place where people face death. Well, okay, yes, a hospital, that's true. People will definitely die in hospitals all the time. I feel like people dying in churches is more rare? A church is the same. Is it? No, there's no place has more death than here. What? I don't think that's true. I mean, if you mean people will sometimes bury their dead at churches, but, like, they won't necessarily... The moment of death, I think, is not as likely. 
Dash, 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 dash. The wind is cold. Fastening my collar, I go up the stairs to the church. I don't see any stairs, but okay. Ooh, that creaking. That creaking ambiance, you just love it, don't you? You just love it. Kotamine, I came to talk. Is he here? I enter the chapel. There's no one in here either. Kotomine. Kire, Kotomine. I guess he's calling him Kotomine. I guess that's a respectful thing to do, isn't it? Because that's his, like, uh, surname. But, you know, Kire is shorter. Kotomine? That's like, that's like four syllables. I, for some reason, I was counting on my hand. I got to five, and I'm like, no, that's not right. <laughs> is he in the back again? Or maybe this time, he's not in at all, and this is a trap to kill you, set up by Gilly. I don't know, and Kiri's in on it. I don't think they would really cooperate much in that sense. Like, I don't think Gilly would really want necessarily Kiri's help for this. He'd probably feel like it's his man's honor that he has to beat this uh, love rival of his on his own or something. Unless there's something really sketchy going on with Shiro. Walking between the chairs, I walk to the altar. Pat, 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 pat. A dry sound echoes through the chapel. It must be designed for echoes as one person's footsteps fill the room. Kotomine, Kotomine are you not here? I call out in a soft voice. Doesn't sound that soft from the voice acting. It's certainly strange. I should be calling out in a loud voice if I'm calling for someone. It sounded decently loud. I, I know he's somewhere in the back, so I should be calling out in a loud voice, but you don't because of your instinct. But I advance, keeping my voice quiet, my footsteps quiet, and suppressing my presence. If that's true, the voice should, in the voice lines should be a little quieter. I feel, but yeah, whatever. You were quieter last night. Is it because the chapel is so magnificent? Does it intimidate you? I feel like as soon as I reveal my presence, something will surround me and cut my head off for disgracing God or something. <laughs> oh, that something that surrounds you might be Gilly's noble phantasms. Oh boy, I pass through the chapel and get into the courtyard. Funny, funny. I think Kotomini's room is right. We saw this the other time. Where he led us. I think he led us through here last time. Um, that's right, because he found him in the back last time. Don't quite remember this whole, that whole shtindig, but I believe that's what happened. I advance with quiet footsteps. Oh shit, we're going to find some ninja, ninja truths? Are we going to learn something about the connection between Kiri or, uh, and Gilly? It might be too soon, but maybe not. The church is complicated. I don't know where Kotomini's room is. My memory is vague, so I know I won't be able to get there. Okay. Mm. Your memory is vague. Not surprised, you know. <laughs> uh, given that you don't seem to remember anything from before the fire, at least not, you know. At least you don't ever go out of your way to remember anything. Yeah, your memory is kind of vague. You've never even bothered to name your parents or even identify them as anything other than your parents, not even mom and dad. When you say dad, it's always implied to be Kiritsugu. Dash, dash. Dash, dash. Something. I control my breathing. Oh, fuck. There's his inner demon side. The red text. I think we've seen that a couple times before. We didn't see it in the fight with Gilly, interestingly enough. Maybe without Saber here, there's nothing to hold back the rage. I control my breathing. We might have seen the red text uh, when fighting against Shinji, I want to say. I think that was before Saber showed up. My throat is dry and it's hard to breathe. At the very least, Shiro is not focused on Saber at that point. I don't think. Dash, dash. Why? Oh boy. Even though the hallway is cool, sweat forms on my brow. Hello, Silkanen. I stop calling out and examine the surroundings with all my senses. 
Oh, that's right. So, okay. Suddenly, when the red tech shows up, that's when you know he's serious. The super evil side temporarily coming out to be smart for a second. Do I have such... doubts? I don't know why. Why I'm walking silently? Why my heart's beating so fast? Why? An ominous feeling in this place. Ooh, his instinct. Dash, 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 dash. Maybe, Kir maybe Kire and uh, Gilly are having a meeting in the back right now, as we speak. The same words repeat in my head. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. But you've never been one to go back, Shiro. You never run from fights, and when you do, that's usually when we get fucking bad ends, so... Kota Mine isn't here, so you don't have anything to do here. Go home since you're by yourself. Your decision is a mistake. Your actions are a mistake. Saber isn't here to help you. Your chill is a mistake. Go back! Go back! Go back. This isn't bad. There's nothing bad here. There's nothing here, so go home. Interesting, 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 interesting. Something's really telling him to turn around. Koto Mine isn't here. How do you know that? Go home since you're by yourself. There's the smartness coming through. You're by yourself. You should go home. Your decisions, most of them, are mistakes. Your actions are mistakes. Your chill uh, in this scenario, yeah, probably a mistake. But now the, the, it's turning around saying, this isn't bad, don't worry, it's not a bad situation. It's a boring situation, that's why you should go back. If it was bad, I would understand why you'd want to fight it, but it's boring. You don't want to fight boring. It's almost like his inner inner mind is, is, is readjusting to deal with the dumb Shiro. Ah! I feel sick. Is it the sickness of your inner true self? I feel nauseous. Times like this, my chill is correct. Your chill? Oh, your chill, like, um... Oh, you have, like, a... You mean, like, your instinct? I thought for chill, you mean, like, oh, yeah, I'm chill. Not like I have a chill in the air. Okay, I think he means that chill. I see. My sense for danger is good enough for an amateur magus. <laughs> Can you really call yourself an amateur magus anymore? After the things you've done? That's why I can't stop. That's why you can't stop? Because you want the danger? Suppressing my pounding heart, I look for Kotomine's room. Ah, uh, yep, he's suppressing it! Like, he's like, no. He, first he was telling himself to go back because it's just boring. Go back. No, it's bad. If it's bad, I, I want to see the bad. I want to rush into the situation that might kill me. He was telling himself to go back because he has the Saber sexual. And it's, if he ends up having a life with Saber, then he should value his own life. But it's like, no, it's going to be a one-night thing, right? So no, 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 no. It's, someone's going to kill me. Or I might need to kill whoever this is to protect Saber. And in that way, I run into the darkness. Underground? Uh-oh. Underground passageway? I see stairs in the darkness. In a small indent between the walls, one would normally miss because the shadows is a narrow staircase. Oh, fuck. Dash, 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 dash. Are you going to go down, Shiro? Are you going down? I shouldn't go down there. I'd bet money on it. How much money do you have, Shira? Bet. Bet your house on it. Your house, I'm pretty sure, is pretty expensive. Houses in general are expensive, but yours is also pretty fucking fancy. Kotomine won't be down there. No one will be down there. Hmm. Maybe the red text tells truths, and this is him. Uh, Trying to rationalize, like, no one will be down there. But the red text only said Kotomine, so maybe, maybe Gilly will be down there. There can't be down there. There can't be anyone down there. Oh, why the space? What is going on with your mind, Shira? What is the text doing? I don't believe this is, uh, given the timing of this, I don't think this, these are typos. There can't be down there. There can't be down there. There can't be co-what? Co-what? Anything good? There can't be down there. There can't be says? There can't be... 
masters, there can't be servants, there can't be theses, there, what, oh, I'm not exactly sure what some, Koses? I don't know what these words are saying. There can't be RP down there. No role playing allowed down there. And Shiro role plays all the time, pretends that he's not a bad guy. I shouldn't go in there. But you're going in anyway. My neck stiffens. I... I enter the darkness. It's a room made of stone. If he was to turn around, I fucking know Shiro's deal at this point. If I was to say, turn around, it like he would have just, the fucking Gilgamesh would have been lurking or, or Kirai would have been lurking right there and they would have seen him and they would have killed him or some shit. Um, but by going down the stairs, he's going to barely miss them, discover something terrible and then get out before he gets caught is my prediction. It's a room made of stone. The lights aren't on, but the room itself is glowing blue as if it's a living thing. I agree, school is not the best thing in the world. <laughs> what was that ad? I remember Critical Role was parodying another ad, but it's like... Uh, enough with school. I don't think that's what they said at all in the ad, but it's what I'm saying now. Just watch Renegade. What? Anyways, the room itself is glowing blue as if it's a living thing. An underground temple? It might be used quite often as the temple isn't dirty with dust or mold. Oh, fuck. His secret dirty rituals go on down here. How deep is this? I look up the stairs I've descended. The staircase is built along the wall in an arc. The red voice is gone. The voice telling him reason is gone. So now he's just back to the whiteness. He's, he's given into the stupidity and gone down the stairs. Uh, <laughs> being quite observant, Shiro. Yeah, it's almost like he can take things seriously when, he, when his sixth sense tells him to. The staircase is built along the wall in an arc. I must trace out a perfect half moon. And also, I think now maybe he finally wants to. Now that he just had his giggity night of all gigginess with Saber, he actually is willing to maybe take life a little more seriously because he's maybe thinking he has a future for himself beyond just letting himself die in some ditch. I must trace out a perfect half moon. As I can see the start of the stairs above, t about 10 meters directly above me. See? That's pretty observant. 10 meters. I wouldn't even know... To be fair, I'm just not very good at, like, I would be able to see a distance and go, okay, I know how far that is. But if you ask me the actual distance, I don't fucking know. I don't know how, long, how far a meter is. I'm, I'm not great at measurements like that. Dash, 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 dash. Is it because there's no light? The arcing staircase that connects this underground and the outside world room reminds me of a centipede crawling through this temple. A centipede or a serpent? A cobra, even. A human centipede? Ew. And I notice the door under the stairs. I want to say that this room was in Fate Zero, and it was like it was where Kiri and Gilgamesh usually hung out. Um, it was where they had some of their talks. I think it, maybe not this room, but the, maybe the room next door, because there's a door, right? I'm going to guess next door there's like a lounge area. At least there was. I think I'm right. I think that's where they would, you know, just hang out in Fate Zero. But under the stairs, the symbol in front of me, beyond it, an entrance to darkness is open. I approach the darkness as if drawn to it. I go through what appears to be an entrance into the place. What place? Is it damp? Oh, fuck. Damp? The floor feels slippy. Slimy. It's hard to walk on. Oh, God. Are there corpses in here and you're walking on them? It's 
like at the time I cleaned the swimming pool back at school. Uh-oh. The feeling that bog moss covers the floor and the feeling that my leg would rot every time I step in it. Dash, 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 dash. I stop. It's because I'm scared by the nasty feeling of the floor, but more than that, because I smell an awful stench. Oh no. Is it actually corpses? Are they fresh? Are they old? How many? I mean, that's what it would be, right? I plug my nose in reflex. The smell isn't momentary, but ongoing. Oh fuck, is this like, is this where Kire keeps, I don't know, instead of actually giving them proper burials, maybe he hides, you know, his bodies back here, like, you know, whoever he, he killed, I know he, you know, he fucked up a few people in, um, in Zero, maybe he hides the bodies here and doesn't bury them for sentimental reasons, like, I don't know, he's got some weird sanity quirks, he could do that maybe. The smell isn't momentary, but ongoing. It's not the smell of meat. There's no co down there. There's no cess down there. There's no RP down there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no co. No corpses? <gasps> <gasps> That's what it would be. Co, cess, art, corpses. Oh. Mind blown. And he saw it coming. Did he smell it coming? Or did he actually sense it coming? Shiro, you're a fucked up individual. You've got some weird instincts on you, but you've ignored the instinct. He didn't give off the notion that he could smell anything. Not until he got just into this room. It's not the smell of meat, but it's not gunpowder either. Is this formulin? I remember what formulin is, but I forget what it is. I remember the word, but I forget the meaning. The smell of medicine. Ah, that's what it is. Medicine fills this room. Why did Shiro go on a rant about the church being a place of death? That's a great question. I mean, there are corpses here. Apparently. Seems like it. I came to that conclusion before you even brought up the whole... It's got to be something to do with his senses, I think. Um, on some level, Shiro's spiritual senses can sense this stuff coming. There's also the idea, because uh, like it seems less likely that Ilya's the one who set up the circle for him now. There's the ongoing thought that he sets it up for himself in the past. Um, and if that's the case, there might be some timeline shenanigans where he's already experienced this once, but like in a different alternate universe like maybe he maybe maybe before saber erased herself from existence there was the timeline where archer was regularly in the timeline and there was still a shiro and then it, things happened similarly but different and then and then maybe archer was not an archer and was shiro's servant and he he ended up going through similar motions but then when 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 uh, he won the grail when um our, our current new archer he erased himself from existence, like what happened, what Saber's trying to do, and then this is the second time through, and so he senses these things. It wouldn't explain his superpowers, but it might explain the senses, and the circle, no, it wouldn't explain the circle, because just because he's sensing these things from an alternate timeline, that wouldn't explain how the circle came up, so, I don't know, just thoughts. Ugh. Smell of medicine fills this room. Dash, 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 dash. My senses were numbed as soon as I came underground. I don't feel any chills or pressures anymore. Why do you need them? You've already gone, gone, uh, you know, to the point of no return, as it were. But still, my heart beats restlessly, and my hands are vermicular, <laughs> vermiculating, vermiculating. Is that a word? That's a fancy word, Shiro. Vermiculating. My hands are vermiculating like they're going to crumble into pieces. 
Hold on, no, I don't even fucking know that word. I'm just figuring out what it means through context, but I'd like to actually know what it means. Vermiculate. Shira vocab all seems to be cha changing as well. <laughs> He's becoming smarter. Our little boy is growing up. A yellow or brown mineral found as an alteration product of mica and other minerals used for... What the fuck? That's not what I'm looking for. Vermiculating. No, you fucking... It's, he's saying a word. Well, how do you spell this? Vermiculating. Um, hold post. <laughs> post sex clarity. Vermicu... Vermiculating. Google is telling me that's not a word. Vermiculating. Oh, no. Uh, bearing wavy, worm like lines. Worm like motion. I found it. Worm like motion. Got it. That makes enough sense. Oh, man. That is interesting. Such a strong sense. Stronger. Like, he's had that red text show up before I think but like it was always I think in fighting time like um in real dire situations so the fact that it showed up in what should be a peace time and so strong might mean there's some strong connection between um Shiro and this church and these corpses maybe it could just be spiritual sensing um it could be alternate timeline shenanigans like I lived through this one so I saw it coming but it also could just be um, some kind of something like like he's a spirit that was summoned in this church by using the corpses of people. Maybe they're like the corpses of his old parents that were used to. But that would suggest that Kirei knew everything about him from the start, which is not impossible. Shiro might be all part of his plan. Kirei might have been the one who set up the circle in his house. Um, maybe. And the worst thing is... My eyes have gotten used to the darkness. I mean, technically that'll happen with normal humans, but, uh, you know, I'll still make the joke anyway that it's because you have superpowers! The darkness fades. I mean, if you can see in total darkness, that's a superpower. But being able to see outlines and stuff and differentiation and lighting, if it's total darkness, that's different. A drop falls somewhere. Is that a signal? The things I couldn't see before are engraved into my eyes instantly. <gasps> Interesting. Looks like some coffins and corpses. This was not the room that I thought it was. Interesting. And the smell suggests that some of them are recent, right? Not necessarily. They could be mid-rot, but... I don't think this is normal for most churches. I feel like you have a cemetery that you keep separate from the church? It is a living hell that's somehow familiar. Familiar? What the fuck do you mean familiar? Familiar? Like you've been here. Why have you been here? How have you been here? Different timeline? Or some kind of trippy spirit thing. Okay. A row of death. Familiar like this location or just this feeling? Like the fire with all the dead bodies? Is that what you mean? That might be familiar. I suppose. Remains are lined up all around me. The smell of medicine covers the smell of death. Medicine? Why would there be medicine? They're corpses. Medicine to keep them, keep one of them alive? Maybe? Is someone being kept alive without their consent or with their consent? I have a couple ideas of who Kirei would try to keep alive. And, you know, to torture them, maybe? 
I don't know about people he actually cares about. That's a big ask, but... I tell myself that this isn't happening. I don't want to think that such a thing can happen. But I can't deceive myself. I can tell in a second. Even though there are this many corpses, no one is dead in here. Oh, that's, um, and there's, oh, okay, that's a little funky. No one is dead? They're all dead, but they're not dead? Zombies? To what end? How and why? Does this have to do with Kirei's ultimate goal that maybe relates to the the Grail in some way? Does it relate to the Grail? Does it relate to you? They're alive. They're alive. These things that can only be perceived as corpses, these things that used to have human shape are still quite alive. If this is total darkness and you can make up this much detail, that is not fucking normal. Why are they alive? I look from one laid out body to the next. Every one of them is too deformed. For you to be able to notice deformities in this pitch darkness, if it's really pitch, is another superpower. Like maybe vague outlines, but... It's too disgusting to even imagine what happened to each of them. It's like sacrilege. They look more like dead trees than corpses. Why trees? Why trees? Interesting choice of words. Those who are ground down in the cracks in the floor. Those who have become homes to bugs splattered on the walls. No matter how they came to be that way, they have no limbs remaining, and all of them are worn out like rotten trees. No limbs remaining? I guess that's one way you could be like a tree. A husk. And yet they're alive? Dash, 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 dash. I don't even need to know why. The corpses are being eaten by the coffin. Some kind of magical channeling thing? They need the essence of these people that are dead but aren't quite dead. The medicine is being used to keep them alive when they should be dead and it's draining their, ma their essence to power some kind of magical doohickey. I don't know how it works. It's just that the corpses are stuck to the coffin and the coffin is sucking nutrition out of the corpses. For someone who doesn't know how it works, you seem to know a lot about how it works. The flow of life. The coffin is sucking up magical energy. No, something close to the soul. For someone who's not good at the magics, the fact that you can tell that in this pitch darkness and all that, that's not normal. Slowly. So not to kill the ones it leeches off, and so as not to allow them to live. The sound of wind that sounds like sobbing. It seems like screams coming out of the corpses' mouths. Their throats have already decayed, and they cannot let out voices. It has already become just an organ to keep them alive. So, I mean, I knew Kirei was a little messed up from Fate Zero, but, I mean, this is taking things to, let's say, the next level. So, uh, good to see that he still has some surprises for me. I was afraid I maybe had them all figured out, but this is a new level of fun fuckery. But still, the corpses are crying out. In an almost inaudible voice, they scream with all their might. It must be the pain and the fear. They continue screaming, unable to stand, losing their form and being eaten alive. Yeah, I'm sure you guys know what that says. So I don't have to bother reading it for you. The voice did all the work for, for me, really. 
I hear a sound. Someone was speaking, but you couldn't comprehend the speech? I wonder how they're gonna... You know what I haven't finished watching? I haven't finished watching season one of Promise Neverland. I also have to finish reading the manga. But, like, there's, like, some names in there that the manga goes out of its way to, like, write as gibberish. Like, something that normal English wouldn't, like, normal English speakers wouldn't comprehend. I wonder how the heck they're going to do that in the anime. Because they're going to have to say it. In the manga, they can just not pronounce it. And we can just imagine whatever the fuck the pronunciation is. They obviously can't do that in the anime, so I'm wondering how they would do that. Anyway, sorry, just thoughts. Random thoughts. I say normal English. Normal human languages. <clears throat> Technically, it would be Japanese. Anyways, I hear a sound. Actually, it wouldn't be Japanese, because I think even though it is a manga from Japan, but I believe they're technically, like, they have a lot, bunch of British names. I hear a sound. <clears throat> the coffin in front of me gasps. Uh-oh. Oozing. Something slimy drops out of the head <gasps> as it turns its neck towards me. Oh, that's creepy. Dash, 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 dash. The swollen lips move a little. It speaks in a voice that's not even a voice. Where am I? And ask me that question. Where are you? Red text. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this red text something that he's just... It... Oh, wait. The whole, where am I? Is that the text? Is it these corpses making that text? Do I have some crazy connection and that's what the red text has been all along? So I have some weird connection. Maybe I'm being powered. May I, my, maybe my immortality is being powered by the the coffin here sucking magic. And it's giving me the immortality because Kirei wants me to win for some reason. Or, you know, he's just doing red text to be dramatic. I don't fucking know. Dash, dash, dash. I'm right on the verge of screaming. No, I can't even scream now. Where am I? It doesn't say it hurts, nor does it ask for help, but it just says it doesn't understand why it's here. Oh, I mean, I don't know if you understand why you're here either now. Is that the reason? He was like that before he realized it? Were you like that before you realized it? Holy fuck, this just... Man, like, just thinking about it, this really did jump out of nowhere. <laughs> wow. This fe this is tingling my bad ending senses. Like, I just stumbled on something I wasn't supposed to, and Kiri's gonna come out of nowhere and gut me. But this feels like too big of a relation for it to be a, a revelation, for it to be a bad ending, so I don't know. Initially, when I ran into Berserker uh, in my first ever bad ending, I'm like, oh, maybe we don't run into her if we are uh, on the good ending route, but we still ran into her anyway, so mm, maybe only the red text can comprehend the voices. Maybe. The part of him that isn't truly alive can, un can comprehend them. The, the spirit part of him. It doesn't say it hurts, nor does it ask for help. It just says it doesn't understand why it's here. Is this what they're saying? No, I can't even scream now. I'm right on the verge of screaming. Are they saying this? Hmm. It's hard to differentiate. It's starting to become a jumble in his head, I think. He was like that before he realized it? He lived normally, went to sleep naturally, and was gasping here when he woke up? That's extremely creepy. Lived normally, went to sleep naturally, and was gasping here when he woke up? Well, maybe Kirei needs a lot of people to power this right now after how much of this juice you just used up, if that you are connected to this place. Sucked by that coffin, running away from the ends, unable to move, and he can only believe this is just a bad dream. You're talking about him or yourself now.
Dash, dash, dash. This is an interesting sh song choice for this situation. This feels like the song that's normally used for, oh shit, we're facing a powerful servant song. But that's not why this is playing right now. Or is it? Am I the powerful servant? My heart might break from this scene and from this terrible spectacle. But why? Hospital? Why do I recognize them? The hospital where Kirei picked you up? No. No. Not truly alive, but being unable to die. Yeah, it does sound like Shiro indeed. Wait. So. Kiritsugu said, if I don't take you, you'll go to the church. So then everybody else who was in the hospital, everyone else that was a fire survivor, went to the church and they were in that hospital room and he's keeping them here? They were from the fire? Why are they all so alive and not dying? I first thought Kir Kirei was using them somehow to power your superpowers, but if it's all connected to the fire, maybe something about that it's not, maybe it's like one Holy Spirit split into several pieces. And they all went inside different people. One of them went inside Shiro, the rest went inside the people in the, uh, uh, the rest of the fire that are now being taken and experimented on by Kirei. And he's trying to figure out their juices. And maybe the reason he hasn't been able to fully figure it out is because he's been missing the final piece, which is you? Because Kiritsugu took you away? Or something? I've never seen them, but I recognize every one of the corpses. You sure you've never seen them? You flashed to the hospital look. So that I felt like you would have seen them in the hospital when, you know, other victims of the fire. But you recognize every one of the corpses. Fire victims. Somehow you know a lot about the fire more than you should know? This is the first time I've seen them. They're the people I shouldn't know. They're people unrelated to me, but... Why are they? As if knowing me, staring at me. This is creepy in the best possible way. I've been holding a piss for a while now. I was waiting to get to a good stopping point. I don't think we're at a good stopping point yet, but I still gotta fucking take a piss. So I am gonna quickly load up an intermission. Um, despite how great and creepy things are right now, uh, I should load up a save real quick just to be safe, actually. Fun creepy. When I think about it, Shiro's constant death seeking, if he's spiritually tied to all of these corpses here, him constantly wanting to die could be as a result of, you know, everyone here and how they want to die and there's um they got real fucking good after the date huh <laughs> yeah it could be a connection where because he's spiritually connected to everyone here and they're being kept alive despite wanting to die shiro also now wants to die really badly as a result of the spiritual connection why exactly are they spiritually connected that's a great question But that, I think that's a decent theory right there. Seems pretty plausible that that's the reason that he, he's such a death seeker. Hmm. And maybe the reason that he's constantly living in the moment and not the future is because he thinks he shouldn't have the future because he should have died. Or he should die because all of these guys want to die. Or because they've been subconsciously, subconsciously seeding him that why the heck do you get to live out your life after the fire? You know, Kiritsuga didn't take us away, we were all taken to the church, and now we're all fucked. And, and we have, like, some hive mind link. That's why he was so jittery coming up to the temple. It could explain it. It could explain uh, why he knew there'd be corpses down here. But it doesn't explain everything. Um, 
because he does seem to have hmm it would explain stuff but it wouldn't explain everything I don't think interesting the hospital flash again don't lose yourself too hard Shiro <laughs> calm down Shiro it's not a big deal it's just some living corpses like you it's not a big deal and I have another question. Is it some coincidence or do the sacrifices have to meet this condition? Sacrifices. Ooh. Why are all the corpses here children of the same age? They're all your age? Are they all your age? Oh boy. Your age specifically. How old when the fire happened? Fire 10 years ago, you would have been like six, eight, whatever the case. So why that age? That is a question. Children of the same age. That's a very good question. And then. Yeah. Hi, you uh, got a, you working on a little project here, Kirei? Welcome, Emio Shiro. Suddenly, I'm tapped on the shoulder from behind as if being greeted by a friend. <laughs> My body freezes at this sudden event and I can't even turn around. But I don't even need to turn around to tell who the person behind me is. Because you have, because voices exist. If voices did not exist, if we were playing the original version without voices or whatever, then you know, could have been Gilgamesh, you don't know. <laughs> Kotomine Kire. The priest of this church. The man who made this hell. And a devil I must not meet more than anything else in this place. But you've already met him now, it seems. Mattaku Magawari. Soro soro omae ga kuru koro da to omotte na. What awful timing. It was foolish of me to prepare food for you thinking that you would come soon. Well, I did come soon. So you were right on one count. Also, food. You're talking about real food, not these guys as my food, right? I was unable to welcome you last time, correct? Are you gonna kill me? I thought I was attending to your needs, but it seems we missed each other. Yeah, ha 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 ha. Funny. Next time, let's not miss each other. Dash, dash, dash. Well, this has been fun. I guess I'll be going home now. I can't talk. The priest's hands are heavy on my shoulders. Naga. Maybe he doesn't know what I know. Maybe he doesn't know that I know. Maybe because I have stupidly good seen the dark vision for some dumb reason that I shouldn't. Maybe he doesn't think that I've seen it. I would have still smelt it regardless. But I cannot approve of trespassing. If you do such things, you'll end up seeing things you should not. Tatueba. So, Such as a truth that might send a relationship back to a blank page. A blank page? You kidding me? You think our relationship is blank after this? I think it's pretty, uh, pretty thoroughly written on. The priest's voice is more cheerful than I've ever heard it. He wanted me to say this. Why? Kotomine Kire, standing behind me with his hands on my shoulders, is definitely smiling. What the fuck am I to you, Kire? I thought I was your rival's, like, um, dude, and then when I showed up at the church, you were like, oh, how funny that you're one of the people participating. I didn't think there was a deeper connection, but this very much suggests a deeper connection. Holy tit balls. 
Dash, 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 dash. That's why. I'm frightened. Don't worry, Miyashio. You didn't come to talk about it. There's no meaning to it. You can do it. It's a chance to do it. What is it, Emiyashiro? You came to talk, so it does no good for you to stay silent. I'm disappointed. Is this spectacle really so outrageous? It's a little outrageous, just a little bit. The priest says inhuman things in a cheerful voice. Does this man not feel anything when faced with this? I mean, if he's the one who set it up, why would he feel something? Did you think anyone else would have set this up, given where it is? I don't even need to tell him this scene is outrageous. What's <laughs> that? That's cold. But I'm not going to say that you're not going to say that you're not going to say that you're not going to say that. Really? You're lecturing me on etiquette now? Oh, that's cold of you. It's simple compassion to say that it's not outrageous, even if you might think it's unpleasant. Come now. Don't you know how to, uh, be around strangers? You need to practice your social etiquette, my boy. そもそも彼らとお前は兄弟のようなものだお前がそのような態度では彼らも救われないと思うのだが What the fuck are you doing, Kirai? After all, you guys are like brothers and sisters I do not think they'll be saved if you act that way What, suddenly I have to be their hero now? Brothers and sisters all fire victims is, was my initial thought, but why the fuck would we all be the same age? That's the weirdest part, in my opinion. <laughs> Just now. What did this man say? I mean, I basically figured the same thing. Not literally, but, you know. What? What did you say? この死体たちとお前は仲間だったと言ったのだ。I said that you and these corpses are fellow mates. 形はどうあれ、お前たちはあの地獄から生還した者たちだ。血肉のつながりはなくとも、その絆は兄弟のそれに近いと思うのだが。By whatever means. どうかな。You all survive that living hell. Even if you have no blood relations, I believe the connection is close to that of brothers and sisters. Am I wrong? It is the fire. Survive that living hell, only for you to put them through another one? What are you playing at, Kire? Dash, 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 dash. I see. That's why I thought I recognized them. This is the continuation of ten years ago. To what end? And this place is the continuation of that hospital room. My head spins. Children who lost their homes and parents. They were supposed to be sent to an orphanage and stay there until they found someone who would adopt them. Yeah, Kire, good job at, uh, keeping them, you know, d you, you, you did, you yeah, you could, one perspective could say you're raising them, you, you haven't, you know, put them on the streets, so from a certain perspective, you're doing a great job. But I was adopted by Emi Akiritsuga before that, I did not know what happened to them afterwards. Oh, fuck. So I was right. These were everyone else who didn't end up getting adopted. Oh, fuck, Kire. What are you fucking doing with them? And what is their weird spiritual link to me? I mean, sure, we were all through the fire together, but it definitely feels like there's more than that. I avoided thinking about it. The orphanage was the church on top of the hill, and I could have gone there anytime I wanted to. This church. Interesting. It was always this church. But you never wanted to see what the alternative would have been. All just to spite Kiritsugu? 
When Kiritsugu decided to take one of the kids, Kirei decided to take the rest and just fuck them all up. Seems like if that if he was Kirei was really interested in spiting Kiritsugu, wouldn't he have done it while he was still alive? Because I mean fuck. He, there was a good few years where Kiritsugu was still kicking, and Kirei just let him be. Kiritsugu died pretty happily, from my understanding. So, if this is all about Kiritsugu, I don't think it is. I feel like maybe there is some, on some level, he's deciding, despite to spite the kid that Kiritsugu saved, he's trying to fuck with him to, um, as a sort of sick sort of revenge. That does seem like something Kirei might do. Like, oh, you saved this kid? Well, let me unsave him. But that doesn't really explain what he's doing with the rest of these fuckers. But still, I hesitated. I felt it wasn't fair for me to get adopted. And then go see children who didn't get adopted. Ah, yeah. Well, you've seen them now. So if I was to meet them, I would, it would be in town. But did it never happen? We would meet accidentally, be able to talk normally, and we'd be over the fire incident. Is that why you felt so fucked up ever since? You felt guilty about saying yes to Kiritsugu. You thought it was wrong that you got to say yes and no one else did. And you hoped over time that guilt would fade as you met more people who were from the fire that maybe grew up and Maybe got their own place, got, got their own foster parents. But then it never happened. And in the back of your stomach, somewhere in your head, you knew something fucked was happening. And that's why you've been so fucked? Hmm. I was looking forward to such a meeting, thinking we surely would meet as it's such a small town. So why have I not met even one of them? This is why. That is fucked. Closed his eyes to the truth indeed. Just like with Shinji. He knew something fucked was happened but did nothing until it was forced. And same situation. They were all sent to the church. He never ever saw one of them for years and years. And he just sat by doing nothing, going along his daily life, not wanting to get involved. Despite the fact that you maybe could have done something if it happened sooner while Kiritsugu was still alive, maybe? But you never acted. A combination of re fear of regretting. You felt guilty. Also, fear of going ballistic, I think, is part of it. I think, you know, there's still the theory that you're bad and don't want your badness to come out. But also afraid. Afraid of failing to save people? There might be that aspect to it. You're afraid to confront the villain because confronting them means the chance of failure. If you just keep going along without ever actually confronting the bad guy, you can never fail to save them and keep pretending like you want to. There is that aspect to it, though I think that's less likely. Koto. <laughs> He's laughing as he says it. That's right, Emiya Shiro. If you had not been taken by Emiya Kiritsugu, you would have been one of them. Why? So it's not about me then. You're not doing this for me, you're just doing it. Why? Do you understand? You alone survived once again. Interesting. At least everyone from this age range that survived that fire. Why? Why this age? What are you doing with them? What's the point? Hmm... Everyone 
Everyone around you dies, but you survive. What do you think? Do you think it? Do you not think it's unfair? <laughs> some there is some sick part of me that thinks maybe you set this all up just for this eventual uh, realization where Shiro finds out, but um, I feel that's a little unlikely. Feels like this is a bit grand even for him if that was the entire end game. My pulse returns. My frozen body defrosts in an instant. Yeah. Oh no. I am not criticizing you. It's rather delightful. Emi Ashiro's survivabilities are impressive. Honestly, I did not expect you to remain until the end. But I did. Are you telling the truth you didn't expect me? Because if these guys are living and also never dying and dying and never living, that feels similar to what's happening with me, which would suggest you should know something about me. I'd be surprised if you didn't. Final moments! That's why. I've allowed you to be reunited with your brothers and sisters in your final moments. Final moments? Do you know how to kill me? Do you know how to kill these people? You're gonna kill me because I know too much and you don't want me squealing to Rin, who you're still planning to milk a little bit more before you're like, Oh, by the way, I killed your daddy! You. Yeah. I feel like that's the opposite of lucky. You really are lucky. I was planning to close this place up after today, so you barely made it. Close this place up? Why did you have it open? What was the point? Oh! What? Wait! Gilgamesh, yeah, we knew that. Great. Why is up? Oh, and we also have details? Half god, half human king that ruled this. I'll read this later. I'm engrossed in something else right now. Independent action can act without a master. You really are lucky. I was planning to close this place up after this. You barely made it. Ten years now, I kept them alive to feed the servant. But it's coming to an end. I cannot hope to extract the same amount of soul as when I started. And there's no more need for food in any case. All that remains now is to kill you and your servant. Impartial my ass, you're planning to win again. Kept them alive to feed the servant. You fucker. Ten years? For ten years, which means... I think I was right about my prediction a while back. That Kirai was unfulfilled, he didn't really have a wish, but now he has one? That sounds pretty close to correct. I predicted a while back, I mean, I predicted that he was gonna, you know, ultimately he wanted some crazy plan to do with the Grail, because, um, I didn't think it would be so direct, to be honest. I didn't think it would just be, I'm working with Archer again. Seems a little plain, but I guess it makes plenty of sense. Ten years, though. That means he was, he's was he been planning this ever since. Ever since they came to the, to the church. He's been using them to fuel the servant to keep him strong. Make him even stronger. Keep up his strength despite not technically being a servant anymore and just being, you know, possibly a rando human. Kept them alive to feed the servant. And now... You're actually ready to fulfill your wish if you even have one. 
cannot hope to extract the same amount of stole as when I started, and there's no more need for food. If all that's left is to kill me and my servant, then what about Lancer? Have you already gotten to them? This fucking priest. Despite being the setter-upper, he was planning to steal it in the end. So that's that theory proven correctly. And he's going to share the wish with Gilgamesh. In theory. Interesting. Timmy! You! With that word, I break all restraints. I thought it was fueling Shiro in some way because of his crazy regeneration. Is it still connected to him? He said he was keeping them all alive. Is there a spiritual connection? Um, if there's a spiritual connection between Shiro and these guys, uh, that would explain why Shiro is being kept alive. Uh, because Kira is keeping all of them alive with some means. It's. It would be weird that Kira wouldn't know about it, though, given the circumstances. I suppose it's not impossible. Kira might not know everything. Um. Yeah, and I suppose if Kira has been feeding uh, Gilly for all this time, it would make sense why uh, Gilly would actually listen to some of Kira's orders. Uh, maybe that's why he backed away yesterday. Maybe he knew Kira would have something planned. Maybe he already talked to Kira, and Kira was like, "Oh yeah, um, he showed up and wanted to know some stuff about you." I'll have something for him, you know, in case he gets out of hand. Maybe. Or, if he- if it looks like he's gonna be too crazy, I can deal with him. Maybe. I break all restraints. I thought Gilly was doing this on his own. I thought Kira had some other plan that might have been separate from Gilly. But they're in on it together. All restraints? What does that mean? I move my body which had been bound. I fling the hands off my shoulders, throw myself forward, and turn to face the priest. <laughs> Finally, saying oh my is very fitting in this situation. I face him, placing enough distance between us. In that moment. Yeah, he looks like he's still got it. He's a pretty good fighter. I feel a powerful shock from behind me. Behind you? Fucking Gilly's here too. Ugh. Are we fucked? <coughs> That's weird. I can't breathe. Technically, he hasn't name-dropped Gilly or anything like that. He just said to feed the servant. So I suppose from someone's perspective who's not played the Zero, there'd be some theorizing to go about, what servant is he talking about? Um... Although I think Saber's already brought up that he won the last Grail War or something like that. So I think it wouldn't be too much of a stretch to connect the dots, though he technically hasn't said it. So we're probably about to just get the reveal just now as Gilly shows up from behind me. I can't breathe. A sharp horn is going out of my chest. Horn or a blade? The horn looks like the head of a spear. A spear? Gay Bolg? <laughs> Archer's Gay Bolg? That's strange. How can a spear be growing out of my chest? I have not yet told you. I shall formally introduce you. This is my servant. Dash, 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 dash. I turn to look back. What? What? Wait, what? 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 Wait, it's not- it's not Gilly, it's Lancer? That's how Lancer is still alive? Because he's in on it with Gilly? What? Wait, the servant is a coward? Wait a second, Lancer went to Shiro's house to assassinate Kirei would have known who Shiro is all along then. What the fuck? Oh, I played myself. Because of my knowledge, I'm like, oh, okay, so it's Gilly. And then it's not even fucking Gilly? Ugh. 
Laugh it up, wise fool. Laugh it up. That's why Lancer's still alive. That's why he hasn't been taken out. Because Kyrie and Gilly are in on it together to a certain extent. The fucking lance piercing through his chest. I'm like, well, they've already said that Gilgamesh also has Gabold. Oh, but no, it's just fucking Lancer. We haven't seen him all game since then. Been biding his time hiding in the back. That does sound like a Kyrie move. Feeding the servant? I still assume he was talking about Gilgamesh, and they're in on it together to some extent. Wait, or maybe they're not. I can see this going a couple ways. I can either see this being... I can see this going a couple ways. Either they are in on it together, and that's why Lancer's alive, why Gilly, you know, why they, you know, that whole thing. Or there's a possibility that they're not quite in on it together, and that Gilly is do acting on his own. Kire all along did have a plan for his own wish. Keep the spirit alive. That still sounds like he's talking about Gilly, but um, maybe Kire came up with his own wish without... Or he just is a cheaty cheater who summoned Lancer even though he's supposed to not even be part of the event. Like a dick. Um, there's that as an option. So now he would effectively... Because uh, uh, Archer can act on his own, so he can be fueling Lancer with his powers. There's the idea where Kotomine just wants to win by killing um, Shiro. And then he'll just have Lancer win. But maybe Gilgamesh is against that because he wants Saber to win. Unless there's some way for Gilgamesh to get the wish, even if Lancer wins? Yeah, this is interesting. Um, I mean, I feel like Kire is definitely double-timing to an extent. Definitely. Uh, but, like... Cheese and crackers... I guess this me this is fitting. It was a thrust like lightning. Lancer, you know, tried to kill me at the very beginning, and now he will finally kill me at the end. That's why he's randomly alive, even though Assassin got killed off screen. Was it just Assassin that got killed off screen, right? Because there's seven of them. So Saber and Lancer. Um, uh, we saw Ryder get killed. We saw Berserker get killed. We saw Archer get killed. We saw Caster get killed. Um. Yeah, so that would just leave uh, Ryder, Berserker, Archer, Caster. That would just leave Assassin. He was the only one who got killed off screen. That's weird. The one person that got killed off screen? And you thought Kire's plan was plain. You're right! You're right! I, I was like, is it just that simple? But no, it's not that simple. I should probably continue, but I'm still, like, flabbergasted. I can't get over how flabbergasted I am by this. This is... I did... Oh, okay. I thought Kire was... He was gonna secretly try to control the war despite not being part of it. Turns out, no, fuck it, he's part of it. Why not? You cheaty cheater. You cheaty... Che I expected you to be a cheater, but I expected your, you to be at least a bit of a fair cheater. Like, you can't be cheating to this degree. Ah. Oh. You must have really been in it for this war, then. You were keeping uh, Gilly alive for ten years. Assumedly. Um, and then you summoned Lancer, too. You really wanted this win. You must have actually attained some kind of wish. Otherwise, I don't think you would have been this devoted. If it was just, oh, um, you wanted to win next time, see if maybe you have a wish by then, I don't think you would have went through the trouble of summoning another spirit on top of having kept Gilly along, alive for this long. Because I don't believe that would have been referring to this guy. Um, for a new player, though, they might not understand that. A new player might just be tricked into thinking he's talking about Lancer. Um, and to be fair, he didn't say my servant. He just said, I did it to... Hold on. Because, like, earlier, he said... Um, to, keep, to feed the servant. And then after that, he says, um, 
Uh, oh, I have not. Oh, it was on this this page. I shall form H2. This is my servant. The servant and my servant. So, fascinating. I wonder how the two servants feel about each other. I wonder if they know about each other. I wonder at least... It, Gilly might know about Lancer without Lancer knowing about Gilly. Maybe the idea is that Lancer's going to attempt to take the Grail and Gilly's going to swoop in and be like, No thanks! And then and then frickin' the priest is like, Oh yeah, sorry about that Lancer, you were just a backup. You never had a chance at this wish, it's going to Gilly. Which would be pretty fucked up from Lancer's perspective. Lancer screwed over again. <laughs> the lance is pulled out of my chest. This is so... This narrative has a lot of great through lines now that I get closer to the end. Because um, Lancer was the one who initially tried to kill me at the very beginning. The thing that set off the whole chain of events where um, Rin found me and then from there... And now for him to be the one to finally kill me if this is the end of the pathway, which it would be fitting. It might be a bad end. I don't fucking know. Um, Kira can just command spell Lancer to die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if anything, I feel like Lancer's the backup plan. Gilgamesh was the main plan, but Kira became really committed to a wish. So he's like, just to be safe, let's summon another one. Um, but, uh, he's probably just the fall guy. So I doubt he knows about Gilgamesh. If I had to guess. At the same time, a sharp pain runs through my head as if to burn my brain. Oh, is Kirei like letting go of the magic? The magic that was keeping everyone alive, including him maybe? The floor is painted red. Uh-oh. I'm lying on the slimy floor. I push on my arms to get up, but my body is too heavy. We never saw Rin again after that night. It was just Saber time. Or Ilya. I can't move. After the big struggle with Gilgamesh and thinking about how we're going to beat him, it's fucking Lancer that fucks us up. Not because I'm bound, but because I lack the things people need to move. Arms, legs, that kind of thing. pain in my chest exceeds the blood loss's power to drive me unconscious. I can't pass out. Is it because you're still immortal? I figured Kerry would have turned that off, or does he not have control over that? I've taken fatal wounds several times before. They were all so bad that they even numbed my senses. But this is different. It's a fatal wound, but the pain is too real. Hmm, if you're still immortal, then an even worse wound is worse. Gabe Olg is supposed to all be all about, like, the one-shot kill, so... Granted, I don't know if he's using the, the noble phantasm aspect where it all it necessarily is, but... My vision spins. I just figured Lancer was another one of those things the pathway was just going to ignore for the rest of it. You know, like Sakura and Sakura and we're just and, and Assassin. I'm like, oh, well, I'm sure. Well, they're keeping him alive because they need someone to be alive for the sake of the narrative for the Grail War to not technically end yet. But he's probably not important for the rest of the narrative for the rest of this pathway. <laughs> My vision spins. As soon as I black out from the pain, I'm awoken by the next pain. I can't feel my limbs. I can't even tell where I am. All I feel are pain, nausea, and the temptation that it would feel so good to just disappear. Oh fuck. You did not kill him, right, Lancer? If you did, there was no point in keeping him alive until now. Yeah, because you always knew where I lived. You could have came and assassinated me at any time, especially with how low my guard usually is. Why did you keep me alive? Is it because you want actually Saber to win so that Gilgamesh can get his witch and maybe Lancer doesn't know that or what? 
can only hear voices. I have my eyes open, but I can't see anything. I'll follow your orders, even if they're disgusting ones. Still keeping him alive. Yeah. But why? Do you need me for the final fuel cell? You seem to be saying that wasn't necessary, but I think you're a pretty good liar at this point. Lancer's voice shows no emotion. But I can barely hear it now. Yoroshi. Fine, then we shall prepare now. The servant will know of the master's danger. It should be about a half an hour until Saber gets here. Keeping him alive for Saber to get here. Why? He could just fucking kill Shiro. Shiro's bait. What's the point? Fucking Kirei was the one who talked to us about how you can just kill the master, and yet he's not bothering. Either because Kirei knows he's immortal, or because... Hmm. Or because he wants Saber to be a close guy for Gilgamesh's end of the bargain where he gets Saber to be his waifu. Possibly. Because otherwise I don't know what the point is of Saber showing up. Unless there's some layer to the plan even beyond what Kirei's shown us. Kotomine, this kid won't last that long. You should at least stop his blood loss if you want him alive until then. No, I'll last that long, and Kirei fucking knows it, I bet. No need. I don't care if he dies. <laughs> Your earlier line contradicts that. If uh, you did not kill him, right, Lancer? If you did, there was no point in keeping him alive until now. What, just as, what, you kept him alive just for there to be the danger sense Saber would have just long enough for her to come here? Uh, I feel like there's only a half truth in there and the real truth is you you know that he can't die. I'd be surprised if you don't know about his uh, immortality. My mind starts to pass out. Pain finally overcomes my brain and allows me to faint. I stopped it by digging into my wound. Oh, fuck! Keep yourself, keep yourself awake, okay. You heard that uh, Saber was supposed to be coming. You gotta stay awake for Saber, for Artorio. The pain starts again. My fainting mind returns to the burning world again. The burning world, ooh, the fire. I want to die. If you really want to die, then let it happen, Shiro. I want to die right now if this pain's gonna continue. But you don't want to die because you want to protect Artoria, right? I know that. I know that, but if I faint here, I also know that I'll die. Hmm. I feel like the wording on that is a little off. I want to die right now if this pain is going to continue. If I faint here, I also know that I'll die. What he's saying is, if the pain is so bad, I'd rather die than feel the pain. So the fact that fainting will make him stop feeling the pain but kill him is irrelevant. He's already accepted the fact that he'd rather die than feel the pain. Which means I don't think that wordage was correct. I can't even remember what I'm doing now. I feel like I'm floating in this white burning pain. But I grip my teeth and hold on to my disappearing consciousness. I can't let it end here. I can't retire so easily. You've been through a lot, my man. But, uh, Ciro seems to only bat him when he gives up. Yeah, because he's fucking immortal. But, um, man, that, uh, I was like, we had the freaking tense thing yesterday, and I thought we might have, you know, might have like a little bit of a downtime before we jump straight back into, oh, but nope, we're right back into, oh. I still have a promise I haven't kept. You have to save Saber from herself. Stop her from erasing herself. To be fair, if she doesn't win the war, then she won't erase herself, but then that means she'll just be summoned again, like how she was summoned here versus in Fate Zero. She'll just be summoned again. So yeah, I, I can see your point. If I believe she's more important than anyone, 
barely any downtime. Yeah, okay. We had some downtime, quote unquote, you know, but uh, if I believe she's more important than anyone, I can't just disappear here. Interlude? Oh, fuck, switching to saver? Oh, here's some downtime. <laughs> when she wakes up. I hate this fucking thing they do where you can't just, if you're gonna switch perspectives, just go when I wake up and go from her perspective, but eh, I don't know. When she wakes up, Emiya Shiro cannot be found. He's, yep, he slid away first. She thought he might be preparing a late lunch, so she makes her way to the living room, but she can find neither Shiro nor any lunch. <laughs> He's gone out alone again? I told him to tell me if he does so. Why does he not listen to me? Hmm. Probably because... <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm distracted thinking about Kirei's plans. Probably, um, uh, I mean, we know why. He doesn't do it because he's dense and secretly a death seeker, but also trying to protect you and doesn't want to worry you. But, um... I'm pretty sure Shiro still has a command spell, right? Or does he have two? He used one in the Shinji incident. He might still have two, so he can use one without losing Saber and warp her there, if he's got enough consciousness to do so. Um, however, I'm thinking about Kotomine's order of events here, because he already had Assassin taken out, it seems. He gets Caster taken out with Gilgamesh, and then all that leaves is Lancer, his servant, and Saber. And so, what is he waiting for, is my thinking. He already, Shiro already went to the church. Granted, I guess Rin was with him that time, maybe? Um, he used one in the forest in the Herc fight. Oh, did he? Right, he used it to stop her from using Excalibur so he could use Caliburn instead. Oh, okay. Then that's unfortunate that we only have one left. Still, you can use the last one to save yourself, but he probably doesn't necessarily want that because he knows Saber is gonna... Yeah. Saber won't necessarily disappear, but... <sighs> Not immediately, at least. But, yeah. Um, thinking about Kirei's plans and order of operations here, I guess Rin was with him the last time he went to talk to Kotamine, but it's just like, what was Kirei waiting for? If he Did he have some greater plan that like he was organizing with Gilgamesh? Because otherwise, you know, why would he not just, you know, take Shiro out then? Why would, why, why is he waiting? Maybe he was waiting for Gilly to do something or, or something. I don't know. It's just interesting to think of, um, what Kirei's whole order of operations here is. Why does he not listen to me? She complains to herself and sits by the porch. Honestly, I know he likes to walk alone, but that takes away the whole meaning of our cooperation. Not for him, it doesn't. She swings her legs, not knowing what to do. She soon loses, loses interest in that and looks up as if pondering. Maybe they needed to give time for the Grail to fully manifest? Um, but at the same time... Hmm. If it was a timing thing, then, um, then I don't think Gilly would have been as confrontational as he was before. Unless the idea was that Gilgamesh originally was just planning to take him out, assuming they were even cooperating. If Gilgamesh was planning to take out, um, Shiro and just take Saber, then, hmm... Maybe, hmm, that tells me maybe they're not fully working together. Or maybe after what happened in the last fight, Kirei, uh, maybe Gilgamesh saw something in Shiro that he didn't like. No, it seems unlikely now if what he didn't like is more connected to Kirei. Hmm. It's starting to feel more like maybe the two of them aren't working together, or at least not entirely, because based on the timing-wise, I guess Gilgamesh is rash and will commonly act on his own. Um, even if they were working together theoretically, but it just feels like if Kotomine waited and, and, and did this now, I feel like he could have done this sooner. I suppose he would have wanted to lure Shiro into the trap, but he already had Shiro, 
And I mean, sure, Rin was there, but she didn't have her servant at that point. I think Rin was there, but... Hmm. Hmm. Either there's some greater timeline thing going on. Even if there is a greater timeline thing going on, it feels like Gilly was being a little too rash. Maybe Gilly what, knew there was a timeline, but he's impatient and hated waiting, and in the meantime wanted to just bang Saber a bit. I guess I could see that. Uh, of note, seems like we've basically not been dropping frames at all, which is great. So the resetting internet was probably a good choice, good call from me. She soon loses interest in that and looks up as if pondering. The whole sky is shaded in gray. The canopy of clouds is drifting slowly, and an opening can be seen in the distant sky. It should be a clear sky tonight, but it's not. Once the stars can be seen... Oh, maybe clear by the night, you mean. Okay. Tomorrow can be predicted. She still remembers how to read the stars, something she learned from her magus. Oh. Interesting. Uh, definitely, I definitely didn't learn ever how to read the stars, I don't think. What, you can predict the forecast with that, or is it something more? She only used it to ask if her way was right, but she thinks about predicting a certain person's future just for tonight. Aw, Shiro's future? This future is death. If her way was right? I would argue no. Your way is not right, especially if you want to erase things from existence. Yourself, I mean. If possible, a bright future. If you think he's going to have a bright future after you peace out, you are incorrect. She wants to protect the dangers ahead and guide him in the proper direction. The one she worries about is so reckless that she cannot sleep unless she does so. Uh, and yet he's constantly worried about you too, but for different reasons. The problem is the stars that can be seen from this town. They're such shitty stars. I want better stars. Stars need to level up. Come to think of it, she's never looked up at the sky until this day. All she cared about was winning the Holy Grail War and not reading stars for someone else. Yep, all she cared about was that war for her stupid wish. But now, you know, the one night stand had meaning. Mm-hmm. She knows it's not like her. No, it's not. But Shiro's frazzled her. Shiro just needs to frazzle her more. She still tries to read the stars, and she waits for nightfall to come. I think you'd be waiting a long time. I feel like Shiro would die. If he was a normal person, he would have bled out long before he showed up, but of course he's not a normal person, so you know. Maybe his immortality isn't related to what Kira is doing, and it's another level deeper. Um, Maybe. I don't know. We still don't know why. He said that he's using his magic to keep them alive. I thought that there was a, um, a sort of uh, spiritual connection where Shiro was being kept alive with the same magic, but... The more I think about it, the more I think maybe that's not true. The way Kiri would say some things, like, I didn't expect you to live that long. Unless he was just, you know, messing around. Um, he should have known he would live that long. So, hmm. Honestly, this is a big, uh, big change in her thinking. She continues to stare at the sky, thinking it's just like the young girls in love she has read about in stories. <laughs> Yes, you are one of those young girls in love. Follow your heart! Oh, Saber! Oh, hey, you still exist in the narrative. Hi, Rin! Saber, do you know where Shiro went? Uh, uh he's off dying at the temple. Not that I know that. <laughs> uh, as soon as you start thinking about it, as if, as if Rin's, uh... Rin's romance uh, radar was was pinging and like is she actually is it becoming serious? I must stop it and step in and stop her from her mind from wandering too far. <laughs> she gets up like a robot. <laughs> Why would you say something like that randomly? <laughs> what is it? It's not like I'm surrendering to Shiro. It's exactly what you're doing. It's what you want to do. She says so with a red face. Oh, was I interrupting you? Prince smiles in an evil manner. She's living under the same roof, but even without that, Emiya Shiro and Saber's reactions are easy to understand. <laughs> uh, 
freaking Ren still living under the same roof, even though you're freaking, you know, your 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 spirit is gone. You could be out of the war, but you stay. Uh, for one reason or another, I feel like you're staying because of Shiro. And of course, you're a fightaholic, but you could be a fightaholic without staying here. She's sharp when it comes to others, so she already knows about them. Wait, okay, you're using she for different reasons now. You're using she to refer to different people. She's living under the same roof, but even without that, Emiya Shiro and Saber's reactions are easy to understand. She's sharp when it comes to others, so she already knows them. About them. Hmm. Ren got a lot of social skills from Kirei. Well, it got Kirei, that, she has some of the playfulness of being like, mm-hmm. That Kira gets, although I think in a more mischievous and less evil manner. So of course she's aware of what happened last night. Okay, are you referring to Rin now? Like, come on! You're using she to refer to Saber and now you're using it to refer to Rin? Stop it! Well, <laughs> Oh no, not Elia Chan! Is she gonna be okay? Well, I'll make fun of you later. Just did you really know what went on last night? Maybe some details. I doubt you know the whole story. I'd be surprised if maybe you know the whole story such that you know they didn't actually do it. And you might be okay with it in that case. I'll make fun of you later. Seriously, do you know where Shiro is? I was thinking about asking his help since Elia's fever seems to be rising. Elia's fever? Did she not recover? それがどうにもね。白鬼は黙ってたけど、あの子そろそろ限界よ。聖杯戦争っていう儀式が終わらない限り、元に戻らない。あの子のキャパは破格だけど、それでももういっぱいなの。Did we see Ilya up and Adam or was it just Rin lying saying that she was up and Adam again? Or maybe we saw Ilya up and Adam but she was only pretending to be okay. Maybe. I didn't tell Shiro, but she's almost at her limit. She won't be back to normal until the ritual of the Holy Grail War ends. Her capacity is extraordinary, but it's still firing up. Filling up. Still filling up. She's going crazy. And we only saw Rin, and she said that... Okay. After the date. Hmm. So we only saw Rin, and she said that Elias feel was okay, but she lied. Makes sense. Wouldn't want to worry Shiro, I suppose, but... It's only going to get worse until the Grail War ends. Sounds like she might be turning into a cup, but uh, I hope that's not entirely true. Now,今はまだかろうじて容量が空いているから、余分な機能が働いている。けど、満ちてしまえば、一番不要な人間としての機能を捨てるしかない。イリアスフィールはね、聖杯戦争が進めば進むほど壊れていくように作られているのよ。there's a bit of capacity left, so unimportant functions are still working. But once it's full, she'll have to discard her least important function, which is her ability to be human. Elias feels made to break down more and more as the Holy Grail War progresses. Oh no! No! I don't understand why she would be the, the master then. Like, if the reason Kiritsugu was the master was because, you know, she, you know, what's her face was gonna be a cup. Then, then wouldn't they do something similar where they, I mean, I guess the last time they hired out, they got screwed over, so they wanted to work in-house, but, like, how would this have worked if she eventually, I guess, to be fair, Berserker doesn't necessarily need a competent master. He can just Berserker smash everything until he wins, but, like, if she was going to get, like, this inevitably towards the end of the war, hmm. No, not Helios feel. Rin speaks annoyingly. But Saber does not understand what she is trying to say. I guess you weren't there for when that happened, if memory serves. You were off doing other things when the cupification happened. Ah, <laughs> Oh, it's fine. I said in a way you wouldn't understand. Let's put Ilya aside for now. It's about Lancer. I found out who his master is. Excuse me? And are you right? Maybe that's what you were doing off screen for a while, but 
How did you find out all of a sudden? Lancer's master has been identified? Well, I found out, or more like I knew it. Knew it, known it for how long? You were sketchy a while back during the Shinji incident. What did you know? Her? Her? Lancer's master was a foreigner, dispatched by the Magic Association. I already knew that, and I finally found her secret base earlier, but... Are you being given the runaround by Kire? Did he give you a false lead? Why would we have two different Lancer Masters? It's clearly not a coincidence that she went out of her... The game went out of their way to be like, Oh, the Masters are her, just after learning it's apparently Kire. So, there is some funky business going on. I doubt Rin is lying. So, either she's being given the runaround by Kire, or there's the possibility that the Lancer we thought we saw wasn't even Lancer, it was just fucking a masquerading archer. But I don't think so. That would feel like a a pointless plot point. Honestly, I feel like a, it, that would be the real Lancer. And this is Rin getting fooled by Kire. Rin. Rin, you should avoid such dangerous activities. If you found their base, you should have told me. Interesting. How long have you known it was a foreigner who summoned Lancer, sent by the Magic Association? When did you learn that? Clearly, you didn't learn it while we were still controlling you. I was But... Okay. I was going to, but it seemed strange from the outside. I went in thinking it was empty. All I found were traces of blood and a left arm with no command spell. Oh, okay. So Kire didn't just, I'm going to summon Lancer. No. No, it wasn't that easy. He had this woman come in, summon Lancer, and then, well, he pulled something similar to what happened in Fate Zero, if a memory serves. He borrowed the servant, quote-unquote. And then no command spell, so he took the command spell. Interesting that he couldn't have just, hmm, I guess he wasn't supposed to summon a servant. Maybe activity would have been found if he did. Um, maybe he legally, magically, legally wasn't allowed to. So he just took the servant from someone else. At what point during the war did he take him? Lancer called, Lancer referred to his master as a he a long time ago. So it, it sounds like it would have been from the very start that um, Kirai would have done snatched up uh, Lancer. Possibly before Lancer even knew who their master was. Because usually servants are pretty honorable and like they know their master and like it's I mean they might be willing to serve a different master if their master you know gets fudged up but the other master would theoretically be another master in the Holy Grail War. So for a not real master to come in and, and shake things up. Although it's possible that the reason he's being so obedient is because of a similar command spell to the one Rin gave to Archer. Where Kire could have given something similar to QQ Lane. An all powerful command spell that, um, you know, forced him to not really disobey. With how strong Kire is at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if he's possible. He's po possible for him to do something like that. Hmm. 
ランサーのマスターはとっくにやられてたのよ。There was nothing else. The command spells were taken, and based on how much blood there was, I don't think the master's alive. Lancer's master is already dead. Hmm.、Uh, the command spells were stolen. Deva, Lancer was すでにいないのですか10日前シロを襲った後に他のサーバントに倒されたと。Then Lancer does not exist anymore? They were defeated by another servant after Shiro was attacked ten days ago? I don't think that's true. I think you'd know, right? I wish that's the case, but the bloodstains were older than that. Do you know what that means? Yeah, the bloodstains have to be older than that because、uh, Lancer referred to his master as a he way back then. The servant was not killed, and the master was killed first. Interesting. So, the master was killed first. ランサーと契約したマスターがいるということですか。So a master took the command spell and formed a contract with Lancer. Interesting. Okay. Maybe I guess that does make sense because I did think it would be weird for Kira to just be like, "Oh, I'm a prompter. I'm not allowed to be involved." Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I'm gonna summon a servant. So I guess he needed to have he needed to steal a servant from someone else. Uh, do it below board, as it were. This one. But. No, got the master, a hatas to shiro da kedisho. Kedo, Lancer, a mother, no got the. Shiro and I are the only remaining masters, right? But Lancer still remains. How do you know that? Like, first of all, Elias feels around, but I guess, I guess that doesn't amount to much at this point. Um, and second of all, like, we know that Shinji got taken out. But otherwise,、um, we, we never saw Assassin or their master. We're only going by Caster's word that their master was taken out, technically.、Um, then who does that leave? Oh, I guess, okay, technically you could say, oh,、uh, Lancer's master is dead. Even if we believe Caster's master is dead, Shinji is dead.、Um, Lancer, Caster,、uh, Ryder, then.、Uh, There's berserkers,、uh, sabers, and archers. So I guess that, that would just leave assassins, essentially, that we don't really know the fate of.、Um, but also Ilya, but yeah. Then that means a magus who's not a master became one after stealing the command spell. Is that even possible, Saber? I feel like, slightly jumping to conclusions, it's very weird how Assassin is just out of the narrative, but. The transfer of the command spell can only be between masters and servants. No matter how superior the Magus, he cannot become a master by stealing the command spell. Unless they're the overseeing priest, right? Because, if I remember correctly, in Fate Zero, whenever like, someone died prematurely and didn't use up their command spells, the overseeing priest would take those, if I remember correctly. Also, that's possible. Kirei could have kept his master status from the last war. But I remember that being a thing from Zero. Where、um, I believe the overseer collected any seals that weren't being used. So he might have been able to collect them and potentially use them if he's a dirty, dirty cheating overseer. But I don't even know about that. So, I'm going to ask you to ask me. Master, what do you think? I'm going to ask you to ask me. I'm going to ask you to ask me. I'm going to ask you to ask me. I'm going to ask you. Rin's got a good head on her shoulders. I mean, she might still be mentally disturbed in some ways, but she's,、uh, she's a smart cookie, unlike Shiro. I see. Then, one more question. Is a master still a master if they have their command spell on their servant even after the Holy Grail disappears? Mm hmm. The Holy Grail disappears. If you're the winner, then you would still have your servant. If you didn't use all your command spells, which I don't believe Kira did, then, you know. That might be、uh, 
a thing. Mm-hmm. If Saber is smart, she should know what that means, right? I mean, I believe she knows who won the last one, though maybe I'm wrong. It's just as you say. As long as the command spell and the servant remain, that Magus retains the right of a master even after the Holy Grail War. Saber realizes the meaning of Rin's question swallows her words. A previous winner, which would be Kire. Does Rin know that? Does Rin know Kire participated? Saber would know. Then you think that the one who killed Lancer's master and formed a contract with Lancer is... Yeah, I can't think of anything else. In that case, Lancer's actions make sense. What, why he's being such a pussy? Because Kira loves to play around in the shadows? あいつさ、他のサーバントの様子を探るのが役割みたいだったじゃない。戦えば自分の正体を隠すでもなく、他のサーバントにちょっかい出してた。He seemed like his role was to inspect other servants, right? Usually they expose their true identity when they fight, but he wasn't even hiding his. He wasn't hiding his? I thought, you know, his he was just very easily identifiable because of his trusty Gable. I suppose he could have tried to use a different weapon, but I mean, I thought that was just a, a thing, a QQ Lane thing that he didn't really care that much if people knew, but. Also, if he was inspecting other servants, why would it all be necessary to reveal your identity to inspect them? Let their let them drop their guard or something? So that's that must mean he was only there to collect information, so that Kirei could form his master game plan. I feel the same way. He did not fight to the end, even when he fought with me. Once they have used a noble phantasm, it should be a rule for the servant to kill their enemy. Well, I mean, if you're losing the fight, there's a decent, you know, it's not a terrible idea to run away and hope, um, I mean, <laughs> hope someone else kills them, right? So you don't have to. Yes, there's knowing their identity and potentially knowing their weaknesses. But how useful has that really been for us so far? Knowing a servant's identity being like, now that we know their identity, we know everything about them, hasn't come up too much yet. So, that's why the master of the servant was another servant. Right. So Lancer's master has another servant. He collected information using Lancer and attacks with this other unknown servant. It's a great strategy. Uh. Lancer to collect info, Gilgamesh to actually fight. Although collecting info off Saber was pretty pointless. Lancer wasn't losing that fight though. Saber was fucked and yet Lancer just peaced out. Oh, that's true. Lancer did kind of wound Saber. And yet he was told to retreat. I suppose that's fair. I guess it's because he didn't need any information on Saber and he wanted to keep Saber around maybe till towards the end because A, Gilgamesh wanted to keep Saber around and B, um, Gilgamesh would have already known about Saber anyways. Although, I think there's a debate to be made that, at least at the time, um, Lancer ran away because he realized it, uh, that, that, oh shit, there's Saber, and well, I guess, to be fair, he wanted to fight, and Kirei told him to run away, maybe because Kirei knew to fear Saber, or whoever it theoretically was at the time. Now it's Kirei, so the circumstances are, are completely different, but, ooh. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, I'm sure it was a pain for Lancer. He had to fight six servants, study their techniques, and return to his master. Uh-huh. Well, he definitely fought Archer, and he fought Saber somewhat. 
I don't, I don't know that we ever saw him fight Berserker or Lancer or Caster or Ryder. That's all of them. Um, but I mean, he might have. Maybe it just feels like you know some of those matchups might have been a little icky for him. You know, like Berserker might have been a little icky for him. But uh, I guess he is fast, to be fair. So it does play kind of to his strengths. But Saber's still the best servant. Eh? Fighting all six servants to a draw. He's quite outrageous in a way. It is. Like, you could even go in for a wet. Like, yeah, it's like... You know, if you're good enough to fight them to a draw, you know, wouldn't you want to try to go in for the win? But he doesn't, because Kira has some grand plan he's cooked up, I suppose. Grin grows quiet and ponders. It is interesting. Um, the strategy of gathering information just with Lancer. Maybe the reason Lancer never goes in fully for the fight is because Lancer is technically the servant and not Gilgamesh. Um, and so Gilgamesh is the much better fighter and can do the actual fighting, and Lancer's not as good, and so and also is the important one for the Grail actually going to their possession. I guess that makes sense. Um, it, although, by that logic, you can just scout with Gilgamesh, although I guess Gilgamesh isn't much of a scouter. He's much too... Uh... Lancer at least has some loyalty to him, um, Gilgamesh seems like he wouldn't be down for any of that, like, you know, you, eh, eh, yeah. I can see the sense to the strategy, but I almost think, isn't Gilly so strong that they don't even need it? But no, Kira would be, would, would have some tact to him. He would try to scout them out, I guess. But isn't it risky to try to scout out all of them with Lancer? Because, you know, if he's good enough to fight them to a draw and run away, I guess it's because he's the fastest servant. But it's just like... Aren't you risking him even that way? Especially if you don't get involved in the fight at all. I understand the strategy. I just feel like, uh, as I understand it right now, there might be a little bit of holes, but... Did she follow suit? Dash, 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 dash. For all I know, someone might summon a Gilgamesh to your servant. Yeah, but like, what if the Gilgamesh to your servant just takes out Lancer and they lose him? Um, maybe they aren't, maybe if that happened, Kirei's plan was just to fuck over someone else and take their place, take their command seals. I guess that's possible. Um, if he's still a, you know, if he can act in that way, I suppose it's possible that his backup plan, if Lancer ever got fucked up, nah, that would make it make more sense. Yeah, if Lancer ever got beat, he could always just steal the command seals of some other master, I guess. Saber feels a chill for no reason. Lancer's master has already been killed. Kiri is still technically a master, so I think he can still touch the grill. Uh, if that's how it works, I mean, he never really got a wish from it last time, so I think it would uh, make a certain amount of sense if he can. An unknown master who uses a heroic spirit of that decree just to collect information. <laughs> yeah. Saber feels a chill for no reason. That's not no reason. An unknown master. Are they really unknown, Saber? I think you would know who this is. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you didn't know who Archer's master was. Because you should know... I mean, you know who Kire is, though. Like, you knew that he was a master. And you know that he did not die during the last war. So... I feel like you should be able to put two and two together. Especially because you've still seen Archer running around. So no, you know exactly who it is. Who do you mean, un unknown master? <laughs> and as the master planned, the only servants remaining are Lancer and Saber. Interesting. Yeah, it was sort of, you know, Lancer ran away from Saber way back then, and now it's just them. If the enemy is such a person, it's not dang... Is it not dangerous to leave Shiro by himself, even during the daytime? It's always been dangerous! Are you kidding me? There were several enemies before. But there are no other enemies now. Which arguably makes it more dangerous. Because before, the other enemies may have not come out so that they didn't risk, you know, um, 
starting some big fight between multiple servants in the open. But now it's one on one, you know, I think that's reason to be more scared at all times. If they only have to defeat Shiro, the enemy might not follow their previous plan. Yeah. Do you know where Shiro would be? At the worst possible place. Mm, Rin probably only started putting this together though recently, and I don't know if she knows that Kirei was involved in the last war, and she certainly wouldn't know about the servant, I don't think. Once she starts thinking like that, it will not stop. She cannot leave Shiro alone. Even now, Shiro might be in danger. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. I asked you because I didn't know. But he might be at Kirei's. He went off to talk to him before, too. Saber will know what the red flag is for that. Rin, even though she's maybe put two and two together that it's possibly a previous winner or something like that, she doesn't know that Kirei could be such a person. Saber should know that. <laughs> to that church? What's wrong, Saber? Do you have something against that church? Mm. So, has Saber told... Uh, no, there's no way Saber would have told Shiro about Kirei yet. If he did, if, if she did, then then she would know, then he would know better. Um, I know that they've talked a little bit about it, about the fire and who caused, caused it, and I think Shiro knows some of that now. Um, but I don't remember if Saber is the one who told him or if it was like Kirei or a combination, but <clears throat> definitely I don't think Kirei has been mentioned yet. No, it's not that, but the church is not a holy place. It is stagnated with death to the same level as the Ryudo temple. Oh, well, okay. I guess you can just sense the corpses. Saber only talked about, um, uh, Kiri? You mean Kiritsugu? If remembering right? Mm. I mean, Kire and Kiritsugu are pretty similar, so if you say Kiri, I'm not really sure which one you mean, but... <laughs> Same level as the Ryudo Temple. Interesting. We still never fully figured out what was up with the Ryudo Temple, but... The instant she regrets that Shiro might be there by himself... A vision of some other place pops into her head. Oh, fuck. Here's the connection coming through. Oh, what syrup voice? You mean mine? Thanks. Dash, dash, dash. What is this song? This is new. She glares into the distance. She looks in one direction towards Kotomine Church on top of the hill. Here we go! Fight song time! There's no time. Saber leaps out of the yard and jumps onto the wall. Yeah, and Kirai knew that um, Saber would know to come here because Kirai knew that Saber knew that blah 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 blah. Even if it wouldn't... Even if, um, even if... I guess even if Rin didn't come to that conclusion, Saber probably would have known because of their connection, debatably, but anyways, it's just nice for, you know, it's nice to get the, get the, get the, get the, what's the term I'm looking for? We have heard this song before, actually, now that I think about it. I like this song. It's just not been in a while. <laughs> Missed my dash, dash, dashing. Speaking of which, Saber's got a dash, dash, dash. Saber, what are you doing? I'm going to the church. Please take care of this place, Rin. Without even turning to Rin, she jumps off. She runs like a bullet. This played when she was confronting Assassin last time, if I remember right. Dash, dash, dash. She reaches the place without stopping or slowing down. If anybody saw her, it would have just looked like a sudden gust of wind. That's some fast speed. The wind is clad in silver and blue armor. Saber is armed as soon as she sees the enemy's territory. 
Dash, 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 dash. She did not intend to arm herself. She had decided to arm herself when she entered the church. Wait, what? That sounds like she was already armed, but she did not intend to arm. She had decided to... Okay. But she could not help it. As soon as she saw the church, her mind burned up and made her arm herself. Too many arms! There's an arms character in Smash Brothers. Her chest is burning. The nausea that has been assuring her is not hers. Assaulting her, even. Is the chill coming from her master, a hopeless scent of death. She does not know what is going on. The only sure thing is that Emiya Shiro is on the verge of death. And there is no time. His wound could cause him to die at any second, but it won't because he's immortal. That pain and the chill going around her body cause a sickening nausea. It is less than a thousandth of the pain Emiya Shiro is feeling. He will not live. She will not make it even if she rushes with God's speed, which I think she has. He's dying right now and she might lose her master in front of her eyes. The instant she imagines that her rationality vanishes. Yeah, you don't want to lose your master, right? Now you know, she he feels not wanting to lose you to erase yourself from the timeline. She just has to rush to her master as fast as possible. If God's speed is not fast enough, she'll just break through the reason of God. <laughs> nice. Her angry glare stares down the church. She crashes through the door and enters the chapel. She does not see the chairs. Oh, the chairs have already been removed. They know the fight is coming. She ignores the path, goes through the chapel, through the courtyard, and down the stairs leading underground. All that's left are the demolished walls and floor of the church. Incidentally, she is not that violent. <laughs> well, she is now. She tried to open the door softly and did not put that mag much magical energy into her legs when she kicked off the ground. It's the Shiro coming through her. The sheer... Oh, anger. I don't know. She merely could not control them. Yeah. She goes down the stairs and reaches the underground temple. That sense of death is near. Actually seeing it, her anger goes over the limit. Over the 9,000. Over the obvious reference. Anger toward herself and anger toward the enemy who did such a thing. That's Lancer, not Gilly. Yo, sorry, but this is it, Saber. She can't even hear the voice of Lancer blocking her way. Lancer's puny compared to her real enemy. She's straining at her limits, and it seems she cannot loosen up to uh, loosen up no matter what happens. Her master's down in the darkness, in the back room, in the middle of the room full of live corpses. He's on his stomach. Blood is pouring out of him, and his gasping can be heard even in this temple. He's alive. All the while, she's relieved. She shakes from having left him for so long in that state. Shiro. Saber heads to the back room, but there's a guard in front of it. Holding his lance behind him, the blue spearsman looks at Saber with fearless eyes. It ends how it begins, a fight between the two, the blue and the yellow. Or the blue and the red, depending on how you want to, anyways, attire. Yo, I'm Saber. Yo, I'm sorry, but this is it, Saber. Oh, are you happy that you finally get to fight someone, Lancer? Or are you just a distraction? holding her off while he does something fancy and wancy. Yellow, you know, she's got yellow hair, he's got red eyes and a red lance. Anyways. Dash, 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 dash. She does not hear his voice. She don't care. You're just insignificant. Get out of my way. So she does not stop. You. You. Ignoring me, huh? I've been ignored all fucking game. You're not ignoring me now. It is as one would expect for him to block it while he was talking. Lancer blocks Saber's surprise attack. He could not defeat its power as he retreats to the wall. Dash, dash, dash. But that makes the hindrance go away. There is no time to fight Lancer now. She has to save her master who's on the verge of death. Is <laughs> Is that kid that important to you? Uh, no, he's just my master, Baka. 
Nara Naono Koto, Oreo Ho took work anyway, you can't say, Saber. I don't mind. But in that case, you really can't leave me alone, Saber! Saber stops at the entrance. Soreva, do you mean this Karansa? What do you mean by that, Lancer? Oh, finally giving him the time of day. Yeah, Nanina. So it's no mune o Kushisa Shinistano or Renandaga. Jitua Koroa Nidomedene. Isen wa Tashkani Korosta Tenoni. Well, I'm the one that stabbed him. But this is actually the second time I did it. He stayed alive the last time I did for some reason. He did because of Rin's magical jewels, but now he seems to be immortal. Is that because the jewels Rin used? Doesn't seem like it the way she was reacting afterwards. So I pierced him for sure this time. You used Gay Bolg on Shiro? Anshin Shiro. Don't worry, I didn't hit his heart, but the curse is still there. I mean, you didn't hit his heart last time either, but I'm pretty sure the curse was still there. Uh, remind me. Uh, no, not that. Status. If I look at Mr. Um, oh, actually, Lancer? Kotomine Kire, the fucker. Um, noble phantasm. Uh, piercing lance of death thorns, Gable. A cursed lance will always... Pierce the opponent's heart once it is thrust. Ah, uh, it seems like it didn't pierce the heart this time. A surely fatal strike from the cursed landscape bold. Its true nature is the reversal of cause and effect, where the cause of the lance's thrust comes from the effect of the lance's piercing the opponent's heart. As the lance has pierced the heart even before it is thrust, it's impossible to dodge or block. Uh, uh, once this result has been determined to dodge gay bold, one does not need high agility, but instead the ability to change the fate before gay bold is executed. Luck is most important. It is the most efficient noble phantasm as it requires little magical energy to activate, and each activation is a sure kill. Despite that, it's still just a B rank. <laughs> um, interesting. No master. Up, uh, supposedly. Hmm, we did get the details for him, though. Hmm, actually, there's no music right now. Surprising. Uh, let's go ahead and make a quick little save point here. Oh, boy. The last fight is the first fight. Ish. We kind of had Archer Lancer before it, but yeah. I don't know. While we're in the no music mode, I never did read Gilly's uh, thing when it showed up. Skills, uh, Divinity B, A+. He has the capacity for greatness, but since Gilgamesh himself dislikes the gods, the rank is reduced. <laughs> Nice. Mm-hmm. Details. We didn't read the details. I have to pee and take a break. Since we're already on a break, uh, after the break, I'll probably read Gilgamesh's details before continuing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, okay. I, I, I am going to go ahead and take a little bit of breaky-breaky. And resuming. Gilgamesh, a half-god, half-human king that ruled the Sumerian city-state of Uruk in the years before Christ. Not merely a legend, he is said to have actually existed. He was the king of heroes whose tale is recorded in mankind's oldest epic poem, The Epic of Gilgamesh. Epic. So divine as to be two-thirds god and one-third human, no others in the world could match him. He was an ultimate, transcendent being that possessed all things in this world. He was originally a tyrant who did not care about his people, but his behavior slowly changed after he gained a friend called Enkidu. A friend. Ooh. Enkidu was created by the goddess Aruru in response to the prayers of the people who suffered under Gilgamesh's oppression. <laughs> well. <laughs> Enkidu and Gilgamesh met as was fated, and they strongly affected each other. Okay, at first Gilgamesh feared Enkidu as his enemy, but the two came to understand each other, uh, stand each other's, each other's suit, oh, understand each other soon afterward, recognized each other as equals, and worked together to rule the country. Oh, second ruler! So you weren't the one lone king. With Enkidu, Gilgamesh defeated the Humbaba, guardian of the forest, beast of the gods, and became the greatest and richest king on earth. Ooh. After this, Gilgamesh was so powerful that even the gods could not ignore his existence. 
one goddess fell in love with this Gilgamesh. <laughs> Ishtar, the goddess of fertility, proposed marriage to Gilgamesh, the perfect king, but he rejected her immediately. Yeah, you're not <laughs> Artoria. <laughs> this was because he knew her to be a witch, unfaithful, cruel, and the corrupter of all men. Ishtar became furious, feeling that Gilgamesh had insulted her. To get revenge, she went to her father, the god Enu, and persuaded him to unleash the bull of heaven. Because of this un unopposable beast of the gods, seven years of starvation and destruction hit the earth. Gilgamesh and Enkidu cooperated and faced the bull of heaven and successfully defeated it. The goddess's reputation was once again crushed. Ishtar's fury, of course, did not abate, and she asked the gods of death to give death to one of the men, as it was a sin for a human to kill the beast of the gods. Ishtar's wish was granted, and since he was created by the gods, Enkidu could not resist the command and slowly weakened to death. Oh no, he was Gilgamesh's friend! This began Gilgamesh's downfall. Gilgamesh was shocked by the fact that death could come even to a friend of power equal to his. He was tormented by the fear of this death, and he finally traveled to the Neverworld in search of immortality. At the end of a long journey and many hardships, Gilgamesh attained the miraculous elixir of immortality. On his way back, the elixir was stolen by a snake while he was bathing, and Gilgamesh died of grief. It is said that the snake begins its life again in a new body after shedding its skin, because it stole Gilgamesh's medicine and drank it. Mmm, that snaky snake. Interesting. Anyways, use gay bulk on Shiro. Don't worry, I didn't hit his heart. But the curse is still there. Seva, Kisama to the Kono Yari no Noroi was still. Inga o Gakten Saser Gain no Yari. Koits no Noroi o Ukatamonoa. Yo Podono Kunga Nai Kagiri. Ume o Kayarare Nai. Even you should know the curse of this lance. This is the lance of cause and effect that reverses the cause and the effect. The one cursed by this thing cannot change their fate unless they have great luck. Ah, how lucky is Shiro? To put simply, the wound made by the gay bull cannot be healed. And yet, it was healed once. The one cursed cannot heal and bears the wound until they die as long as this lance exists. So is that uh, the trick then? Gotta fuck up the lance? That changes the air. Saber's eyes regain intelligence. Oh, you know you have to break the lance now. Even if you went to Shiro, it wouldn't solve anything. But it still feels like you're being used as bait at this point. Lynch did say he didn't really pierce Shiro the first time. He still freaking stabbed him with the lance. And I mean, the way the lance works, shouldn't it always be a one-shot? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he said he also didn't stab the heart this time, but the way the gay bull's destruction is, is that, you know, it always pierces the heart or whatever. So it's like, what's the point of, of doing it if it's gonna have to do it, but not actually do it? You finally understand. You want to save that kid, right? And you'll have to settle your match with me first. Lancer's beast-like killing intent comes at Saber. It is true that Lancer is serious, but... Are you insane, Lancer? A lancer would fight a swordsman in this small room? I can't believe such a foolish idea would come from you. I shall let you go if you leave now. Leave that lance and disappear. No, he can't because he's being ordered to. Kira probably doesn't even expect him to win. He just maybe wants him to slow her down or wound her a bit. I do not want to slay you in such an undesirable battle. Isn't that a more foolish idea? 
What kind of heroic spirit would discard their partner? Do you mean you discarding your partner? Because you know, you already did that once, clearly. I didn't pierce him to make some kind of a deal. I'm here to fight you, Saber. Finally, you get to fight someone. Granted, it's a fight that、um, seems like is not in your favor, and Kiri probably knew that. And you might even know that too, but you're like, fuck it, I finally get to properly fight someone. There is no dishonesty in his words. Lancer does not intend to let either of them leave here alive. For him, this is the first and last battle where he can go full strength. Yeah. Lancer's wish is not for the Holy Grail. He wishes only for battles appropriate to heroic spirits. Oh, you don't got a wish? Man, then it double sucks that you're forced to fight like this for your master. Such a simple wish that should have been easily granted to a normal servant was never granted to him until now. Aww. He had a pretty good fight with Archer before, but I guess technically that was interrupted too. Therefore, he has no intention of losing out on what might be his last chance. Even if it happens to be an unfavorable situation for him. Dang, it's probably all part of Kira's plan, too. Alright, then I should just slash away that lance along with you. Saber readies her invisible sword and faces the Blue Knight. Well said! To be honest, I'm glad you're the one that's left, Saber! Why her? Because she's the one you wish that you could have beaten because Saber is like the best servant? Not in this war, to be honest, but sure. Also, hey, look! Saber made it to the end! Because Saber is the best servant, right? That's totally why she's at the end. That's totally the whole reason that she's in the final two. There's nothing else that's contributing to that. Lancer's lance run like a flash, runs like a flash of light. Saber confronts it straight on. Just like how Lancer, you know, he's like proven himself as one of the best fighters, and that's why he's in the final two, right? Oh, except for the part where he ran away and didn't fight most people fully. Saber confronts it straight on. The rematch begins with both of them executing powerful blows. Oh? Is that the end of the interlude? Okay. <laughs> That's awkward timing. I was kind of expecting it, though. Okay. Uh oh. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. You hanging in there, Shiro? You doing okay? All I can hear is my own breathing now. I might have a fever that could burn someone to ashes, as it feels like my brain is already melting and pouring out of my ears. Also, despite Lancer saying he'll die before she gets there, he's not dead. Stop, 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 stop. <sighs> Something's wrong. It feels like I don't have a brain anymore. My body seems, still keeps telling me about the pain, and my head accepts it. That's the worst thing. The whole reason you get pain is because your body's like, hey, stupid, if you don't do something about this, you might get all pooped. The whole reason your body gives pain, you know, because once your body knows you're going to die, the body fills you with endorphins, so. Shiro is the worst time of everyone. I mean, he keeps getting fucked up, and yet he keeps living. Help, 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 help. <sighs> ah. Ah. My head isn't the only thing that's empty. I don't know where my heart or stomach are either. The nausea is unbearable. There's nothing left to throw up, but the nausea increases without limit. I endure the infinite repetition with gritted teeth. I can stay conscious. It's my pain, so only I have to endure it. There's no problem there.、Uh, 
could be a bit of a problem. Give it back, give it back, give it back, give it back. Give it back, give what back? Your soul? So the problem is the voices. My head is empty and I can only hear my breathing, but these voices still echo in my head. Are the voices the other survivors that still seem to be surviving, dead but alive? I don't even need to think whose voices they are. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts! Uh, uh, I'm going mad. Every time I hear their voices, I'm stabbed in the chest. It's not scary. I just don't have any way to atone to them. You don't need to atone. It's not your fault. It's Kirei's fault. You didn't know. Hey, 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 hey! <sighs> Stop torturing him, voices in his head. He didn't know. No matter how much they beg for help, and no matter how much I want to help them, I can't help them. I won't ask them to stop calling to me. No matter how much they beg, and no matter how much I want to. You won't ask them to stop calling. I mean, the polite thing would be to ask them to stop calling, because, I mean, it's just rude to ignore them if you can't help them if they keep asking, right? It's just that no matter how much they call, I can't help them. That's why. I think my heart will break if this continues. Return it, return it, return it, return it. <laughs> Lots of great grunting from the VA. No matter how much they ask, I cannot assent. All I can do is to end it for them. Can you even do that? I can only fix the contradiction of the living dead. I can only make the creator of this hell atone for his sins. Can you? The creator would be Kira, not you. So how can you make him atone? I, you, can't take back any sad events or miserable deaths. No, you can't. It's good to finally realize that. That's my limit. A superhero only exists to straighten out what has already happened. I mean, he can save people that haven't died, but if they're dead, then yeah, they're dead, usually. So. Who was it that said that? I guess Kiritsugu maybe said something like that to an extent, but I don't think that's the exact quote. Since I denied those words, I'm being cornered right now. Mmm. Interesting. Finally coming to a head this whole super th hero thing. It only exists to straighten out what has already happened. He wanted it to not be true, maybe because subconsciously, because of the link to all these other corpses, he knew that they were already dead and wanted to be like, no, I want to save them. And the reason he kept twiddling his thumbs and not doing anything to progress to that goal is because the goal, he knew where his real goal was. He just didn't know how to approach it. At least, you know, subconsciously he knew. And now, now he's being faced with the reality and there's still nothing he can do. To be honest, I want to run away. Mustn't run away. Has Evangelion taught you nothing? <clears throat> I have no way to save them. I can only listen to them. I have no miracle to grant them. You could if you won the grail, but you never fucking think about that. You think you don't deserve it. You think you don't deserve to live enough to get a wish, even if you could use that wish to save people. I don't have enough power to deny his claim that a superhero is only so strong. Then if, if I had a miracle that could save them, would I use it? Oh, you mean the grail? Are you actually thinking about that for once? For the first time ever? He's coming to consciousness. She's here. Wake up, Emi Oshiro. Your servant has arrived. Yeah, it seems like Kirei knows about what's going on with me. Because, like, he was like, I don't care if he lives. But then he lived. And, uh, Kirei seems undisturbed by that. 
and I don't think he was going out of his way to keep him alive. I feel like Kirei knows about the connection and stuff. Could be wrong, but it seems like he knows. I hear a voice. It's coming from right behind me. But I can't hear what it's saying. You know what you have to do, though. You just said it yourself. If you could have a miracle and save them, you'd save them. But how will you go about it? Just don't do it stupidly. Because cause Saber's trying to save people, too, but she's trying to do it stupidly. So don't you have a stupid version of your wish. That's all I'm saying. You don't gotta turn back the clock to save the lives. Especially in your case. Saber, it's ancient history at this point. So she's gotta do some timey-wimey stuff no matter what. You could just make it so that all of them stuff they're suffering right now and become, go back to being regular kitty boys. Kitty girls, girls and boys. But <laughs> My vision is blurry. There's nothing in front of me. All I sense are the voices asking for help and the figures that are already dead. <laughs> you don't care who wins because you can just steal Shiro's command spells. I see the perfect victory. He's doing well, but he cannot match Saber as I expected. I need one more servant either way. I do not care whether that happens to be Saber or Lancer, but I shall make a selection before that. I can't hear anything, but this man's voice echoes in my head. It is time for your turn. Let us go, Emiyashiro. My turn for what? My turn for what? My head is lifted. The man grabs my head and pulls me forward. That lets me feel the man behind me. The man has swallowed black corruption. His heart is black and it seems like he's surrounded by an unknown darkness. <laughs> and we were talking about how Shiro might be a mini Kirei. Mm, Kirei might be turning him away from that path right now given the circumstances. Uh, maybe not, but uh, I feel like this is some, uh, some counter motivation. The black corruption reaches in from the outside world, and it's like a chain binding the man. I don't know what it means. What, you see the black corruption around Kira, you mean? With your fancy vision? Interesting. You can see... Can you use your, your weirdo vision to see mental disturbance? If that was the case, I feel like you should have seen more by now. Maybe it's only now it's heightened given the circumstances? Only one thing is clear. This man, Koto Minekire, was just like me. You admit it! Oh no, you admit the connection! His body had some kind of fatal wound, and he is compensating for it with that unknown something. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because Kire didn't really know what he wanted, but he definitely wanted something. As I heal using Saber's powers, Kotomine Kire is maintaining his corpse-like body with this black corruption. Does Kire himself have a corpse-like body? Do they have a similar type of immortality thing going on? I didn't really get that impression. Now seeing the end of the multiple um, paths, the end of the Hero of Justice, Saber, Archer, Kiritsugu, and now the end of the villain, Kire. Mm. And he admits that the one he's most like is Kire? I suppose. Compensating for it with that unknown something. For Shiro, the unknown something would be, you know, being the Saber sexual. Kotomina Kiri is meaning his corpse-like body. He's... I see. To find his way in life, he's just doing fucked up things. You know, it's... You know, how do you cure incurable boredom? I mean, one way is to become the villain. Then it won't be boring anymore. And that was more or less Kiri's approach. So come on, 
That is it, Saber. Lower your sword if you wish to save your master. What's going on? My vision is still blurry and I can't even raise my head. You too, Lancer. We are partners seeking his holy grail. Oh no! Lancer just wanted the fight and you're not even going to let him finish the fight, you fucker? We're partners seeking the holy grail after all. We should not kill each other so recklessly. If Saber only came to pick this man up, I'll gladly let her do so. But it's some kind of trap, right? What have you been waiting for? Why did you need Lancer to delay her for a bit? What have you been setting up? A gloomy laugh. Do you think I believe those words? Coming from the one who has killed Lancer's master and is about to kill my master as well? Who's he talking to? Oh, you can't hear Saber? It's all too muffled? You're too far gone right now? I can't hear the voice, but the sound rings through my fainting mind like a bell. Trust me, I do not wish to fight you. Things have turned out like this, but I'll not interrupt you if you wish to seek the Holy Grail. Hmm, maybe you won't interrupt him because Gilgamesh will be the one to do it. He's just probably around somewhere. Motoyori. From the beginning, my role is to determine the possessor of the Holy Grail. Mm. Yes, the possessor who is uh, going to be me. <laughs> you two are more than qualified. Therefore, if you wish, I could give you the Holy Grail right here. Hmm. He's he probably just bullshitting, but maybe what he was waiting for, maybe the thing he was waiting for was for Shiro to come to the realization that he could actually use the Grail because he's been holding back on it for so long. Maybe this whole time Kirei's just um, been trying to mold Shiro into sort of, you know, a dark disciple, as it were. And maybe this was the final step, was getting him to, you know, admit the, the villainous wish and maybe he somehow knows his inner thoughts? I don't know if I can know. Um, that would explain the waiting. Because Shiro did just internally be like, Oh! If I need a miracle, then huzzah! Are you saying the Holy Grail is here? I mean, the Holy Grail should be, you know, at home, shouldn't it? Unless fucking Archer went in and nabbed them. Arutomo? It's here. The Holy Grail exists everywhere. It is a shapeless vessel to begin with. Its completion depends on when, where, and what it is summoned in. This church is sufficient just to summon it. Uh-huh, you say that, but then what was the thing going on with Elia and all that? When, where, and what it is summoned in? By that, by the what do you mean, Elia? In which case, how would it be here? Hmm, maybe once it's manifested fully in the world, it can be summoned here? Through, like, a teleportation? Murum, <laughs> Of course, the Holy Grail is incomplete if there is more than one servant remaining, but it should still be able to grant most wishes. If that is not sufficient for you, then you may continue fighting. I mean, I mean, for, if, for the wish he has is pretty big in the first place. It's a dumb wish, but it's pretty big, so I don't know if she'll be able to do it with just, you know, just a, just a five out of sixer. Yeah. 
私としては気乗りがしないがお前たちが望むのならば付き合おう決着をつけるのはその時でいいのではないかなランサー I do not want that, but I shall accompany you if you choose so. Is that fine with you, Lancer? Uh, probably not. He probably wants the fucking fight, and he's like, What the fuck are you talking about with your fancy bullshit? Sounds like some kind of bullshit where Gilly's gonna show up and be like, No, haha. Yo, Kuane. Son na mari kudo koto sur hitio anai. Shiro kuro tskeru nara ima sugu de kiru daro. It's not. We don't need to go so far. We can decide the match right now if we wanted to. Well, because Kiro, Kirei still has Shiro in his clutches? Hmm. Kono Jo Kyo Deka. Stunai de wa omai niwa fri da roshi. Saber to te aruji ga ki ninat te tatakai mai. Kono de wa omai ni tot te manzok no ik tatakai to wa iye nai ga. You're at a disadvantage in this room, and Saber would not be able to fight if she is concerned for her master. I do not think this would be a satisfying battle for you. Hmm, but you could just kill Shiro, or can you? Maybe that's why. Hmm. A spitting sound. It seems the man has reluctantly agreed. Oh shit, Lancer's like, yeah, you're right, I wouldn't win. Oops. Isa, nara hitotsukikasaro. Fine, then let me ask you one thing. What is the Holy Grail? Isn't it not meant to appear until there's only one of us left? Did the thing that summoned us trick us from the beginning? It could be that there only needs to be one of you left, in which case, maybe he'll just take out Lancer. But. Also, he's got a lot of uh, feeding going on in this room. Maybe the energy he's getting from here, I don't think it'll be enough to supplant one one master, but maybe Kirei's got other projects? Not, not enough to supplant one servant, I mean, but... Yeah, it's true. The Holy Grail will not appear until there's No, it's true. The Holy Grail will not appear until there's only one servant left. The vessel in which the Holy Grail will appear is a different story. That is prepared with a shape from the start, and power flows into it until the Holy Grail is summoned. Uh huh. Because in Fate Zero, that's the thing about the Grail being, you know, incomplete. Um. Uh, Kiritsugu tried to mess with the Grail when there were still two servants left, I believe. Um, at least two left. And, uh, there might have been more? Or it might have been just the two, but there was definitely at least the two, and... <sighs> um, yeah, so it can potentially be accessed, but, uh, it, because... <clears throat> what am I trying to say? Um, be, because it's, uh, was what, incomplete, that might have messed with some of the mojo wojo. So, that, uh, yeah, probably, to some extent, that's true. He said that it can grant most wishes, so I think what they're saying is, hmm, and maybe it won't appear, but you can still go to your way to find the vessel and use the incomplete version, so what then? When you do, when the when it is just one servant left, then it just pops into your vision. Since only two servants remain, it should begin to acquire power as the Holy Grail. So they are all saber. Oh, I thought the Zenkai Saigo Made no Kota Sabantoda. Is that not correct, Saber? You remain to the end in the previous war. You should understand what the Holy Grail prepared by Einsburns is. Dash, dash. So, the Holy Grail is always here. 
Yes, the Holy Grail is always here in ways to be filled with the blood of the sacrifices. Huh. Okay. So when the seven servants are summoned, is that the magic? Because the whole thing is that, oh, seven people summoned it, but only one person could use it. Which is why the war started happening. So when they summon the seven servants, that's when they sort of summon the... That's when I think around... I don't know. I don't know exactly how it works because, you know, Illy has been a girl who's been living for a long time. But I guess there's some kind of mold that's prepped. Um, if that, if there's any truth in this, uh, then probably, like, some pre-prep. And then when the seven happen, there's, like, a connection. I don't know. I still don't know what's going on with Shiro and all his ghost connections or dead corpse, whatever. Immortality, blah, blah, blah. It just is kind of weird that it's here from before it even starts, arguably. Like, the way it's set up. It's kind of weird. But but do you not think that is sad? You do not need to wait until only one remains. It should be possible to grant your wishes right now. So there's no meaning in killing each other right here. Yes, your opinion is certainly correct. But what, you want a, the strongest wish, so you have to take him out? But then who are you? Is your objective not to obtain the Holy Grail? Hmm... I mean, given what we know of him from the past, he might just like the chaos. I told you that I am the selector. If an appropriate person exists, I shall gladly give out the Holy Grail. Do you think Shiro is that appropriate person? He clearly didn't think Lancer's, Lancer's former master was very appropriate. Oh, maybe that was your plan all along. Maybe you set up the circle for Shiro. Maybe you wanted him to be the winner all along. I wish to hear from you, Amiya Shiro. Hmm, then it seems weird that he would have kept Gilly going for... Interesting. He might have gotten Lancer. He could have definitely gotten Lancer with the hopes of Shiro being the wiener. Um, but in that case, Shiro shouldn't have ever gotten killed as collateral damage. Although, maybe Kirei already knew about his immortality, so it wasn't something to worry about. Um... But then the whole keeping Gilly for 10 years, um, that might have just been... The Shiro thing would have been more spontaneous, theoretically. Maybe not too spontaneous, but at least somewhat spontaneous, that he's been doing this for the past 10 years, ever since the, the orphanage thing. The winner is the friends we made along the way. I don't think that's true. <laughs> um, the 10 years, orphanage, Gilly. It could have been, you know, he just... It could have been just to fuck with Shiro. It's not impossible. But, um... Hmm. Hmm. Maybe he had a couple plans. Maybe for Rin, maybe for Shiro. Maybe he could have seen it going a couple different ways. And he kept Gilly around. It's possible he's doing it just for himself. Though I could see it him doing it for Shiro. He could have his own wish. Because keeping Gilly around feels to me like he has his own wish. But maybe not. Maybe he's just keeping the possibilities open. Maybe he's showing him. Maybe him and Gilly are just good friends. I don't know. <clears throat> my body moves. My head is grabbed and my body is lifted. It hurts. The wound in my chest opens up. The pain makes my vision go white. Do not worry. I only wish to hear his answer. Yes, 
The Holy Grail only answers those who wish for it. It must interest you whether your master is appropriate for the Holy Grail or not. That's useless. Shiro does not seek the Holy Grail. Mm, maybe that's changed now. My master is not as lowly as you. Are you sure? Because, I mean, Kira himself, he just said, I don't care who about winning. I just, you know. I mean, if he really is still just in it for the chaos and has no real wish. Yes, he said so at the start, but has he changed his mind? Mm. But that will not be his true opinion. As every man has his darkness, this man also has a dark side. Everybody's got a dark side! <laughs> um, but yeah, indeed he does. The thing though is, him wanting to save these people, is that really a dark thing to do? Like, what's the end goal here if you really do want Shiro to use his wish? Because if his wish is just, I want to save these people, it's not very dark. Unless you think something dark will come afterwards? Did this boy truly curse nothing on that day ten years ago? Is he not shaking it off by forgetting what lay ahead? Hmm, get the boy to undo what the father did? Completely mess up the fire, maybe in that, doing that? Give Kirei the chance to make a wish ten years ago? Uh, I mean, I don't know if he's thinking that he necessarily wants to do it that way, but he might think it's fun if it happens. Dash, dash. Hold on. What's he saying? The fire ten years ago has nothing to do with this. What? Yes, it does. Um, <laughs> you wanted to save them all this time. I mean, granted, now you can save them from this right here, but you always could have saved them with a wish with, from, like, the people that died in the fire. This is meaningless. Nothing should come out of it. I will open your wound. Uh-oh, he means the metaphorical wound. Maybe by wishing to save the orphans fucks with the fire and maybe makes it worse? Unless Kirei can see into, like, the fourth dimension, I don't know how he could predict that. Oh, fuck. It's time for your confession, Emi Oshiro. Oh, no. What's his confession? My back arches. My mind reverses like electricity is running through it. In place of my fading mind, a red vision appears. Stop. 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 What's the red vision? Stop, stop, stop. Stop, 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 stop. There's no meaning in this. No one will be saved if I remember this now. What are you remembering? The tower. That's right. You saw like a tower in the fire or something. What was that about? I don't know because that was like shortly before the Hades or something. And then I forgot about that. But now I'm remembering there's like a tower. What was that about? Oh, is this about the tower? Remember this now. Mm, the way you're saying it is like you know what you're remembering, quote unquote. Everybody died. Everyone was dead. I was the only one wandering through the fire. Not the only one. There were some other survivors. Uh, Kirei fucked them up. The house had burned down, with burned up corpses under them, and sounds of crying came from all around. The houses? Oh, for a second I thought it said the house, and I'm like, his house? Mm. Dash, dash, dash. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Ah, oh, the things they were saying those many years ago. Okay. I walked alone. I sought help and I wanted someone to save me, so I kept walking, not looking to the side. Always wanting someone to save you, not thinking about saving other people. And it's been eating at you ever since? So now you've stopped caring for your own life? Because you're like, I've already been saved, fuck this life that was saved. But that's not really valuing Kir Kiritsuga's decision to save you. Stop. All the while. How could I think that no one was asking for help from me when I could still move? 
Yeah. I can see that. Stop. Help, 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 help. Taskete. Yeah, I noticed. There's no way I couldn't have noticed. I walked through it all. I ignored the voices sobbing in pain. I ignored the voices going mad trying to escape. I ignored the screams of those not wanting to die. I ignored the pleas of mothers wanting me to take their children. I even ignored the dying eyes that could not ask for help. I kept walking, only seeking help for myself. Wait, 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 wait! Mate! Mateo! I was tired of looking at corpses. I was already tired of seeing people die in pain. I thought I couldn't save them. I thought they didn't die. They would, I thought they would die no matter what I did. But then Kiritsugu saved you and you realized the saving is possible and you regret everything? That's why I never stopped. Stop. Give it back, give it back, give it back, give it back. I thought I had to live even a second longer because I had to go that far. If there were people who died without being able to do anything, as long as I could do something, I thought I had to live. That is not a wrong thought. That's a good thought. So don't go squandering it post-mortem. Too late for that, I guess. Stop. My heart was almost crushed. I held back my tears and walked on in search of an escape. It was hard to live on while ignoring the pleas for help. I knew. It'd be easier if I apologized, so I never apologized. I believed. That would be my only sincerity, as I could not do anything. Stop! It hurts. It hurts! It hurts! It hurts! And as I wished, I alone was safe. The only ones at the hospital were children unfortunate enough to be in areas near where the fire occurred. I didn't want to know about it, but the man in the white coat told me. In that area, I was the only survivor. The only ones at the hospital were children unfortunate enough to be in areas near where the... You mean, okay, do you mean fortunate enough? That might be a typo. Fortunate enough to be... Um, not quite, ex I feel like you were at the epicenter and were the only one who survived and there were some people more on the outskirts that survived. I feel that's the message you might be sending. That would make sense if that was the message you're sending. That's not what the words say, but it would make more sense. Anyways, I didn't want to know about it, but the man in the white coat told me in that area, I was the only survivor. It's a simple story. From my body to live, my heart died. Shiro from the very beginning. Mmm. Ignoring all the pain and suffering around him. But I mean, in that context, initially you would think that he's talking about, you know, I had to ignore how everyone was dying around me even though I was barely living. But he wasn't barely living. He was pretty up and at him. Because he was still immortal back then? Question mark. Stop already. I saw people dying in pain. I saw just as many sad people because there was a funeral for all those who died in a big building. Every kind of sadness and affection for those that died. I thought that... Just stop. Hey, 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 hey! I had to remember every single bit of it. It's only natural. That many people wanted to be helped, and not one of them had their wish granted. So... Since my wish was granted, I thought it was only natural for me to take on their deaths. No. I could not hold my head up unless I thought so. No more. Give it back. Give it back. Give it back. Give it back! That's why I frantically chased after Kiritsuku. For those I couldn't save. And for the things I couldn't do, I admired a superhero who could save someone. 
but you had the chance to save so many more if you just wanted to. What was me crumbled away as I ignored the police for help. I kept moving forward with an empty mind. No more. Please, 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 please. Kudasai. The people I didn't save taught me that I had to go on. What was lost within all that? I just thought about going forward in place of all the people that died. I couldn't think anything else. I sealed any memories before that so that I would never think about them. Mmm. All you could think about was carrying on the wishes of everyone who died in that fire so you never, that's why you never ever bring up your life from before then. That life doesn't matter. You don't deserve that life. All you can do is carry on the lives of the people that died there. Mm-hmm. But then there were actually still some other survivors. And then you let them fucking die too when you got taken. I mean, that one's not your fault. <clears throat> Shu knew all this from the start. He just kept it locked so deep back in his brain. Mmm. People kinder than anyone else. Memories of those who were my parents. Yes, your fucking parents. So as not to recall them and go back. I sealed them tight, thinking I was already dead. Yeah. This is a new life, a life you're living for those people. Your life from before doesn't matter. Don't open it. It's not painful. Emi Ashiro was happy being adopted by Emi Akiritsugu. So? 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 You have never thought it was a mistake? There's the red text. I'm telling you, don't open that! Pain. The pain in my chest pulls me back to reality. My nausea doesn't stop. My limbs are numb. My head is burning. My breathing is ragged. Return it, return it, return it, return it. Their voices are echoing in my head. I throw up blood. Is it because my body is dying? Or because I cannot endure those voices. My chest hurts. My chest hurts. My chest hurts! I can't plug it even if I try. What hurts is the pain inside. Mm, it's the metaphorical pain. Not the physical gay bulb. That wouldn't hurt because I'm a mortal or something. Is the red text the representation of Shiro's mind of the wishes of all the dead people he's carrying on in him? I mean, it's interesting that uh, Kirei finally uh, voiced it, if that's the case. It would make sense, but... Hmm, I don't feel it's quite that, because the red text was telling him not to go down there. But the wishes of the people... Um, hmm... If the wishes of the people... I feel like the wishes of the people would want him to see this, to know the truth, not hide from the truth. So I don't think it's entirely that. I think the red text is more... It's not necessarily the wishes of the people, but I think it's the true side of him. The side that's not playing dumb. Which is, he knows he fucked up, he knows all of this, he also knows, like, you know, don't be ignorant, this is bad, etc, etc, etc. Um, I think that that's my current take on the red text. Is you know, the, um, yeah. <clears throat> if it's not some super evil side, there's that possibility too still. Don't want to deny it. <laughs> uh. What hurts is the pain inside. It'll keep hurting as long as the memory is there. And it'll never heal. You tried to distract yourself with that saber sexual, but I mean... You know, it's still not the thing at the forefront of your mind, no matter what. And yet, before now, you haven't really thought of using your wish. I guess because you already felt like you failed at saving all those people, that um, you're still continuing the, I can't save anyone, or there has to be some trick to it, I don't know. I'm not good enough to actually save people. If I was, I, if I, I would have saved them in the fire. 
Granted, you could have been training to eventually get good enough to save them, but you're worried of failing again, maybe? So you don't even want to risk trying? You don't want to bring back the PTSD of failing to save all the people in front of you? Even when you finally do save people, it's not good enough because it's not the right people. All that matters is saving the people from the fire. And Saber because you're a Saber sexual, but that's a little bit different. Dash, 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 dash. Is it an illusion? I see a figure that should not be here. So I have to bear this. I can't think about wanting to die. Not when she's in vision. Yeah. She's your big want to live button. That's a, that's one good influence she has on you for sure. If she's here, even in illusion, I have to act like I'm all right. Mm, always for her. She's had a great influence on you. It's still a bit of an unhealthy relationship, I'd say. But given how unhealthy you are inherently, having something to make you want to be healthy is kind of healthy? It is a deep wound. It'll be painful if it's not healed. You should not end your life bearing that. And it feels like you've known. I feel like Kira is someone who's got like an a million perception check. You know, if this was D&D &D terms. I feel like he probably figured out the first time he met Shiro at the, you know, towards the beginning of the game. He probably, he saw everything. And maybe he's been planning this ever since. It'll be painful if it's not healed. You should not end your life with that, bearing that. I hear the priest's voice. The voice is totally unlike him. Filled with compassion. You said you do not need the Holy Grail. Yep. That's what I said. He might want to read his fire. He doesn't fucking get any satisfaction from saving people in the present. All he cares about is that fucking fire and the people he didn't save. Is that true? If you can redo what happened ten years ago, will you not seek the Holy Grail? I mean, I was thinking that from day freaking one, and he never even, you know, conditioned that idea until he's con well. I mean, he never even considered the notion until right now. Now that he's being confronted right in the face with other people that did not survive when he did, because he's being forced to reconfront it. Hmm. Yeah, I guess the whole idea of wishing that he could go back and save them just felt too disgusting to him, or like. Like, he would never actually succeed. Yeah, the plot point's starting to converge indeed. Never actually succeed, so don't risk trying to think about it only to fail again. Same reason he never actually followed through on being a hero and just kind of twiddled his thumbs. He didn't want to risk failing again, but now when it's really thrust in front of him again, the wish start, starts to manifest itself. <laughs> You can save everything that was lost in that incident. You can eliminate that disaster, not associate yourself with Emiya Kiritsugu, and be your true self. Not associate with Emiya Kiritsugu? Would that be your ultimate revenge towards Kiritsugu, Kira? <sighs> Big question is, why does Kira want Shiro to grant this wish? Um, based on what I know of Fate Zero, Kire likes, hmm, he likes inciting the chaos. I can see him wanting to simply see how other people be. He might have a real wish at this point. This might all be a mind game, but uh, it seems like he truly does want Shiro to have this wish at this point. Hmm. Maybe that's why he had Gilgamesh antagonizing them a bit. He wanted to build up Shiro's rage a bit. Maybe even uh, he wanted him to be cut up a bit. Hmm. Your true self. So you saw me for what I was, that I was really more like you? You want me to get rid of the, the PTSD I have of not saving people, save them so I can move on with my life and be a bad guy like you? Is that not the only way to save yourself? 
Redo the incident ten years ago? Yeah, duh! I mean, that's like thing number one I would have thought of. I could wish for anything, and I'm Shiro Emiya. Redo myself, we survived by not saving anyone? Hmm. Then again, this is sort of what Saber wants, just in a different light. You're undoing the Shiro that's existed ever since the fire, which is the only Shiro you've known while you blocked out the past before that. So in a sense, you yourself would also be erasing yourself from existence. If that's what you were to do, you might not even be you anymore. Saber maybe is a little worse because technically you do have a past that you're just blocking out. Whereas, you know, Saber, I feel like she's saying she wants to erase herself entirely from existence or some shit. But, um, still, it's parallels. And if this is the conclusion you come to, um, then, uh, I wonder how Saber would feel about that. And I wonder how you would then suddenly feel about Saber and her wish. Maybe, ultimately, it'll be a big turnaround. Where Shiro actually ultimately does want the wish. And the wish is similar to Saber's, but for himself... But Saber wouldn't want that because, and then she'll finally maybe see it from his perspective, and then they ultimately make out, and everyone's happily ever after. <laughs> uh, wouldn't that be nice? Oh, of course, Shinji's not happily ever after he died, but who cares? No, more than that. If I could make that incident as if it never happened, so that no one would be hurt. Why? I shake my head. Time travels works in a certain way. Would changing the timeline actually kill a lot of people? It really depends. Like, is it like... Because it, it could be one of those things where um, the world line will sort of try to converge on the similar outcome. Where he stops the fire and a lot of things, you know, blah. But then a lot of other things similar afterwards happen similarly on the same course. Or it could be a radically different change. Butterfly effect. Depends on the way timey-wimey stuff works here. I shake my head. Oh, you're changing the timeline, kill a lot of people, and just replace them with similar people? Oh, just kill different people who didn't dive in the fire? If it's Steins Gate-ish, then that would probably happen, but... Unless it's an important converging point. I reject that vision with my burning head. Reject that vision, because you don't want to reject the self you've been, because you like Kiritsugu, and you like the life you've had? Even though you don't want to admit that you like it, you do like it. Or because Saber herself is trying to do something similar and you don't want that. I spit at my own weakness. Not willing to accept the present for what it is. Only wanting to go back to the past. But I mean, really, if that is all you want to do, I mean, now at least you want to do Saber, I guess. Because it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Do you really reject it? I hear their voices. My fingers feel the wet floor. Help. They all want to go back to that day. I feel like this is just his inner demons at this point. Maybe he doesn't have... I mean... Hmm... I don't think he has some crazy psychic connection necessarily. He might just be smarter than he lets on. And there's the smart part is the one that sits in the back of his brain. And was the one goes, don't go down the battery. You know what will be down there. You know it's bad. You know this is bad. The smart part is the instinct that... Tries not to be smart too much, because he doesn't want to be smart. He wants to be blind to the truth, because being smart means, oh, wait, where were all these people all this time? And, oh, yeah, why didn't I save those people back then? And so he tries to ignore the smart part of his brain. That might be it. He's still got some weird immortality thing going on, though. Dash, 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 dash. Yeah, I wanted that, too. Though it can't have been as bad as you guys. Even after Kiritsugu adopted me, I want, I went to the burn field often to look at the scenery. I went to the place where nothing remained, opened the door that didn't exist, walked through the hallway that didn't exist, and smiled at my mother who wasn't there anymore. He finally referred to her by, you know, a singular and not just my parents. Went to the place where nothing remained, opened the door that didn't exist, walked through the hallway that didn't exist, and smile at my mother who wasn't there anymore. Maybe the reason you don't want to go back is because of Kiritsugu, and he saved you, and you feel almost like it would be disrespectful to go back um, and undo what he saved? In that sense, <clears throat> maybe that's why you're trying to save Saber in a similar sense. 
not to undo things because you've wanted so badly to undo the fire but you went against it because you knew Kiritsugu did that and that would be disrespectful and you should try to carry on and there's maybe some of that bleeding into why you don't want Saber to undo either. Maybe. My mother, who wasn't there anymore. Finally, the mother drop. And what about the other father drop? Always only referring to Kiritsugu as your father, but you had another father. I wanted to return the days before it happened. Shio did say that he felt Kiritsugu was happier than Shio with him being saved. I mean, yeah, and I'm not surprised with what, you know, considering Kiritsugu kind of caused it. I'm not surprised he was happier than, you know, Shiro, who, you know, given everything that was going on, even before we really knew um, Shiro's uh, true psyche, I think it makes a lot of sense that he was the one who was happier. By changing the fire, Kiritsugu may not die a happy death. Yeah, there's that too. If you change the fire, Kiritsugu, who knows, he might have went out very differently and not have been happy. And... Then it's weighing the value of the lives and going back to the ultimate Kiritsugu dilemma, actually. Is it okay to save everyone who died in this fire if it means I doom Kiritsugu? It's just one person versus the many, right? Which would have been the old Kiritsugu mentality. He would have said yes in a heartbeat. I will save everyone if I kill just that one person or if I ruin that one person's happy ending. Um, but that's, you know, that's going against... Hmm, the character development. <sighs> Superhero is someone who cleans up the mess, someone who does what they can, but can't save everyone. And by trying to save everyone, you're just being foolish. Despite that, he's, he keeps saying he wants to save everyone, but that's just a hearkening wish. And maybe it's words conflicting with actions, whereas actions is doing, trying to do what Kiritsugu said of can't save everyone. But words are like, no, I want to save everyone. Hmm. If that's the case, it's similar to what's going with Saber now, where her words are like, No, I can't be with you, Shiro. And her actions are like, Oh, okay, maybe a little bit. I awaited the day when I would wake from this bad dream. That didn't happen, and I accepted reality. But if I could obtain a world where it didn't happen, and where nobody got hurt, that would certainly be... What's the word I'm looking for? Idealistic, unrealistic, stupidly optimistic. So, answer. You want to be accepted, then you will be given Now, answer. If you wish for it, I shall give you the Holy Grail. The priest with the Holy Grail says so. It would be a utopia. The name of this day. That's too easy. Life doesn't work that way. You undo the fire, there'd be plenty of, like, who knows what kind of butterfly effects would cause bad shit to happen along the course of time. This could be the best timeline. For all we know, if that fire didn't happen, somebody who died in that fire would have went on to be, you know, to cause World War III. I don't fucking, who knows? By doing this wish, Shiro would just return to his ignorant self, deny the present reality, and again undo all the development. Yeah, there's that too. It's not so simple as saying, Oh yeah, undo that fire, but keep things basically the way they are now. I think that's uh, having your cake and eating it too, and I don't think the Grail would have it, because if memory serves, the Grail's like, Dude, you know, explain your wish properly, you can't bullshit. So like, you can't be like, Oh, undo the fire, but have me stay like this. I mean, unless you create an alternate timeline, I don't think you can really create a world where you undo the fire, but keep where things are in the present. Things will shift if you try to undo that fire. Um, I said a while back that that's a sketchy wish as a result of how much it'll shift. Potentially. But yeah. It would be so easy to do it, too, in this position. But, like, no. It's not as bad, in my opinion, as Saber's wish, from what I understand. But it's similar, and bad for similar reasons. Not to the extreme as bad, but still bad. Return it, return it, return it, return it. If I wish, these voices will go away. Orphans like me, if fate had taken a slight turn, fate, I'd be there as well. Yeah, if Kiritsugu hadn't saved you, if he'd saved someone else, or... 
Mm. So I don't even need to think about this. I don't need to think about it, so why? Because you've been hampering so hard against Saber to not do something similar. I'd still say worse, but similar. Also, because Kiritsugu, you'd be disrespecting him and you don't know what would happen with him. All right, that, that a boy Shiro, push through the temptation. I don't need it. I can't wish for such a thing. But are you gonna say something enlightened or something foolish? I stare straight at the dead corpses. And I reject them. <gasps> that is my answer. Oh, fuck. You accept the way you are now? You accept the current self? Is this just because of the saber sexual? I hope it's more of everything around you and saber maybe just opened your eyes to it. And I wonder how that would make Saber feel, given that she wants it for something similar. It doesn't matter what the Holy Grail is. Ooh, and Kira looks a little angry right now. I can't wish to regenerate the dead nor to change the past. You can't redo the past. I mean, you never know. I wish might be able to. So are you going to say something enlightened, like even if I was to XXX, or just something like, No, nah, duh, you can't do it to the path. The grill's not that strong. I don't believe it. Because that would be not the correct answer here, I think. The dead won't come back. That was a long break. The dead won't come back. What's done cannot be redone. I can't wish for such a thing. Hmm. You say that right in front of Saber, huh? My cheeks are hot. Every time I say a miracle is impossible, tears pour out from vexation. Hmm. Maybe you know it is possible, but you shy away from it because... Even if you were to bring the dead back to life, it would just change everything and you wouldn't be you anymore. So you're accepting that you like the you who you are now. To some extent, as much as you may have liked what was in the past. Definite immoral stand, not a- Grail ain't powerful enough. Well, you know. I think he- yeah. I think in that moment, as he was like, A miracle! That's when he accepted the Grail is powerful enough, for sure. Although I think deep down he always knew. I think Shiro is smarter than he lets on. He acts stupid semi on purpose because he do he wants to stray away from what the smart part of his brain is telling him. Because the smart part of his brain is the, you know, the one that, yeah. <sighs> that knows the truth so horrible. He has to keep lying. Do not let it be horrible, but now He's being forced to confront that truth and still turns it away even when the stupidness is confronted <laughs> or something. Uh, I think there's a good, uh, a good through line there and I didn't quite articulate it correctly, but. I wonder why miracles, wishing for such normal happiness, are too much for people. Mmm, normal happiness. <laughs> The Holy Grail makes that possible. Everything will be as you wish. The priest says so. But I can't agree. Even if I could redo the past, I must not take back what has already happened. What is your reasoning for why? Because if I do that, everything would be a lie. Okay, but what specifically would be a lie? Those tears. Those pains. It's the cheap option. You could undo everything. To run away from it. To make yourself ignorant. But that doesn't mean it still didn't happen the first time through. You still ignored them. You could make a wish to go back and be like, Oh, but give keep me my memories of when I was all depressed and stuff. If you wanted to be fair about it, I guess. Those memories. That cold reality that hurts my heart. All of it. 
There were people who died in pain. There were people who risked their lives to save others. There were people who mourned for the deaths. But then if everything were taken back and it did not happen, where would all of those go? That's a great question. A very mature question. The dead people would not come back. Mm, debatable. Reality cannot be overturned. Debatable. To continue on remembering the pain and the weight, isn't that how lost things remain? From a certain point of view, you could say that those who died, if you undo this, the versions of them that did die, no one would remember them anymore. Even if they were to continue living on, who's to say where they would go after that? There's also the multiple timeline theory where one could argue that even if we were to un undo things, a timeline would still keep going from this perspective. Shiro would just be blissfully ignorant of it. And all the people that died in that fire, he wouldn't remember them anymore because he would have shifted world lines or something, and now they would have well and truly died forever. There's that perspective. People will eventually die, and death itself is sad. There's that too. But pain shouldn't be the only thing that remains. A death is painful, but it also leaves behind bright memories. As I am bound by these people's deaths, as I am protected by my memories of Kiritsugu, I believe memories become constraints and change the people living now. Yeah, despite how much these people have been weighing you down, you still knew the better answer from the beginning. I can respect that. This was still probably for the best, though, for you to be forced to confront it, because you've been sort of um, pussyfooting around it for a long time. Even if they are memories that will eventually be forgotten. This path. I don't believe it's the wrong one. Whether or not Shiro is right here is highly up to interpretation. It's not a truly correct stance. Um, you could say, I do think erasing yourself from existence is objectively wrong. Um, especially in her position where she was a great king. She did well, the fucker. Um, and she wasn't even, you know, uh, that whole thing. But with Shiro, it's a bit different. Um, and he wouldn't even necessarily be erasing himself from existence. And I think there's validity to the wish that is being proposed, but... I think there's validity to this stance as well. So, Tsumari, Omaewa. Shiro seeing Saber definitely helped realize his own wishes and flaws. Yeah, yeah, that would definitely um, get to him. I see. Then you. Say hi, Nante Iranai. Whatever. I don't need the Holy Grail. I can't stray from my path for the people I've left behind. I mean, there's still other things you could do with the Holy Grail. Your mind doesn't have to be fixated on that one wish. It's probably all it's been fixated on all along, which is why you haven't thought of any other real wish, which you could have, but whatever. I guess you can just have a normal happiness. Sure, if you're truly happy now, if you can truly move on here. This response is the first mistake Kira made this whole war. Hmm, possibly. He quite possibly predicted Shiro to lean in the other direction. But he didn't expect the inner moral pride, or whatever you want to call it. I declare so within my pain. I control the pain and my fading consciousness, and then it's just stay up on my knees. How would Kira respond to this if this was his end goal for Shiro to get this wish? How does Kira respond? Hmm. He probably laughs about it. He's like, ho ho ho, you're this kind of person. Ha 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 ha. Kirei lost the battle against Kiritsugu again? Possibly. There is one light to it. But the Kirei I know would be quick to adapt. We'll see if that still holds true. Failed to break this belief, the belief that Kiritsugu put into him? True. And he'll definitely consider it a loss, but I don't think Kirei would be defeated like this. I don't think he's got much in the way of pride or anything.
I can't hear the voices. You moved on! Yeah! Good job, Shiro! Sometimes you do just have to face them inner demons and say it to the truth. You have been running from the truth for a long time, but when finally faced and forced to give a real answer, what you tried to do with Saber the other night, and she's still fucking pussyfooted, um, you gave the real answer. You gave it with conviction, and they left. That a boy, Shiro. The voices aren't echoing anymore. What is this called? Hoist by his own batard? Not quite, but um, here I set this exchange up. The villain did it, and the villain is going to be the reason Shiro can finally maybe move forward properly with his life. Which, this isn't quite the same as Hiro, uh, Kirei setting up, up his own failure. That would be hoist by his own petard, but uh, villain saves the day. There's probably some trope name for it. I don't know how they took my answer. And you can't know. They're dead. But it is sad that they closed their eyes without a single grudge. No. They never needed to hold a grudge on you. You were the one holding a grudge on yourself. It's not wrong just to want to live in a situation that dire. It's not wrong to be sad about it afterwards. But you can't be sad for ten years. That is... The answer her master arrived at. Her master? Wait, what? Uh, you're talking about yourself, but not calling yourself a me? Don't you normally call yourself a me? Hmm. Interesting. If they were aware, they're happy they just moved on, I could see that too. Maybe that's why they were still suffering. Because they wanted you to be happy, because you were one of the few that did move, move on. They wanted you to live, if he did want you to live for them, you weren't doing a very good job of it being sad all the time. Dash, 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 dash. I mean, if we did just uh, perspective swap to Saber, that was very abrupt and not made clear, but okay. Yeah, this does seem like Saber. The anger she bore until just a moment ago has disappeared. Mmm. After hearing that response, she is at a loss for words, staring at her master. Yup, because it's a similar wish to hers. Only not even as bad, honestly. Your wish is still worse. This path. I don't believe it's the wrong one. With his bloody body. With his ragged breath. Controlling his tears. I can't stray from my path for the people I've left behind. He's apologized to everything he stepped on, but he still declares that he will not change his path. All you gotta do is say sorry. Despite what the song says, it's too late to say sorry! It's never too late to say sorry. Dash, 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 dash. His vision wavers. She cannot breathe right either. Or her vision wavers! <laughs> Cause we're, uh, cause we're in Saber's point of view, and that probably fucked her up. That confession. She probably suspected some of what was going on with Shiro, but not the whole story, and she just got it all of it once and was not prepared for it. I feel like Shiro didn't say it was the right path or the best path, but he believes it wasn't the wrong one. Hmm. I think that's a good thing to say. No, it doesn't have to be the right path, but it is a path, and it's not necessarily wrong. So what you just said, yes. <clears throat> it's a valid path. She knew of his past. Hmm, but you didn't necessarily know how he thought of it. As Emi Ashiro has seen Saber's paths, she has also seen his. What was that fucking tower or whatever? Ah, maybe they'll get into that. There might be some still deep stuff where he's somehow... Well, I don't think he's secret... <laughs> he could still secretly have a shard or something to make him immortal, but he finally acknowledged the people before the fire which makes me think that, oh, he did have a life before then. He wasn't just born in the fire. That is why she thought he would nod. No, she thought he had to nod. Mmm, that he wanted the wish? You thought he would take the same as you? She wanted to say that it was not his fault. No, it wasn't his fault. That doesn't mean he needs to take it back. 
If he could hear, she wanted to say that it is not something Emi Ashura should be burdened with. But still, he denied it. No matter how painful the past, one cannot redo it. Oh? Is this really getting to you, Saber? Dash, dash, dash. She almost collapses. Those words are too heavy for her. <laughs> hey! Ah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, Akira, I think you killed two birds with one stone. You got, uh... Uh, Shiro to confront his inner demons and possibly move on. And I think you've maybe gotten Saber to, by, connect, by extension, because she was there to hear it, possibly move on from hers too. Great job, Kiro! Good hero work! Was that your plan all along? <laughs> Making an oath and devoting everything you have to its accomplishment. She had felt that there were, their ways were similar. But that was just conceit. Mmm, because he wasn't running from his past. I mean, he was, but despite him running from his past, he still wasn't, you know... He wasn't... I guess you could say that he was... Saber was constantly trying to reach her past and be like, No, get rid of it, it sucks. She was running towards it, or he was running away from it. Neither were doing it completely healthily, and I think both can be done in a healthy way, but both were doing it kind of wrong. Only she thought they were similar. They could not be similar. His mind is strong. <laughs> you think he's stronger than you, than you are? And she, only able to deny his words, was wrong. Oh, fuck. Thanks, Kira. You did us a solid. Our relationship should be pretty good now if we can survive this scenario. So, you choose your wishes over your savior? Who are you talking to? Because I just said I don't choose my wish. Or, or unless you're saying the savior is the grail and my wishes are to be stupid. The priest lets go of the boy. Yeah, I think he's adapting pretty quick. I don't think pride was ever something that factored into Kirei. He looks down at him in annoyance and walks past him as if he's lost all interest in him. Yeah. He thought Shiro was a fun bun, but then he's like, you're boring. Um, probably just gonna move on to his next plan. How about you, Saber? You had a similar wish, right? That could be fun. I mean, I kind of wanted to see Shiro redo the past, but I mean, should have started with her, man! <laughs> uh... I mean, I kind of wanted to, you know, one-up Kiritsugu with Shiro doing the past, but, you know, seeing the whole world flip on its head when you erase yourself from existence could be neat, too. Yeah, Kiritsugu... Sorry. They have similar names. <laughs> Yeah, Kirei definitely is the kind of person that is fascinated by the mental unhealthiness and the imperfections in the human soul. So when he hears such a clean, good answer of can't renew the past, have to gross, boring, that sounds so healthy. But um, Saber, she might still be unhealthy. That kid says he does not need the Holy Grail, but you must have a different opinion. Your goal is to use the Holy Grail to save the world. Do not tell me a heroic spirit like you will be as egotistical as that kid. Hmm, the egotistical... Egotistical? Egotistical? Is that really how you word it? <laughs> egotistical. Um, I guess from a certain perspective, if you value what your life has been so far, you could say he has an ego, but he does not. He really doesn't value himself that much. So, <laughs> I guess at this point you're willing to call him whatever you want because he's no longer interesting. Her heart is shaken by his question. This is a little dangerous, though. Even though they're becoming more mentally healthy, once Kirei realizes that and there's no more fun toying with them, there's nothing really stopping him from sticking the Gilgamesh on him and just getting rid of him. Um, there is still the question of why the fuck is Shiro immortal? Does it have to do with Kirei or not? But I guess we'll see. 
Her heart is shaken by his question. The priest says he'll give the Holy Grail. He'll give her the Holy Grail if she has a goal and the wish she wants granted. So... So... Th th that is... There's no reason to refuse. She fought for that alone. She became a servant for that reason alone. But your whole worldview is being flipped around because your boyfriend just said something opposed to it. He's been saying all along that you shouldn't do it, but you never really heard it from his... from the stance of a more personal. Not just saying you shouldn't do it, but saying he's not doing it either. So, what Shiro said does not matter to her. Nah, you were uh, dragon sex buddies. What he says is gonna matter. To obtain the Holy Grail, Saber... Not Saber, Artoria. I should propose an exchange. Saber. Oh. Okay. See, this is a fun backup plan. This is what I like about Kira. He can adapt on the fly. Saber. Kill your master with your own hands to achieve your goal. I shall kill you the, give you the Holy Grail if you accomplish that. Let me guess, if, if Shiro was like, I want it, he was going to be like, very well then. Um, I'll have, you know, we can kill Saber or whatever and you'll get it. But they never got to that point probably. So now he's switching the script and being like, kill your master. You will be the last one left. Or if you kill, if you kill, if we kill Saber, it'll just be Lancer and you can get the wish. Or if we kill Shiro, it'll just be Lancer and you can get the wish. Whatever, don't think about that. <clears throat> Kill your master with your own hands to achieve your goal. Did Shiro get enough saber flags to not die here? <laughs> I shall give you the holy grail if you accomplish that. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure Shiro's gotten enough saber flags. Even ignoring that, Saber's always been the honorable type, even when I had that one bad ending. She threatened to kill me because she really didn't want me to stop being the master, but once I didn't back down, she was like, alright, fine, fuck off, and didn't kill me. I know the circumstances are different, but they're different in both ways. They're different in that um, she has a chance for the grail right in front of her, but they're also different in that she, you know, wants my body. She would do anything. Even dishonor yourself? You've been living by an oath to be honorable, right? And that includes to your master? Isn't this breaking a different oath to fulfill another oath? So many oaths, you can never fulfill them all. <clears throat> to kind of paraphrase you know who. Or you don't, in which case I'll, I'll refrain from spoiling. It is an unexpected proposal. I kind of expected it. She cannot understand it. Yeah, this is just Kirei's way, I think. He loves people. Who is she? The king? The sword? Or Artori? Eh. If she's the sword, she wouldn't do it. If she's Artoria, she wouldn't do it. If she's the king, she'd do it. So, uh, you just, we just need a two and three chance. It's not that she cannot understand his words. But such a choice has never existed for her. You should not hesitate. You can kill this kid before he realizes it. Mm hmm. Yeah, that was probably his initial goal. He never got to the point of saying it because Shiro backed down beforehand, but it probably would have been, you can realize your goal. We just have to kill Saber or something, and you have to watch it happen and do nothing. First of all, he cannot be saved. Would it not be compassionate to kill him right now? <laughs> Should have started with this, Kirei. He probably found Shiro more interesting, so he went down this route, but... Because of the circumstances, he done changed Saber's worldview too. The priest steps aside. Then again, she's a pretty nice person. I don't know if she wanted to kill Shiro. Even if the, he, she hadn't gotten the lecture, still not confident she would have, you know, killed Shiro for it. But it would have certainly been more likely. 
Doesn't mean it would have been likely, but... Before her is the door leading to the underground cemetery and a collapsed figure. Wait, they were fighting at the top of the underground cemetery? What are you talking about? Oh, the underground cemetery? Oh, I see. I understand. I understand. I thought because they went underground to get here in the first place, but no, they're not going further underground to get to the cemetery. It just happens that they're already underground. Okay. What will she do? What choice will she make? That's a great question. I'll find out after I take my piss. Ultimate choice. It really, man, it just jumped us. We were like, you know, it was super epic fighting Gilgamesh. And then I thought there'd be a decent amount of downtime. Nope, just a sexy time before even epicerness. But where last time was epic of the fighting, this is more epic of the soul. She walks as if drawn to it. She walks past the priest and enters the damp room. <laughs> Being reminded by why, why I like this VM. <laughs> yeah, because you've been talking about you've been turned to a cynic wise. Dash, dash, just dash. This room is hell. He writhed in this place, and he was shown his dark side, and yet he declined the priest's offer. Dash, dash, just dash. She places her hands on her sword. Hmm, maybe because of how close they've gotten, she starts to consider it more like, no, he's gotten too close. If I don't do this, maybe I really will give in. At her feet is her master, breathing painfully. Maybe I need to put him out of his misery. Maybe he's gonna die regardless. I mean, he's fucking immortal, no he's not, but you know. Dash, 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 dash. The end of a long journey. The holy grail she desired at the cost of her life. Just by sacrificing one more life. For every Herc fight, there's a Shiro sees the truth but doesn't. Run away and accepts it. Nah. The Herc fight, I feel, wasn't that bad. It's mostly just the ending that borked it up, but, you know. The whole Herc sequence of Shiro getting caught and that thing happening, Archer fending him off. I liked a lot of that. It was just kind of a, uh, bork the final bit a little bit. And Caliber and summoning that for the first time was cool. Anyways, the Holy Grail she desired at the cost of her life. It'll be granted just by swinging her sword down. After all, a master and the servant cooperate only until they obtain the Holy Grail. Hmm. There's still a certain bond there, though, isn't it? Are you really going to be like Gilly the Jerk? who uh, just let his master go and die in the last one? Even if it ends here. Is it something no one could blame her for? It is something no one could blame her for. And, uh, it'd be a very Kiritsugu move. Kill one man to save a country. Old school Kiritsugu. <laughs> yeah, easy bargain. It's just the man in question. But honestly, should it even matter what man it is? <laughs> hmm? What was that sound? She looks with blank amazement at the thing at her feet. Her fingers are numb. She cannot tell what she's feeling. There's only one truth that she can recognize. Her master's life has been ended by his own protector's action? What, you, you really did it? You really did it? I don't think he's actually dead because he's like immortal and shit, but... Holy fuck! Shiro. And now you're gonna break. You were just thinking about the thing. You weren't thinking about the dragon sex. The dragon sex! She only considered it. She wished for the Holy Grail only for an instant. Uh-oh. That wish disappeared in an instant, and she valued the boy's life. But there was still enough time for her to be driven by evil. Thinking about it once was enough. 
Her strained mind crumbled with this, that small weakness. No. No, Shiro! She reaches out to her master whose breathing has ceased. Wait a second. Not allow the enemy to determine its range. There was something about magic negation. Did she magically negate his ability to be immortal? It's possibly still alive, and you know, it's just a flesh wound. But I just remember that being a thing to some extent. Uh, maybe it's in, like... No, I don't think it would be in weapons. Um, I remember that being a thing to some extent, but I don't remember exactly. She reaches out to her master whose breathing has ceased. There's nothing sublime in her figure. Lifting his remains. Did Kirei win? Well done, Saber. That lamentation. It is indeed appropriate to receive the Holy Grail. A voice echoes through the darkness. It's also possible that he's only immortal so long as he wi he, he, he keeps the will, and he can't keep the will when Saber herself stabs him like that. And maybe if he, if he thinks, oh my god, if she wants it that bad, maybe I should let her have it, then that would be an instant enough to let it fade, or... There's a reason he's not immortal right now, or he's not actually dead. Still a few possibilities. As if answering his call, she accepts the Holy Grail in a daze. Oh, fuck! Would this be how it ends? We still haven't fully gotten an answer to the immortality and how it would suddenly run out now? Dead end? Wait. Tiger Dojo? This is a Tiger Dojo? What choice did I make that put us on this direction? What? This is a Tiger Dojo? I thought it would be like... I thought we were, I thought first when I went down those stairs, I'm like, that's a wrong choice. That's going to lead to somewhere bad once I started to see those corpses. And then as it went, it's like, no, no, okay, I'm still in it. I'm still in it. We're still going. And then, what? Hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold, wait, hold on. Ultimate choice. Did I choose wrong? Was I supposed to accept it? Fucking Taiga Dojo. Well, long time no see, Taiga. What's this gonna be like? I was killed by Saber! But was I really killed? I mean, she says she accepts the Holy Grail in a daze and gets her wish to come true. Holy fuck, fuck you, Saber. But, um... That is the question. That basically, it implied he died. You didn't like, you know... It said that he was lifeless. It's hard to say with the whole immortality thing, but it definitely made a strong implication. I, I have a couple ideas of why, but he definitely clearly seemed to have some crazy regeneration. For it to go out like that, to me, suggests something to do with Saber and just like, his. Yeah, it's based on his will, and if his will no longer supports it, hmm. This is the Tiger Dojo. Take the advice? Uh, fucking why not, I guess. Oh, wait, a dead end is different from a bad end? I did not know there was a difference. A bad end is when you make a wrong choice. So what, is a dead end not a wrong choice, but like, still the end of the pathway, so choosing differently wouldn't matter? 
I'll read the Tiger Dojo. Don't explain that to me. That's just... I don't know. That does not seem like the normal end of the pathway, that's for sure. But, I don't know. This is a place to demand reflection. <clears throat> by, by the lost child on matters incomprehensible to outsiders, the Tiger Dojo. Well, this is the 13th dojo already. Uh, I believe I've only seen like three, so this is my fourth. So, I've dodged about, what, nine? Not bad. You should start to notice that this corner is... Meaningless. Oh, no! I'm sure a lot of you know that. I don't think it's meaningless. I think it's fun. What do you think? <laughs> uh, Ely is back! Then I will frankly state my opinion. Oh! It's meaningless. Everything is a sudden death, and you just need to go back to the previous choice. Oh, is it wrong this time? Is that not the advice? Because, <laughs> yeah, each time it's like, go back to the choice. Duh. Honesty is too detestable. Such lies are misleading. Oh? This dojo isn't as simple as that. Look, as proof this time... Oh no. Could this be the big point of dating games, the bad path? Unrelated to choices that make people start the game over because they need one more point? Or is that what you're really suggesting? I never wanted to go on the saber path, but then it seemed like after a certain point I was forced on the saber path and I'm like, okay, this is the saber path, I guess. So I guess I picked enough points that put me on the saber path. And now you're, t what, are you telling me that I didn't get enough saber points on the Wapupujubu? I mean, I wasn't really trying to be on the saber path in the first place. So is that true? Because that would be annoying and probably result in some amount of guidage. Um, because I wouldn't want to have to go. Well, I, it depends on how convenient it is to slip through the different days. We'll see, we'll see. I'm not going to jump to any conclusions yet, but... At least you admit that I hate it. <laughs> I don't hate it. I just hate it in a game like this. This is fucking long. I'm more okay with it in shorter visual novels. <sighs> the heart pounding system, and also sometimes it might just be fast to speed through the whole game again. It depends on how they set it up. Um. The heart pounding system, everybody hates. Bad end from affection score check. Also, the the other reason that um, I wouldn't like it is because I'm su I'd am be surprised if there was ever a choice to go on anyone else's route. I was never really trying to go on Saber's route. So the fact that I ended up on it anyway just seems... Um, it feels like if, if you were forced onto Saber's route always, and then you needed the Saber points to get the good end of the route, that's when it would bug me. If there was possible differentiation in where you could go, and I ended up on the saber route but still didn't get enough points, then it wouldn't bug me as much. But I don't think that's true. I could be wrong. Um, heart pounding system. Everybody hates bad end from affection score check. All right, we can finally give proper advice, Taiga. Then let us start practicing. What is the cause of this bad end? I fucking know. I didn't fucking flick Saber's flags enough. I wasn't bone ring hard enough in her direction. Because, you know, I never totally wanted it. I just kind of accepted it once it started happening. Great. Since Saber's affection score did not reach a certain level, she abandoned Shiro. What a bitch. 
Our advice comes down to the following three points. Oh fuck, this shit is actually useful. Uh, no choice after date. I'm gonna fucking write some stuff down. Hold on, what is this? I can't write on that. Uh, fuck, I'll use this. What is this? This is important. Is this sheet important? Um, oh no, I've used this up. This isn't important anymore, so I can write on it. Cool. Uh, all right, no choice after day 12. Pre-12. Saber. Pre-12. Pre-day 12. Choices only. Okay, that's one. What are your other two tips? If you're to redo things, do it from before then. Okay, and then after I do it from before then, I have to fucking speed through everything and still make a bunch of whatever choices and who cares? <laughs> okay, the fucking game admits it! I was just thinking that! What's with that? They should have made the bad end on day 12. Is this a fundamental problem? They let you keep going all the way to day 15 before cutting you off even when you're past the point of being able to fix it? That does bug me, I'm not gonna lie. I don't mind the idea that you might be past the point of no return by K-12 if you've already g missed too many flags before then, but there should still be flags after then to potentially fix your course if you're not quite ready is how I would do it. The idea that they're fucking not after day 12 does grind my whiskers a little bit. I think it's obvious, but always, uh, put Saber first in your choices. Balancing with Tosaka will lead you directly to this end. Well, guess what? Well, that one's fucking obvious. I don't need to write that shit down. Um, fucking, you know, I didn't think it mattered after a while. I didn't think it mattered. I felt like I was constantly making choices that did not lead in Saber's direction. And then I'm like, oh, okay, this is clearly leading in Saber's direction. I guess no choices I make really matter. And so I just followed whatever paths because I didn't think it mattered. But yeah, I definitely remember choosing other options more. Partially because I didn't ever wanted Saber. The game just said, no, you're on the Saber path. Fuck you. Ah. <laughs> so Rin really was an obstructive character. Yes, she was. <laughs> Guess it just means you have to go Saber out first if you want to get route close with Rin. Is that so? But it wasn't Rin I wanted to get close to. It was you, Elia. I wanted the Elia route. Ugh. <laughs> uh. The affection score should have been met if you've been playing normally. What the fuck does that mean? What is playing normally? Okay, that's helpful. If you're gonna restart, it's best to restart from around day 7. So day 7 to 12. Saber pre-day 12. Hold on, wait. Pre-day 12, not including day 12? Let me double check that that's correct. Um, Should have made it... Uh, but, 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 uh, no choice after day 12. So day 12 counts. Okay, hold on. So day 7 to 12. Day 7 to 12. Saber choices. Only. It's best to restart from around day seven. You'll pass the requirements by day eight at the earliest. Well, I failed even by day 12, fucking apparently. Can you lose points or only gain them? Because if you can only gain them and I failed to gain them, then I guess I just fucking suck, huh? Because I was never trying to be under pat. When did we start to become a parent? Hold on. Hold the phone. Can I just save here in case I accidentally load a file? Um, 
Saber route, yay! Like, what was day 12? Hold on, I have, I can, you know... Like, if I go back to day 12, nothing after day 12. A four-day buffer. Alright, eh, great. Day 12 would have ended here. The dressing room. Was this, when was this? Before or after? So I guess this would have been, is this after the crazy dragon sex? It's after the dragon sex. Okay, I can forever get, I was going to say, like, all right. Seventh day, when was the seventh day? People usually have to have to try to get this end. Uh, well, I, this is blind. I just never wanted to be on the saber route. <laughs> that was never my goal. And so, once I realized, oh, I'm on the saber route, I just kind of, you know, I'm like, all right, I guess I'm on saber route. So, whoops, from the seventh day. The seventh day would start, so after the assassin incident. Okay, this makes a lot of sense. Like, I was making a lot of Elia choices around this time, because this is when Elia sort of started coming back into the picture. Yeah. That, in fact, right after this is when we first saw Ilya again for the first time. So, of course, I'm going to choose in that direction basically every time. Um, and then, yeah, I do specifically also remember there was a choice around... I chose in this direction again for Ilya here. And then there was a choice around here where I was like, yeah, sure, why not? I'm more curious. I'll see the Rin choice. I didn't think it mattered. I thought I was solidly Saber, so... Okay. Cool! <clears throat> I'm on page 8. Yeah, all right. If you're gonna restart, it's best to start from around day 7. You'll pass through comments by day 8 at the earliest. You get to meet me if you go out in day eight. I did. That's that was the point, I think. If you stay in the house, one saber affection point will be added. Yeah, uh, mm, okay. So it's not it wasn't just struggling with Rin, it was struggling with Elia. You went after Shinji instead of supporting uh Saber after the rider fight? I don't fucking remember. <laughs> Um, maybe that's true. I might have thought that was strategically correct. And of course, my strategic is just being like, Fuck Saber, I guess. <laughs> Saber can take care of herself. If you stay in the house, one Saber affection point will be added. But I guess you won't need it if you're playing properly. Uh, well, I guess I'm not playing fucking properly. Yeah, day eight. I definitely saw you on day eight. Um, this was day eight? That's seventh day. Wait, did I never see you on day eight? No, yeah, I did. This was day eight. The smart thing is to go home, but the smart thing was to... Yeah, I see. I, and then I chose to not do the smart thing because I wanted to see Elia. Yeah. That is all. This feels so good. Yay, woo. Good for you. <laughs> Finally fulfilled my reason to exist. Uh. I can finally be proud of myself. Oh? But Taiga, most people pass the Saber Affection score check, right? Yeah, I'm just fucking terrible at this game, I guess. Yeah, Shiro wasn't the type to ignore Saber-chan. You normally wouldn't end up like this. I was never trying to go on her route! Damn it! <laughs> Taiga, um, it's really hard to say this, but if it's that rare... Wouldn't that mean not many people would come to this dojo? Oh. Oop. I came. It was useful. Start at day 7. That's useful. Once you get to day 12, skip everything. That's useful. 
It's probably alright. Oh, okay. These might help. <laughs> the skip function and the tiger scamps are intended just for this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everyone will probably desperately play in strange ways to get to this dojo. <laughs> uh, I am that kind of player, actually. By that point, everyone will hate this bad end with its weird conditions. Uh, I think it's fine, I guess. I don't know. Because Ely is here, so that makes it okay. In other words, your dojo that tries to make everyone happy is actually something that troubles players trying to fulfill and complete the game. <laughs> oh, English! Yeah, yeah. If someone's going for 100% completion, having to hit all your dojos would add to that. This was a bitch to get when you were 100% of the game, and I got it without trying. Look at how good I am at this game, guys. I got one of the hardest endings to get without trying. That shows how good of a gamer I am. It's my gamer cred. I'm, I'm starting that 100% route early. <sighs> As if we're going to 100% this game. <laughs> uh, well, I'm on a good way there. <laughs> Explosion endings are the worst! Ooh, that was a fun way to end it. Alright. <laughs> okay. Alright, okay, okay. You know, psst, that's not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. Let me try to figure some of this out. So... Okay. Prologue, gallery, music, movie, ED list. ED list? What was the thing I couldn't look at? Gallery? Gallery, I think, is what glitched my fucking game out. So let's just go with ED list. Interesting. Ah, I got 1 to 13. Out of 40! Holy fuck. Um, okay. Alright, so what? Do we just start? Let's see if I understand how, like... The tiger stamps, hmm, and the skip function. Config. Display speed for new text, display speed for old text. Text skip, skipping repeated scenes on. Confirm before skipping, set text skip. Control. We load? We load straight from day seven. Yeah, well, there'd be no reason to start from the beginning. Correct, you're right. I'm just seeing if anything was added. So, just to, I want to understand a couple things. We're probably done for here. I'm probably going to properly continue tomorrow. But I just want to make sure I have an understanding of where I'm starting from. So, nothing before the seventh day matters. Um, okay. Day five went by real fast. Interesting. Or six, something like that. So it would start from, let's say, here, because this is like the last save point of day six. Let's start here, why not? Then again, I save at every choice, so I shouldn't actually need to go back that far. Yeah, I always save at every choice. So this should theoretically be the first day seven choice. I could even technically see how many choices we have. Like, it would be, um, we can just headcanon this ending as Saber using the Grail to go back to the seventh day. <laughs> sure. Um, yeah, because after she feels really guilty about it. Possibly. Um, let's see, how many choices are there? One. Let's just think about them. Training, swordsmanship, lifeguard, personal time with the help. Um, and then there's this one on day eight. And then another one on day eight. Now, I don't know if these are all the choices. There are possibly some choices we didn't see because of different choices we made. Then there's this one on day eight. So one choice day seven, three on day eight, one choice on day nine. Um, holy shit, like four choices on day nine. Are these all separate? Yeah, they are. Um, then we get like, 
two choices day 10. Then like two choices day 11. And then one, two, three, four, five choices day 12 maybe. And then that's it. What choices are left afterwards? I wonder what they affect. If it doesn't affect this. Um, one, two, three. Oh, there aren't too many. Four. Five. Just five. Five choices post day 12. One on the 15th day. Oh, this is actually also a choice. So technically, it, I don't see all the choices. But whatever. Um, just to be safe, I don't know if there are any choices that weren't showing up for me. Um... Uh, like, if there were choices, but they weren't showing up as choices, so I suppose we could just start from here. And I'll probably skip till first choice. I do save during all the choices, but they don't always show up as choices on the save screen, it seems. Because that right here, this is a choice, and I know this is a choice, but I don't see it as a choice here. Uh, or no, was this a choice? Was this her choice that I saved on? I don't remember. Um, just to be safe, I probably will go back before day seven starts. Just go to sixth day. Why not? And I'll skip to first choice. So let's load here. And then if I was to speed through stuff, for example, um, I guess this would be the point that if there was any particular choices I wanted to see other options of, I would do it now. Um... I know that there was a choice that I was curious about in the dojo. Um, just hold control. Well, sure. I'm. Just, let me figure it out myself. I mean, I know. I know it's control. Um, was it this choice? Hold on. Was this the choice where I could have found out about her clothes? Wait a second. Thank God. Saber agrees. Where did you get these clothes? I've been wanting to know this forever. We're finding this out now. Should be about those clothes of hers. By the way, Saber, I want to ask you something. I'm sure she just borrowed them from someone, but we never found out. Yes, what is it? Where did you get those clothes? I was surprised that you were wearing something different from yesterday. Actually, I'm still surprised. <laughs> We're back to stupid show. He made the wish. There's something Rin has prepared for me. Since I cannot turn into spirit form, she gave me these so that I would not attract attention. Oh, it was Rin. Okay, nice of Rin. Hmm. They look good. Did Rin have those? I don't know if they would look good on Rin. Hmm, maybe. A little unorthodox. So I see. What about them? Yeah, um... I try to say they look good on her, but I stop myself. If I said such a thing, I'd blush red as a tomato. Yesterday's armor! What happened to the armor you were wearing yesterday? You don't need to worry about it. I have control of when I wear the armor, so I have it off while I'm wearing these clothes. The armor is woven by my magical energy. I can call it forth as is needed. Dash dash dash. I can only sign admiration. Anyway, it's true that she would draw attention to her armor. So with the way Saber's dressed now, I should be able to persuade people in the neighborhood that she's a relative of Kiritsuka. <laughs> well, I would have to do so anyway. Wait, what? Fourth day afternoon. Saber's circumstances. Excuse me? I've never seen this before. Skip this scene? Wait, no? And then... Oh, it's because it's a scene I've seen, but hold on. I think it's a uh, thing in the config. Um, confirmation before skipping. Uh, what about scene skip? Because that seems to be what that was. These are the skip prompts. But you can skip by holding control, right? So, what was that skip that showed up just now? Scenes you've already seen. Skipping repeated scenes. 
interesting, but you can press control, but it will also flash if it's a scene you've seen. Hmm. Okay, so what if I, okay. And then I pressed control. Oh, how, how much does it press? What if I hold it? Okay, it works like that, I see. So you, you, you press it, it'll skip a bit, but not much. Like, for example, right now, the one we're on is... Uh, but why don't you give up with Serial Wanted? Okay, yeah. So it's like one of those things where you hold it. I thought for a second if you pressed it, it would skip to a next point, but you can just skip, skip, skip. That's, that's pretty fast. Oh, and then it starts a new scene. I see. Okay. I understand. All right, so whenever you get to the start of the new scene, it gives you a prompt, but also you can just hold it at any time. I understand, I understand, I understand. Is there any other choices of dying to know the other outcome, too? There wouldn't be any choices before now. Uh, after school. And there was this choice, too. It's a choice! What was this choice, by the way? I'm just going to dick around a little before I end today. Because well, we're going to properly continue tomorrow. Um, I'm just, uh, you know, I want to dick around right now. What's the choice? I'll go and help Sakura. I'll go and finish my daily routine. I helped Sakura, right? I think I helped Sakura. It's been forever, but I'm pretty sure I would have helped Sakura, right? I don't remember now. I'd have to check my playthrough. Um, interesting. I don't want to go through all the choices. Just uh, There was a couple I was curious about. Free time event. Interesting that this doesn't affect it, unless this affects who you end up with in the first place. Um, no, because this doesn't even have really Saber involved. Interesting. I'm not sure. So, okay. So it would be... Nope, that's too far. Uh, page three. Okay. So, we'll start here. And then I'd be able to just press control, and as soon as it gets to a new scene, it would give me the option to skip. Interesting what counts as the start and end of a scene. Interesting. Um, because that seemed to go on for a while. Like, the nighttime ended and now... I don't know if it's daytime, but we certainly moved rooms. It's interesting to see what counts as the start and end of a scene. Oh. Uh, seventh day, uh, awakening morning. Oh, that would be the start of uh, day seven. So let's say, no, don't skip it. Let's start from the top of the seven. Prefer nobody to be sad. Um, and then I guess I can just go ahead and overwrite this. Uh, I don't want to overwrite this. I don't want to do much overwriting. I generally just want to go forward. But this is a bit of a different circumstance. Ah! I technically don't even need to make a save at all. It's just because it's so close by. I'm just going to go ahead and make the save. Um, yeah, they were only 11 minutes apart anyways. So let's just make the save here and overwrite. Um, let's see here. New comment. New comment. We're going to make a new comment. Why does this comment have to be so long? Um, let's see here. Uh, saber route or something. First time I've overwritten a save point. It's interesting to see how the day started. If I can, I'd prefer nobody to be sad. Hmm. Okay. Um, I think we're good here. I think I've got a gist. Your theory of time traveling until we get the good end is somewhat true. Oh, well, ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Uh, did I say that at some point? I probably did. I have so many theories. Uh, okay, so I'm going to end the video here. Start tomorrow, and we will figure out. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long to saber up. It might be. Maybe it's going to be a day's worth. Tomorrow, we're going to have to stop slightly early, you know, like at the 12 mark again, like yesterday. So... We'll see. We'll see how long I dick around. I might dick around. 
Um, I don't know. Depending on the circumstances, I may or may not do a little dicking around. I feel like we're in dicking around territory at this point. So, there might be some dicking around. But, um, video's over. No extra phrases.